Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Welcome to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard. Thanks for your company. Oh, we've got a lovely day ahead of us. We've had a lovely morning so far. We've been doing all kinds of lovely things, but all being very calm, actually. There's been a very calm atmosphere in the studio, which I find slightly worrying. I've <laughs> I always think it's sort of, you know, it's building up to something, but something wonderful. We've got the perfect storm today. We've got Delphine Brooks for not just two, but three of the shows today, which is absolutely wonderful. I met Delphine for the first time last week and just had the best time and Delphine's got some beautiful, beautiful projects to share today. So stick around for those at this hour and at 10 and at 12, but we've loads more lovely stuff today to keep you interested and with us. Starting with our early bird. Now then, we love our early bird. It's a good reason for getting up. The Quilters Collection, 10 colour selection, specially made for Sewing Street, totally exclusive. Uh, we love our Aurifil threads. We absolutely love our Aurifil threads. And what you're getting here is 10 times, oh, they're 200 metres. I thought they were 100 metres each spool, but it's double, it's double what I thought. It's a 50 weight thread, so this is absolutely brilliant for things like quilting, top stitching, and also applique. Um, so if you like to do things like blanket stitch applique, this is perfect. That are fan oh, now, 33.99. That can't be, not for an early bird. That's not, that's not an early bird price. £3.39 at the moment for a 200 metre spool. I mean, that is fantastic price and we love Aurifil. There's some great colours in here. There's some great colours. Now we're going today to £2.69 a spool. That's our early bird. Two That's more like it. That's more like it. Thank you very much. Now this is only available till midnight, so be quick. Twenty-six ninety-nine for ten spools of thread. But remember, these look like hundred meter spools, but it's two hundred meters in each. And what a gorgeous selection of colours! You know, I was driving in this morning, thinking autumn is very much here. 
It's not just in the air, it's all over the floor. <laughs> it's everywhere, isn't it? And what a gorgeous selection for autumn. So beautiful. These are going to go perfectly with some of the projects that we've got in today. I'm thinking one of Delphine's projects in particular, the Autumn Tree of Life, which is, I um, never know which way to move, that one right there. Wouldn't those colours look beautiful? Those thread colours would look amazing for adding embellishing, top stitching, machine quilting, really stunning range of colours. Now you're paying just £1.34 per 100 metres. That's a really amazing thread for Orifil. Now let's go through some of the colours, if my eyesight's good enough. I went to see the optician last week and he said to me that my eyesight was amazing. <laughs> I thought I needed reading glasses and right now I think I'm right. <laughs> I think I do need reading glasses, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Let's see if I can name the colours. So this gorgeous one here is called aluminium. That is lovely. If we were in America, that would be aluminum. You know, I read once that was because of a typo. That's why Americans call it aluminum, because it was a typo on the original document or whatever. Somebody missed out the I, so it was just adopted. Aluminum. And then we've got light beige. No arguments about how you spell that. Next up, we've got yellow. Easy. Okay, I can I can do I can deal with uh, yellow. Next, we've got olive. Now that is a lovely, lovely shade. That is gorgeous, like a sort of a golden green. Very beautiful. Next up, golden toast. Golden toast. Now. We were going to have toast this morning, but we haven't had toast. And fun fact for you, Delphine likes dry toast. Delphine doesn't have butter on her toast, <laughs> which I find is just, a, you know, when they kind of, I can't really get my head round, especially in the morning, Delphine. Oh, it's, uh, I, c I couldn't have butter on it. Oh no, I don't do dairy. No, no. I get that, I get that, <laughs> I but some that. kind of spread, jam. <laughs> Some marmalade? Jam, maybe. A bit of Nutella sometimes. Okay. You know. Nutella on dry. Yeah. Oh, I suppose on dry. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite breakfast to have? What's your favourite thing on toast? Are you a butter or a no butter? I'd love to know. Uh, next up, we've got bark. Gorgeous, rich, deep brown bark. And then dark carmine red. That is lovely. Carmine red or carmine carmine red. Midnight, so a really inky blue. That is lovely. Dark eggplant. Oh, these are all, these are sweater colours. These are sweater colours. And um, it is almost sweater weather. And black, absolutely beautiful. 26 99 for 2,000 metres in total incredible value it's our special it's our early bird special today and this is exclusive at sewing street this array of colors in this special presentation box which is really a thing of beauty it's lovely um very very giftable i'm going to attempt to put it back together again there oh that's why they pay me the big bucks look at that and all of the colours are listed on the back. So you could refill if you wanted extras, if you've got a particular colour there that you love. These are absolutely beautiful. They've got that lovely soft sheen to them. As I say, perfect this one for embellishing, adding embroidery, machine embroidery. You could also use it for machine applique, lovely blanket stitcher or zigzag. Quilting. You could use this for hand quilting too and hand piecing. So a really good all round thread, but it's a little thicker. Um, so particularly good for those top st stitching applications. 10 great colors, some neutrals in there, but also those lovely rich deep colors that are gonna look fantastic on all of your autumn projects. Now we've only got 25 packs left. People are multi-buying. I don't blame you. These are gorgeous. One for me, one for my best friend. Don't get excited, Joan. I haven't bought a pack for you. <laughs> really lovely.
really lovely. Now, let's have a little look and see. Lots of you are messaging in. Uh, good morning, Stuart, Delphine and the team. Honey on toast. Mmm, that's from Morag. Oh, yeah. Honey on toast. Beautiful. And I tell you a top tip. Honey and tahini, sesame seed paste, mixed together. It goes suddenly goes very claggy, but then spread that. Oh, that is delicious. Honey and tahini. Um, from Lynn, lovely to see you again, Stuart, with Delphine too. Peanut butter and squished banana on toast for me. <sighs> that sounds yummy, gorgeous. What else do you like on your toast in the morning? Do let us know. Are you an avocado on toast with a poached egg? I think that's very Australia for me. I love going to Australia. I haven't been for a few years, obvs. Um, but I love eating avocado on toast with a poached egg on the beach in the sunshine. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Less than 20 of these packs available now. You're going for these. These are absolutely perfect for the tree of life, the autumn tree of life that we've got coming up with Delphine. I would shop ahead, grab this before we see the beautiful, beautiful quilt that Delphine has created. This is stunning. All those lovely autumn leaf colours there, the olive, that um, golden toast, the yellow, that deep, deep, dark carmine or carmine, the deep eggplant, aubergine really lovely fantastic and i'm also thinking that the midnight blue would look fantastic with delphine's is it called fighting hairs yeah yeah for embellishing and quilting in the in the yeah that one yeah beautiful that would look lovely that yeah. would work wouldn't it i had to think then it was a bit early <laughs> and also the aluminum the aluminum would look good <laughs> for the for the moon the aluminium i'm gonna say it properly <laughs> smashing a uh, lovely message from jane morning stuart great to see you again the perfect addition to toast is close your ears lots of you marmite woohoo <laughs> jane i am a lover i am a lover our 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 gallery is full of haters this morning. <laughs> what about you, Delphine? Are you a Ooh. lover or a hater? Oh, no. My oh, husband no. loves it. Nick loves it. It's just one of his favourite foods, but oh, no. Do you think it's genetic? Do you think there's like a genetic something? Because there's, there's some things, aren't there, that were genetically sort of predisposed to like, not like, I think. Yeah, if he, I wouldn't let him come anywhere near me once he's had a bit no, of marmite. No, Charlie won't even, <laughs> even. I mean, I mean, he does let me have a, a jar of marmite at the table, but I mean, he certainly wrinkles his nose at it. He hates it. It's a real hater. I didn't try marmite until I was nineteen. I thought it looked and smelt repulsive. The smell is enough. <laughs> but then I tried it, and I was absolutely hooked. And um, yeah, no, absolutely. And if you're a bit jaded in the morning when you wake up, marmite toast and a pot of tea. It's the breakfast of champions, I'm telling you. <laughs> Give it a go. Let's have a look at the menu for today and see what we've got coming up. Hopefully some Marmite toast. Oh, there we go. 8 a.m. It's Riley Blake tea with B quilt with Delphine Brooks. At nine o'clock, those fabrics, by the way, are absolutely beautiful. Stick around. They are so beautiful. 9 a.m. Riley Blake Tea with B Fabric Collection. It's a double dose. Loads of gorgeous fabrics there for you. At 10 a.m., it's brand new. The Autumn Tree of Life with Delphine Brooks. And then at 11, we've got Sewing Room Tools. Really great selection. Stock up those tools ready for an autumn winter of quilting and sewing. At 12, Delphine's back with the bee and dragonfly cushions. I can't wait for that hour. They are stunning. So that's how our morning looks. We've got some great messages as well. Let's have a look. Oh. Yep, breakfast, here we go. Good morning, Stuart, Delphine and the crew. Crab apple jelly on toast, yummy. That's from Susan. Um, from Angela, it says, morning, Stuart, team and Delphine. What a fabulous lineup. It is a fabulous lineup. We've got loads of good stuff. Sue's messaged in. Good morning, Delphine. Good morning, Stuart and team from Sue. Oh, Viv says, morning, Stuart. I love crumpet with egg and bacon on. <laughs> oh, now substitute. I do like a crumpet, but that's an afternoon food, surely. 
That's a three o'clock onwards. <laughs> Do you have foods that you just have to eat at a certain time of day? Crumpets for me are very much after three o'clock. But egg and bacon on an onion bagel. Now you're talking. Uh, homemade strawberry jam, yum, 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 from Angela. And morning, Stuart and Delphine, this is Kirsty. Beans on toast for me with a poached egg or Sunday tea, strawberry jam on toast. Wow, gorgeous. No dry toast, Delphine, I'm just saying. <laughs> no one said, oh, yes. Oh, yes, dry toast. Try it. Delish. <laughs> you try dry toast, I'll try Marmite. You, you don't mean that. <laughs> you don't mean that. You're talking big, but you I'll don't mean lift. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back on at 10 o'clock, aren't we, Delphine? We so are. Maybe we should do it now. <laughs> right. Let's start with our blue colourway. We've got three options for the beautiful tea with bee quilt that that Delphine is going to be showing us. Now the instructions are only available with the fabrics okay and we'll have a look at the quilt um, in just a second but let's start by having a little look at the beautiful blue fabric. This is the blue collection. Now of course you can see why the the collection got, gets its name Tea with Bee. It's all about beautiful china beautiful china cups. It's such a lovely fabric collection, this one. And of course, we do love our tea. But, you know, although B is spelt B-E-A, we've got a little reference to bees with this gorgeous, really approve of that one. This is a lovely sort of almost sagey, tealy blue. It's very soft and delicate. Got that lovely little honeycomb there. A fantastic floral. That is absolutely stunning. Gorgeous kind of big white poppies. Pink poppies there too. Got a very much a sort of wildflower vibe to, to it, this one. That would be great in bag making. Great for alternate blocks as well. Piece some of your blocks and then also have some alternate blocks. Very pretty little sprig there. Upside down, Stuart. That's better. That's smashing. So you're actually getting eight different fabrics in this bundle, half a metre of each, but you're only paying for three and a half of those metres. Half a metre is for free. This is a go this is very pretty. Lovely, soft, gentle blues, these. Really, really gorgeous. A great geometric there super useful and then this one's lovely it's a really nice sort of background print something subtle a bit like wild grasses really lovely when you look through that whole collection i'm just going to turn it side on that really is gorgeous isn't it don't forget you're getting your fantastic tea with b instructions so you can make the beautiful quilt now there it is Look at that. This is fabulous. Gorgeous inspiration there, Delphine. Definitely. Well, the teacups, I had to do something with those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really lovely. What sort of level for this quilt? I'd say confident beginner. Confident beginner, yeah. Yeah. Don't ever think that, you know, because you've got teacups, pieced teacups, Delphine's going to show us the magic in today's demos of how to make those blocks really really clear instructions as always with Delphine you've got her hand to hold throughout the process but I we were talking earlier and I said to her, how do you piece those teacups such simple methods Delphine's going to show us how so crack on get that ordered that's the lovely blue super collection that let's look at mustard so the quilt that Delphine made is made using that um, blue colourway, but we've got a beautiful mustard colourway here. This is lovely. So we'll start off, we've got this lovely little all over bee print. I mean, I just want that in my stash just because. The honeycomb, really lovely. Great background prints, those. And then we've got a super floral. We're getting some more shades of kind of coral here, like a coral pink. That's a pretty one. 
lovely all over flower sprigs, lovely botanical look. There are so many fabrics about at the moment with those kind of botanical illustrations on, big trend. This is a super one, a really lovely, it's that um, sort of wild grass. I'm going to turn it around because I think the grasses really go that away. That's super. And then geometric, black and white. These prints are so hard to find. Black and white prints, they're super useful, but they are really hard to find. I've saved the best till last. That gorgeous teacup print on a white background I think is stunning. And then this floral, this is my absolute favourite. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. I think as soon as you put colour against a black background, it just pops, doesn't it? Absolutely flies off the fabric. Real impact with that one. Now, if you love some of these individual fabrics and you'd like to buy more, we will, I will be going through them in the next hour. They are available by the half metre. I'll go through each individual fabric in the next hour, but you can pre-order if you want to. Get ahead. But if you want to buy that whole collection, remember, you're getting four metres of fabric in total, uh, eight half metres. You're only paying for three and a half. One of those half metres is free and you're getting the free pattern as well, or pattern included, T with B. Yours will be a lovely glossy version. I've got the, I've got the non-glossy version here. Um, but fantastic instructions, really clear for making Delphine's T with B quilt. Really stunning, really stunning. So that's the mustard colourway. And then finally, we've got the pink. Now, pink is the most popular at the moment, but we know how these things can change suddenly. We've got an absolutely splendid array of colours here. This is very soft and gentle, lovely soft, uh, I suppose, sagey greens. Yeah, it's a nice, gentle, soft, antique look to this range. Still lovely and fresh, lovely and fresh. Some coral, it's a coral pink which I think is very, very pretty. It's not a, a sort of unicorn pink, shall we say. Yeah, really lovely that. Uh, I'll show you again this floral because whatever the colourway, it is really stunning. That's gorgeous. And remember, you can buy these by the half metre if you want to shop ahead, but I'll be going through them with you at nine o'clock. So let's have a look. We've got... Um, a green background, but then little, again, coral bees. That is really cute, really cute. Love that one. Um, the wild grasses, this time in grassy colour, which is great. If you like things like um, landscape quilting, or more pictorial, this would be a good one to have in your stash. The teacups, don't they look gorgeous on that coral background? And what I love about the way this fabric's been designed, because the teacups have been offset, you don't have to worry about how you cut it. I mean, when you cut, you do, it doesn't matter too much where you put your ruler. It's not going to, it's always going to cut through some motifs. So, you know, but if they were in completely straight lines, I would just have nightmares about cutting it straight and wanting it to be perfect. So that's a good design. It kind of helps you along the way. It makes the whole process a bit more relaxed. And then last of all, that lovely um, geometric print. So it kind of squares on point, almost like tiles. Really lovely. And of course, there's nothing to stop you going for all of these options and creating a, a full collection. We do have the full collection. Again, we'll be looking at that in the next hour. But you can shop ahead. If you've really fallen in love with Tea with B from Riley Blake, well, just go for it. It is really lovely. Today's the day. This is a brand new launch here on Sewing Street. £62.42 for any of those three collections. Yep. Remember, you're getting four metres of fabric in each. All you need to do is pick the colourway. Do you love the blue? Is mustard more your thing? Or are you into the greens and the corals? I think that's just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. 
And don't forget you get the instructions with each of the packs and that's the only way you can get those instructions. Not available on their own. So every reason to go for that. What a splendid collection. Now, let's start with Delphine. Delphine, good morning. Good morning, morning. It's wonderful to have you back. Thank you. Lovely to see you again. Ah, oh, you too. How are you? I'm very well. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. Busy day ahead. Yeah. Yes, mm, absolutely. We've got a busy do. morning together. Yeah. Oh, well, the weather's horrible, isn't it, really, isn't it? So. It's a brilliant sewing yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. So no definitely. reason to go out. Yeah. Stay in, get your sewing machine out, put the lights on, because it's all dark out there. And it is. Yeah. It is. Autumn's coming. It is. Mm. So what do we do when it's autumn, when the weather's horrible? We stay in, we sew. <laughs> stay in and sew. Drink tea and make trees. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Great. So, beautiful quilt, Delphine. Oh, thank you. Really lovely. Love the tea with bee quilt. The, the, the fabric was absolutely beautiful. It is just so, such good quality to work with. So, mm. I, uh, but I, I, when I get the fabric, I'm always inspired by what to make with it from what the fabric is. Do you yep, do the same? And, completely. And sometimes I try and be really clever with it and think, oh, I'll come up with this or something. And I'm actually, no, I just really like the teacups and the tea idea. And I yeah. just thought it just looked really cool. And, you know, you can use it as a quilt. You can make it as a tablecloth, a yep. uh, placemat. So there's lots of things Table you could runners. do with it. Yeah, yep. there's so many different things you could do with it and, and change the orientation of the handle. and. It's a really yeah. versatile block, isn't it? Yeah. And also as well, I think it gives great opportunities for quilting as well. Delphine mm -hmm. and I were talking earlier on about how you could quilt different motifs mm -hmm. in the teacups, how you could do kind of steam coming out of the top of the teacups. The producer just said um, smoke coming out of the teacups. I don't know <laughs> how you make your tea, but um, she doesn't actually drink tea. I think that probably shows. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, really inspiring quilt, Delphine. I oh, love it. thank you. And suitable for a confident beginner. Yes, yeah. I and mean, there's a couple of little pieces, but it's all straight line. There's not really anything on the bias or anything like that. So, And like I said, the quality of the fabric is so good. It's really easy to put together. And you haven't used any other fabrics in that quilt, have you? There's nope. no You've just mixed and matched all of the fabrics. Yep. yep, I haven't used any solids in there. Looks lovely. Now, obviously, because you've got a half a metre of each fabric in uh -huh. the collection, eight different half metres, do you need to, do you specify where you use the fabrics or are you free to just mix You're free and match? to sort of mix and match. Um, I do explain in the instructions about mixing up the colours and uh, the pattern because if you have the, for example, the, the, the mustard bees next to the, mustard, the, the, the honeycomb, it won't stand out. So this is one of those patterns where it, it doesn't have to be matchy matchy. You can, you know, you clash the colours a little bit and mix up the patterns and just, just put them together and see what works. But um, it's... Well, all of the fabrics have been designed to work with each exactly, other. Yeah. So, I mean, however you place them, they're going to look fantastic. But exactly as Delphine was saying, you know, if you've got two fabrics like this, I've picked the honeycomb and the bees, um, you wouldn't want to put those two fabrics together because you've got no contrast. There isn't enough contrast between them. Whereas, of course, as soon as you throw in something like that or something like that, my eyes, my eyes, I can't see. Um, that will work. So if I just show that there, you see when you've got enough contrast. And if you're ever unsure, one of my tips certainly for seeing if there's enough contrast between fabrics is use your phone, take mm -hmm. a picture, turn it into black and white, yep. and then you can see easily. Delphine, back to you. Yeah. I was just saying that's something I do quite a lot actually. Just don't put the phone over the top of it or your iPad and it... It's a, it makes life so much easier, doesn't it? It really does. So, it really does. but yeah, all the um, the the cutting. There's only th so you'll need three different fabrics for each block. So one for the cup, one for the saucer, and one for the background. So you can just uh, mix them all up as you go along, and I lay them all out on the table or the floor and see which works. You can go, uh, you can do two of each that match, and you know make it all like place it so it's uh, all matching, or you can just go completely random. Fab. And yeah. you give all this advice in the pattern. I do. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. So, Delphi, will you show us how to make the block? Yes. Thank you. I certainly will. I think I might do, you've got plenty of time, so I might do two as we go along so Amazing. we can put them together. So I've already pre prepped them all in their little bundles. So this one I thought we'll do, we'll start off with the B. 
Now, which colourway are you using, Delphine? I'm using the mustard colourway Gorgeous, today. gorgeous. So, to start with, let me just move those out of the way. Okay, so we're going to need... Uh, let me just, I'm just doing this by eye, that will do, yeah. So, so at the moment this looks like squares, strips, yeah, rectangles. Yeah, really, really simple. No hard shapes? No, not at all. So what you'll need to do for this is you'll draw a line, I'll just do it roughly, mm -hmm. but, um, from one corner to the other one, so just like half square triangles. Yeah. And you'll do that on both sides. Obviously, at home, you'll do it with a ruler and be really nice and neat and tidy with it. Do you it. want a ruler? Uh, no, I'm, I'm all right. I'll grab one, <laughs> I'll grab one in a sec. Um, and all you're going to do is sew directly. You can put a pin in it if you want, but I'm not a huge pinner. But uh, you just sew directly across that line on each side. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do that now. Now, uh, Delphine's using the Elna 680 Plus for all her demos today, which, if you were with us at the weekend, came back into stock on Saturday, and my goodness me, on Friday rather, and my goodness me, uh, absolutely flew, unprecedented response. But I'm not surprised, I mean, I've been using the 680 Alna for years, and this new uh, 680 Plus is just fabulous. We have got less than 20% of our stock left. It was meant to be stock for the rest of the year. I mean, seriously, this was enough stock, we thought, to take us right up to Christmas, including all those Christmas presents to loved ones and to ourselves. Um, it's not gonna happen. We have got less than 20% of a really big stock, a really big stock. Um, so if you're thinking about going for the 680, you will need to be quick. It's 1,099 pounds until the end of September and then on the 1st of September that price will have to rise to where it should be now. Um, we shouldn't really be selling it for $1,099 but we've honoured the old price. Now you can get five split pays on the Elna 680 Plus. We normally only do four but um, we know it's a considered purchase so you get five split pays if you want them but be quick because less than 20% of the stock is left. We will talk about it in the 11 o'clock and I'll give you a bit of a tour of the machine too. But Delphine, let's see what you're doing. Okay, so I've sewn both of those um, squares on and I've just trimmed off the um, trimmed off the corner here. So I've just trimmed that off. Delphine, when you've done your, I always call them flippy corners, yeah. do you, what's your order? So you, on, sew. Yeah, cut, press. So you trim and then press them back. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so that's the main body of the cup right there. So again, I've nothing too scary. Just, you know, just once you've sewn those on, you just set that aside and then we're going to move on to the handle. So I'll just move that out of the way there. So you'll orientate your pieces. Like I said, they're all, um, all the measurements are in the instructions. So this is what's going to form your handle. I have been uh, thought about the direction of the bees on this one. But you don't have to, it doesn't matter if you... Um, so that's going to form your handle, basically. So you've got the smaller square at the top and the longer one at the bottom. So what I tend to do is just do it in order as we go along. So first of all, oh no, first of all, you do your centre section. So the smaller piece on top of that piece, this is the only fiddliest bit, really. And that so doesn't look fiddly. No, no. It's, um, and everything's with a quarter inch seam throughout. Now, if you've got the Elmer 680, um, the quarter inch stitch, you can, you've got a quarter inch foot actually included, um, but you've also got a patchwork of several patchwork stitches on the machine too. Delphine's using stitch number six, which is just using the regular foot, but it gives her a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Really useful, that. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're welcome. <laughs> I use mine all the time. So I've just done this, the, uh, the centre section. So now what I'm going to do is so the bottom part of the handle right sides together quarter inch seam and then I'll open it out and then sew them all in order so they're all one big section so I'll show you as I go along. So what looks like a, a complicated little bit of the block that might have put some beginner sewers off actually it's really simple isn't it? Really simple and there's no need to press as you go along I press it at the end so 
You just finger press back. Just here. finger press at yeah. the moment, and then I'll press. I do press the seams open on the handle though, because I want it to be nice and flat. Ah, so. yes. Yellow and grey colours of the year. It's a beautiful combination. I love a bit of grello. I love grello. It's very yellow. on trend, isn't it? It really is. It's lovely. So, you know, even if you've got quite a traditional interior, and I think these are quite traditional fabrics, but they've got a lovely modern colour palette to them, so they'll freshen up the room that they go into. This would be a nice one for a conservatory, wouldn't it? This theme or um, dining room. Yeah, I've got, I've got these colours in my snug at home. Ooh, yeah. lovely. Last part. The snug's the... quite fancy, isn't it? Well, it's in the day. It's not snug. It's where the boys go and play on their computer games. So ah, okay. it's next to the kitchen, you see. So I can keep an eye on them. Fair enough. <laughs> Although Fair enough. when they're all playing duos on whatever they're playing, it it can get a bit argumentative. So that's why that okay. needs room needs to be quite close by. But in the evening, it's a snug. It's a snug. Yeah. It becomes an adult space. It does. A yeah. Quiet space. I know. Yeah. It does. Or it's usually where the boys, you know, Nick, my husband, and the boys are watching something on telly and it becomes the mum lounge. Oh, OK. <laughs> so it's where I'll just disappear and watch right. Netflix. a little sanctuary. <laughs> yeah. Nice. They still find me, though. <laughs> they still come looking. Locks on the doors. That's uh, what you need. <laughs> what? Or a sign. <laughs> Private, keep out. Yeah, leave mum alone. <laughs> yeah, do not disturb. Uh, There's a thought for a design. Delphine. Okay. Do not disturb quilts. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're pressing all those seams open? I press them open only because I want them to lie nice and nice and flat. I usually press my seams to, to one side, to the yeah. dark side, but when I'm doing something a bit smaller like this, I just want to make sure that they're all completely open because, as you know, like if you just have a slight mill, it can go out, and that's yeah. why I press them. Yeah, pressing yeah. seams open makes it really flat, doesn't it? Um, we've had a question from Pauline asking, what size is the finished quilt, please? Oh, did Do I you not remember? write it? It is in front of me, yeah. Um, 51 inches square. <laughs> 51 Thank inches you. square. You're welcome. So that's the finish <laughs> handle section. Really good size, that, for a wall hanging. You could use that as a throw quilt as well, couldn't you? you like could, on a sofa. Yeah. And you could make it bigger, you could make it smaller, you could just make it for a tablecloth or a centrepiece or a table mm. runner. You could, there's lots of different things you could yeah. use it for. Absolutely. And of course, if you want to make the quilt bigger, if you wanted to make Delphine's quilt into a king size quilt, just buy the three different colour packs, mix them mm. all up. That would be a lot of fun. That would be. It would be. And because even though it is quite a large quilt, it's. Because the pieces are quite big, mm -hmm. it's achievable in a day or two. Yeah. You know, so if you s usually when you see quilts this big, it can take quite a long time to make. But yes. Because their blocks are quite simple. Each block's about, yeah. If, if, if each block takes you an hour, it's 16 blocks, 16 mm. hours yeah. to put the whole thing together. I'm going to try and make three blocks this hour, maybe. Wow, sir. Uh, well, we'll see. So there you go, that's your finished block. So what I'm going to do now, well, not finished block, sorry, uh, your finished handle section. So now you've got your other piece here and you're just going to sew those right sides together down each side. There. That's coming together super quick. Really quick. Any points to match there, Delphine? No, no. You will notice, um, in fact, I'll just sew this bit on, but where the handle meets mm -hmm. the um, the actual cup, you, it's it's a slight step up. It's not a mistake. That's the way I wanted it to be because okay. I didn't want the handle to come right at the bottom of the cup because otherwise right. it would make a bit silly. So we're not even having to match the handle no. to the bottom of the cup. No. There you can see that little step up, can't you? Yes. So don't worry about that little step up. That's supposed to be like that. And well, that's where it is on a real cup, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's right. Yeah. Perfect. And it also and also, Delphine, you've been very kind to us when we're making that because now we don't have any points to match either. So thank you. No, the only points to match is when you're putting it all together. Great. Lovely and relaxed this. Confident beginners or beginners, I hope you're feeling more confident yeah. now. Now that you've seen Delphine putting this together. It's ace. Delphine, are you a tea drinker? No. <laughs> coffee, coffee. I love my coffee. Black coffee, one sweetener. Not saying anything. I wasn't offering. <laughs> I'll 
just nip off, shall I? <laughs> you, I'll go get you. Elliot <laughs> usually makes me one. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually, I brought in specially, I brought my water bottle in. Oh, that's Because lovely. I thought it would be completely suitable for the show today. Oh, it's very... Water with B. Very pretty. Yeah. I'm trying to drink more water. I'm trying to be good. Drink more water, you know. But I'm trying to be good in all kinds of ways and it's not really working out terribly well, I'm afraid. It's much more fun to not be good, isn't it? So those sides are on already. Yep. So the cup's done. So now I'm just going to do the saucer. So again, you want the, the, the bottom piece to stand out quite a lot. So you're going to have, again, just as you did with the cup, you're just going to put your squares on the end and then you're going to draw, uh, you can draw them on if you want to, but I'll just do it by eye. And you're just going to sew a diagonal line. Make sure you've got it the correct orientation though with your squares, otherwise you'll be unpicking and you'll be quite cross with yourself. So, so the angle in towards in, the centre yes. of the block. Yeah. So, you know, it's just something to bear in mind, especially if you're, um, you, you're using a directional fabric. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But maybe like the first block you make, draw them on, see how you get on. You could yeah. try eyeballing it like Delphine. At home, I usually do it a lot straighter, but, uh, you know, I'm usually a lot closer well, to I the machine. Well, I think straight's very overrated, Delphine. <laughs> but it's, um... <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it will do. It's fine, it will do. It won't, it won't affect the finished look of it. See, this is what I mean, that's what I've just done. See, I wasn't paying attention to what I was what doing. What have you just done? Nothing. Nothing. Now, let me, there's <laughs> good, good time to ask this question. When you're first starting the quilt, um, should we just cut out all the blocks or just cut out one? Uh, to start with, just, just cut out the one, make sure you're happy with it. Maybe even two, actually. I mm -hmm. tend to do two as I go along because at the first one, you're never quite sure. Um, the second one, it's like, it's like muscle memory, isn't it? Once you've done it once or twice, it yes. becomes habit. Yes. Just not at half past eight of the morning. No, half past eight is harder to be on your game, I think. There we go. It's OK. I'll... Uh, I I could have got away with that, to be fair. The other benefit of doing one block on its own as well, of course, is you, you, know, you learn the method and also you can check your measurements and make sure that your seam allowance is accurate. Um, we use quarter inch feet, we use quarter inch stitch, that kind of thing. But there's nothing like actually piecing some fabrics together and measuring them and knowing what the mathematical length should be and comparing it with, with what it actually is. And then make little adjustments if you need to. There we go. I'm just trimming those off. So always worth flipping the corners back just to make sure you've got them the right way before you start yes. trimming. Lovely message there from we Wendy. Go. Yes, yes, yes. The 680 has arrived. Thought it would never happen, but worth the wait. And it's just been delivered. So happy. Thank you. How quick was that? Wow. Wendy, did you order your machine on Friday or Saturday? That's incredible. You must have done. Yeah, you must have done. That's amazing. So I think I can probably guess what Wendy's going to be doing today. It's going to be a sewing day. <laughs> Great manual with the Elna 680 Plus as well. And um, don't forget, if you want to read about the Elna, you can always download the manual. Just go to the Elna website, find the 680 Plus, download the manual and then you can have a read through it, see the kind of feet that you get provided, the different stitches you'll be able to do. See if it's got everything you need it to have. And don't forget, the sewer you are now isn't necessarily the sewer you're going to be in six months time, 12 months time, particularly if you're fairly new to sewing. You know, you really, I don't know about you Delphine, but where did, where did you start with sewing? Where did I start? What did you start with? Oh, uh, I think it was, believe it or not, I think I went straight into a free motion of a picture of a lion. Oh. Yeah, I've still got it somewhere. Was it yeah. already like a printed it was picture? A, it was like a printed panel. It was, it was just when I was going for, over from my fine art um, class into textiles. And again, everyone was making cushions and things like that. And I just... I just wanted to go straight into the pictures and the art side of things, mm. and it took me ages. I've still got it, and it's really—it's all faded. It's about over twenty odd years old, 
but uh, I, do, I will finish it one day. I'd like to it's say not I finished. finished. No, it, I, it was literally, I was colouring in this lion with a sewing machine. Lovely, gorgeous. But, yeah. It's no, but that's a lovely thing to do. And then I eventually went into, uh, I was making cushions from silk paintings, and then I went into screen printing and making them into coats and... Wow. So all over. Yeah. I need to. I need to see some of the things you've been made. You've made. Sounds amazing. <laughs> what, what for my college days? I don't yeah. know if I still got them. And you see them all. And no. You see everything. No. <laughs> but you know, if you fancy the idea of, of free motion stitching and embellishing on a base, have a look at some of the panels that we do, um, that we bring to Sewing Street, because there's some lovely panels that you can do exactly that with. Use it as a base, use it as a picture, and then free motion stitch, scribble, outline, hand stitch. You might even use some of those amazing Aurifil colours that are our early bird today. Don't forget, you can still get those. They're dwindling fast. We've got very, very few left now. $26.99 today, but they won't be around for very long. 10 200 meter spools of your Aurifil 50 weight thread in that gorgeous sort of autumny palette. Really lovely, really lovely. Now, Delphine, what you doing? What am I doing? All I've done is I did the, um the saucer and I've just sewn the saucer onto the uh, the bottom of the the cup there so as you can see it's got a nice little did you have tip. to pin that Delphine no 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 it's just a straight <gasps> line wow and then to finish off the block amazing all I'm going to do is just sew because you want that cup to really stand out so you could keep it like that and just make a row of those but by just adding that top bit there it's going to make really make it pop out and stand out and it gives you then options for the quilting like we were saying earlier on and you could put some little decorations on there you, like you say you could personalize them if it was just the one block uh, so yes, yeah, so that's why I wanted to make sure it was that full square, so it gives you options for quilting later. Yeah, on some of these you could even you could applique um, someone a letter for someone's name yeah. or a heart. Yep, anything. Yeah. Maybe you just use something like Bonderweb on the back of your fabric. We've got packs of Bonderweb actually coming up. If you go actually online, you can shop ahead. You can pre-order. We've got five meter rolls of Bonderweb back in stock. We are going to have it at 11 o'clock properly, unless you've bought it all. I do know it's a favourite. But go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Watch live. And then just scroll down. And you'll be able to find your pre-order on the right-hand side. And there we go. There's that Tea with B fabric. Available by the half metre. We will be going through those in the next hour, don't forget. And then if you keep scrolling down, you'll see, oh, lovely strip rolls. Oh, Riley Blake, gorgeous, love it, some solids. There's the Tree of Life. Now we've got that coming up at 10 o'clock with Delphine. I am so excited to see some of those fabrics. They are stunning. Bondweb, where are you? There's the mini iron that Delphine's using. And Bondweb on the roll, there we go. Smashing. 23.99 that for five metres of Bondweb. Really useful for adding embellishments. So, is there that we done? That's that block done, yeah. Amazing. A little cup of tea. Oh, yes, please. Or coffee. And that mustard fabric really does look amazing on the black and white background. It does. It's beautiful. Like I said, they all work really, really well together. And I'm just going to um, make show, show you one with the pink as well and that really beautiful dark floral fabric. Fab. Yeah, because so. although we're calling that, that, that collection mustard, you've actually got loads of other different colours in there. Of course, you've got the beautiful black and white. You've got those lovely monochrome fabrics, which do contrast beautifully with each other too. They would look really good as a teacup and saucer, I'm thinking, with then some kind of floral background. Um, you've got those lovely peachy coral tones as well as the mustard and then my absolute favourite, the big floral with the black background. So this is all in the mustard collection. The teacups, of course, bring in some green and some blue. 
And these are, in the trade, this is what's called a bridge fabric. So this bridges the, the gap between the mustard colourway, the blue colourway and the, and the pink colourway because this would work with any of those collections. So definitely something to stock up on that, I think. Pink is the most popular. If you want to get the pink bundle, uh, be quick, there are the details. £62.42. and pence. Don't forget you're getting four metres of the Tea with Bee fabric, brand new from Riley Blake on Sewing Street today. And you're getting half a metre of that for free. You're also getting, and I think more importantly than the fabric, you're getting the instructions for the Tea with Bee quilt from our very own Delphine Brooks. Now we've had a question from Dawn about the size of the blocks and how they would work as placemats. Uh, they are a 13 inch block. Yep. Um, so I, you could use that as a, as a placemat on its own, but if I was going to do it as a placemat, I'll just put a two inch border. Either All the way around would make it look too big for a square. So mm -hmm. what I would just do is maybe like a one and a half inch at the top and a two and a half inch down the side. And then um, you could use the bagging out method with a piece of wadding in between and top Bad. stitch it down. Easy, Easy. peasy. You could even that do reversible ones, couldn't you? You could do. Oh yeah. You know. Ace. Another way you could do it would be to add something like a, maybe a six and a half inch strip down one side. And then you could put the cutlery in. Yeah. Little yeah. pocket on the front. Oh yeah, you could do a little pocket, couldn't you? Nice. Yeah. The cutlery. Wouldn't this be lovely for an afternoon tea party? Maybe you've got a wedding coming up, or a special birthday, retirement, anything like. Or you just like afternoon tea. It's my favourite meal of the day, Delphine. Is it? Cake. Afternoon tea. Tea and cake. <laughs> oh, tea and cake and maybe a few little sandwiches. But the sandwiches really are just to justify having pudding, aren't they? <laughs> Let's be honest. So when you people know. ask how you like your um, coffee or how do you like your tea, you should always say with cake. <laughs> I love it. Well, not milk and sugar, with cake. Yeah, love it. <clears throat> now, I love going for afternoon tea, and Charlie and I actually did a bit of a nationwide tour once to sort of try and find the best afternoon tea in Britain. Did you find it? Well, I, I don't <laughs> think we did, really, because there was always something special about everywhere we went, either the location or the tea was particularly good or the scone. I mean, we, we had some terrible scones as well. The scones were the worst bit. They were the most variable. Oh, so you're a scone, not a scone. I get, oh, I haven't really thought about that. I heard once, I uh, don't know if it, uh, uh, you know, don't quote me on this, but I'm sure it was someone on the telly, like Mary Berry or someone, and said it, it's a scone because once it's scone, it's gone. I don't know if that's. Well, I love Mary Berry, so anything <laughs> she like says must be true. <laughs> yeah. She's like a goddess in she our is, house. She is. Charlie and I um, both are fairly, you know, uh, um, experienced cooks, you know, we cook a lot. And we both thought we were quite good at making Yorkshire puddings until we got Mary Berry's Newy and used her method for making <gasps> Yorkshire puddings. And we were just That's who I away. use and you, every time. Every time. Huge and Yorkshire. And she says in the recipe, these work every time. We were like, really, Mary? Really? That's quite a statement. But she's right. She does. They work every single time. Yeah, Can you do a Yorkshire pudding quilt next time? <laughs> It's just getting silly now, isn't it? I also, it's, made, it's, it's good in the um, toes in the hole as well. Oh, yeah. Oh. We get into that weather, aren't we? Lovely. We're doing a lot of food today. It's not even nine o'clock and we're talking about Yorkshire puddings, toes <laughs> in the hole and an afternoon tea. Oh, Delphine, that is stunning. That's a pretty one, isn't it? That is stunning. This is the mustard colourway, by the way. The details are on screen, 62.42, to get your four metres of fabric, eight different fabrics, half a metre of each. It's brand new. So there's another, so there's another one. Tea with B. You haven't just made three blocks. You, well, sort of. I cheated on one. How? When you were talking earlier. <gasps> but you still made it. <laughs> yeah, I could. I do, yeah, I've probably, I could probably make them. Oh, more. this is a quick quilt. Yeah. Super. You said you'd do three blocks in the hour. I said I'll try and do four, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I've got time. Do you want me to? Yeah. All right, let's see how quick I can put this together. I like a challenge. You so. I'll do a roundup. That sounds... We'll come back to you. No pressure. No pressure. 
Okie doke. So ready, steady, so. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with the mustard colour way that Delphine's been using for her beautiful, beautiful... I don't know where Delphine gets all her ideas from. They're just stunning. All these beautiful fabrics. Remember, you're getting a total of eight different fabrics. You've got those lovely monochromes there, which I just think are super fabrics just to have in your stash anyway. Striking, modern and fresh, but contrasted with very antique looking florals, almost like botanical prints. Love this one with the sort of scattered blooms and leaves. A little bit of an autumn vibe going on there because of the golden leaves there. So this would fit right in at this time of year. Really nice neutral one there as well. It does all remind me of delicate china. You know, afternoon teas in a lovely little whimsical cafe. Just love that. And of course, that honeycomb. Don't forget, of course, once you've made this version of your quilt, you'll still have the pattern to use again and again. And I'm thinking blue and white prints to make it almost like a... Um, you know, kind of willow pattern, wedgewood look would be gorgeous. You could also use um, either striped fabric, blue and white striped or red and white striped, or you could piece strips together and then you could do kind of Cornish wear. That would be fun. All different kinds of Cornish wear. Spotty fabrics, striped fabrics, you could add appliques. I mean, Delphine's patterns really do um, inspire creativity. And they're a fantastic pattern on their own, but they also give so many different opportunities for kind of leaping off into your own creativity. And that's the mark of a really good pattern. Now, you can't get this pattern any other way. You can only get it with the Tea With Beat bundle. Here it is in the mustard. Second place now, Delphine. It's the Delphine touch. You sew with the fabric and we just love it. Most popular is pink. want to see what you think. I'd love to see your makes. Pop them on the fans page. When your fabrics arrive and you make your first block, we'd love to see your first block. So this is the pink colourway. And remember the pink is a lovely coral. It's a lovely coral colour. It's very soft and gentle. There's nothing garish about these fabrics. They're lovely and subtle, but still striking. That overall floral, really stunning one. I'm kind of, I'm starting to put them together in how I would make teacups. You can mix and match any way you like, but remember, go for contrast. You want to be able to see the difference between the teacup and the background and the saucer as well. So there's enough definition. The bees look really cute on this one because they're coral bees against a green background. Really stunning colour. Works really well. That's a pretty one. That's the strongest pink out of the whole lot. These two together, really coral. And so pretty against the floral. Works gorgeous, doesn't it? Really, really does. Beautiful collection. And there's also that um, wild grasses. Absolutely stunning. That's your pink colourway. It's the most popular. Really lovely. Be careful if that's in your basket and you haven't checked out. Don't forget, of course, at Sewing Street, you only pay one lot of postage. So three ninety five. you pay that once, and then for the rest of the day, it doesn't matter how many times you check out, you won't be charged another postage. Now, our final bundle is the blue. This is the one that Delphine used for her original quilt. Absolutely beautiful. It's a kind of duck egg and then mixed with those sage greens, corals, a little bit of mustard in. Again, this is that bridge fabric that pulls all of the fabrics together. If I just grab a mustard from the mustard collection, you can see how it fits together because we've got those bits of mustard in there. 
So don't worry about mixing and matching. If you want to go for two of these bundles and make a larger quilt, then you absolutely can. Beautiful big floral there. And again, I'm just going to grab one at random from one of the other collections. There's from the pink and the, the mustard collection. It would work. So don't be afraid to mix and match. Lovely sprigs. The little bees. I want oodles of that. I just want a bolt of that because I could use that in so many quilts. We'll have that in by the half meter after the break. This is another one I just need a bolt of. Absolutely beautiful. They really work well together, don't they? And there is that stunning finished quilt from Delphine, T with B. It's brand new today, everyone. And only available from us. Exclusive pattern from Delphine and you can't buy that pattern on its own. So if you've been inspired by Delphine's amazing uh, demonstration this morning, I can't, I still can't believe that Delphine's managed to piece three blocks in the time and is well on her way to making a fourth block. Pieces were cut out in advance but that is amazing, amazing work and should really, you know, inspire you if you think, I don't know if I've got enough time to make a big 51 inch square wall hanging. Delphine's made four blocks in the hour. Absolutely amazing work as always. Delphine, how are you getting on? I'm nearly done. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> nearly done. I think I'll be done in about 30 seconds maybe. We can stick with that. Yeah, it won't, be, it won't be pressed, but I'll, I can do it. Oh, we don't mind. We don't mind. Do you tend to take all your things up to the sewing machine at the end, and uh, to your ironing board, rather, at the end? No, I, I tend, I'm always up and down. I'll do a bit of cutting, and then I'd go to the... It all depends what I'm making. Yeah, I always say ironing's my cardio. It's the only reason why I get up out of my chair. Some lovely messages from Michaela. Good morning, Delphine and Stuart. Morning. Another fab demo by the amazing Delphine. Oh, thank Want two you. more hours for Delphine today. Bonus day. Julie says, loving the show this morning, guys. Thank you. Um, Lorraine says, morning to both of you. Lots of you watching. Morning, Delphine and Stuart. Always love both your demonstrations. Keep up the good work. That's from Sam. Oh, that's Morning, nice. B and Stuart. This is a perfect Christmas present. My friend would love a placemat with this pattern. That's a great idea, um, Rowellyn. And as we were talking, Delphine and I both gave you some ideas there of how you could add borders or just a rectangle on one side and then quilt and bind it. Or oh, you mentioned the bagging out method, Delphine. Yeah. What, what does that mean, the bagging so out? I would lay uh, my finished block or my finished piece on top of a piece of wadding and a, um, a backing fabric underneath. And then usually at the bottom, you'd sew all the way around, leaving a space at the bottom enough for your hand uh, to get in. And then you'd pull it all through. So you turn it inside, uh, turn it the right way out. And then you, before you do that, cut the corners so the, the corners are nice and sharp. And then you give it all a press. You fold in the gap, give, press that down or use a little bit of Wonder Web or something in there. And then just top stitch around the edge and you've got a placemat. Amazing. And quick and easy. Really easy, yeah. Yeah, no binding required. There Fab idea. I've not pressed that, but there um, you go. Hillary is messaged in to say, morning all, loving the Riley Blake fabric. Kiss, kiss. Thanks, Hillary. Four in an hour. Delphine, there we are. you're a machine. And then if I just lay them all out and you can would see you, them. I was going to say, would you lay them all out so we can see four together? Now you've got um, like a pieced border, haven't you? Like a scrappy border around the outside, but the yeah. blocks are set next to each other. There we go. So I can put them. There we are. Bam. As I said, I've not pressed that one. Fantastic. But you know, if you wanted to just do it as a centrepiece, that would be quite nice on the table. Or yeah. you could mix them up. Oh. Oh, you know, it's just different ideas, you know, or you could just have the three as a table runner, maybe. Yes, three in a row, placemats. Placemats, yeah. And like of course, you, you could add some extra fabrics in by the half metre and make the wall hanging plus a runner, couldn't you? You could, yeah. There's, there's, there's loads of different things you can do with this. this uh, oh, I like that. Yeah, like that, that works. Really, yeah. Gorgeous. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, Delphine, thank you so no much. No problem. That was a brilliant, yeah. brilliant hour. 
There we go. Fantastic block. Not difficult at all with Delphine's amazing instructions, of course. Remember, you can only get those instructions with your bundle, exclusive from Sewing Street. We're going to go to a little break now. Just enough time to make tea or coffee or possibly toast with or without butter. <laughs> when we come back, we'll be looking at the collection in more detail and I'll be showing you all the options for buying it by the half metre. So don't go away. I'll see you after this. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Sewing Street, or good uh, good morning to you. Maybe this is the first hour you've joined us. So, uh, Welsh Mary, hello. Welsh Mary's been to some of my workshops. Good morning, great way to wake up to see you, Stuart, and a lovely quilt. Oh, Mary, it's lovely to hear from you. We live in the same county. I don't know why all the question marks, but anyway. It's lovely to be with you, Mary, and thanks for joining us. Now, in the last hour, we had a fantastic brand new quilt from Delphine Brooks. This hour, we're going to be looking at the individual fabrics that you can buy by the half metre. We've also got an incredible mega bundle. Uh, now, this is what I always cover. I always want everything and half a metre of everything would be absolutely wonderful. Thank you. And that is what you're getting. Now, you've got 24 different fabrics here and you've got half a metre of each, including a free half metre, which means that you're getting 12 metres in total. This is absolutely stunning. And there are some fabrics here that you don't get in the individual bundles that we had in the last hour. 24 different fabrics. That is an amazing, amazing bundle. So much fabric. 
Now, let's have a look and see what we've got there. So we've got our beautiful teacup print in the blue and the pink, which is a lovely coral, and also in the white background. Those are stunning. So you've got your teacups. Next up, you've got your honeycomb. You've got the, again, it's like a tealy blue. It's maybe a duck egg. You've got the coral pink and you've also got the mustard. I love the mixture of traditional print with quite modern. It's, you know, and it's great to have that mixture as well of geometric with more patterned fabrics. It's a lovely way to bring variety. It's different scales of print. So the teacups is quite a large print and then the uh, honeycomb, much smaller print, would read as a solid almost from a distance. But then when you get a little bit closer to the quilt or the cushion or the table runner, you're getting much more there than just a plain fabric. So you've got your honeycomb. Next up, the bees. I think this might be my favourite print actually. It's such a useful one. You've got that um, in an ivory background with little blue bees. And then you've got a sage green background with little coral pink bees. And then the mustard, can't go wrong with that, with ivory bees. It's a lovely, lovely detailed print. Super useful. Half a metre of each of those two. Loving these colourways. It's a really lovely sort of modern, fresh colour palette. The mustard, the coral, the duck egg blue together and mixed in with the green as well. It just ties everything together beautifully. There's a little bit of black in this um, range as well, which I think is very, very striking. Now, another lovely all over floral print, this one. Um, makes me think of little dresses. It's really cute, isn't it? And china, fine china, at your nans. Oh, lovely. It's a bit, yeah, it's really gorgeous. You've got that lovely duck egg blue. You've got a soft, pale coral. And then you've also got this much deeper coral. Those look lovely together, don't they? These would go beautifully in anyone's stash, I think. Half a metre of each. Next up this amazing geometric. Now this is a big bundle that we've got here. It's 12 meters of fabric, 24 different prints. It's a real, real mixture. Different florals, geometric, small, medium and large prints. And that's what you need when you're creating something like a quilt. You need a mixture of scales. And typically what we do when we go fabric shopping is we tend to go for the same scale of prints. So we always buy large scale prints or we always buy really small prints. You know, lots of us shop like that. Buying the Mega Bundle gives you a mixture of different scales, a mixture of different colours. And some of those colours might be slightly out of your comfort zone too. But when you pull them all together, you know, professional designers have put these collections together, have designed them. They're going to work beautifully. They're going to work beautifully. So in this geometric, you've got a duck egg, you've got a coral, and you've got this one, which is absolutely my favourite, which is the black and white. Really stunning, this one. I'm going to open it out. And isn't it interesting, you know, if I was sh shopping for fabric and I was going for florals, I wouldn't instantly think of a geometric like this. But then when you lay it up against something like this print right here, it's like, wow, wow. For a start, there's that amazing contrast of colours and also tone, value, but also you've got that contrast of style as well. So you've got the florals, you've mixed it with the geometric, and this becomes a really exciting combination. Really makes that floral pop, doesn't it? So this is where buying a collection of fabric will really help your creativity because it will just push you a little bit to use different fabrics. So that's that geometric tile print, duck egg, coral and the black and white. We haven't finished. There's more in this collection. We've still nine fabrics. 
Now then, here's the main floral, the main print that really sort of holds the whole collection together. And it's a gorgeous all over kind of poppies and um, little almost like daisy prints. These look like clover to me. Is that clover? And maybe some wheat. We were cutting barley and baling straw at the farm yesterday. 1,500 bales of straw. That's a lot of bedding, isn't it? <laughs> I should be fitter than I am, but I don't tend to do much heavy lifting, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'd just like to point out I don't sleep on straw. When I talk about there being lots of bedding, I don't mean for me. I'm really talking about for the goats and the sheep and etc. etc. My lovely goats. I had a fun day actually a couple of days ago. I was bathing goats. I spent most of my day bathing goats. Um, Olaf in particular needed a full bath. So we just, that was quite cute. That was quite a cute moment. Bathing Olaf. Ah. <sighs> What did you do on your day off? <laughs> so this stunning floral you've got in a white background, a black background and also the duck egg blue. Absolutely beautiful that. Really lovely collection. This is Tea with B. It's £172.27 but you've got three split pays there so you can get this whole collection home for only £57.42 plus your P&P of £3.95 but remember it's capped. You're only going to pay it once today. So if you make any other purchases, you will only pay one PMP. Now, if you're going for this mega bundle and you're using those three split pays, the whole thing will be paid off by Christmas. What a gorgeous, gorgeous gift, probably to myself. <laughs> OK, all over flower sprigs. Really lovely. Again, a botanical print. This reminds me of the sort of illustrations from, you know, 19th century botanical books. That period of exploration when, um, you know, botanists and illustrators and artists were there on the ships doing those sort of first pictures of animals and birds and fish and, you know, landscapes, peoples as well, from around the world. Um, it's really got that feel to it. It's lovely and gentle. Love the golds, love the pinks. There's that little bit of deep raspberry pink in each of these, which really just adds a, a lovely rich highlight. What would you make with Tea with B? Would you make Delphine's teacup quilt? Or has it set your mind thinking to something else? Maybe bags, maybe bags and homewares, maybe a freshen up for the kitchen. Maybe before we go into the winter, you want to freshen up your kitchen. So things like some padded cushions for the chairs, the kitchen chairs. You know, and this, they can be as simple as, you know, just an ordinary cushion, but in one of the seams, add some ties. Just put some ties in folded and top stitched long ties, two in each corner at the bottom that you can then tie it on to the kitchen chair. That was me tying. Did you like that tying? I always have to mime. I don't know why. So this is the um, grass quilt, uh, grass print rather, in a lovely light green and a dark green, and also my favourite, the black and white. Really love the black and white in this collection. And that is your full mega collection. It is a huge bundle. Merry Christmas, happy birthday. 12 metres, half a metre of each, so 24 different fabrics. That is what I call happy post. Is it going to be your happy post? It's 172.27, but remember, you can get three split pays. Congratulations if you've got anything from the T with B collection. We're in the teens now. Yeah, you've really gone for this. Lots of you buying the Mega Bundle with only a handful left. Gorge. Now then, what about pre-cuts? We do love our pre-cuts here. 
If you love your pre-cuts, don't forget to tune in at 10 o'clock. We've got lots of lovely pre-cuts at 10 o'clock, including our manager's special. Mm, that's been very popular this week. And we've got a pre-cut manager special, two manager specials actually today. So you won't want to miss that. Bang on 10 o'clock. Now then, let's go back to T with B. We've got the 10 inch stacker, 10 inch squares. Now in this pack, you're getting 42, 42 10 inch charm squares. I'm gonna be a little tinker and open this up. Um, I love the fact that we've got a little graphic on the back, which shows us exactly what we're getting. There we go, Ooh, turn it around. Oh, oh, unpacking. It's like I'm going to be allowed to take it home, if only. I've hinted so much since I've started here. I've hinted so many times and I've had nothing put in the boot of my car. Nothing, nothing at all. But I'm just going to keep hinting until I get something. So 10 inch squares with that pinked edge. So the whole collection in 10 inch squares. Now 10 inch squares of course offer lots and lots of opportunities for cutting down. You could of course sew these squares together, make a really simple quick quilt. You might be thinking I don't need half a meter of each, a 10 inch square is enough. Oh, lovely. This would be a great option. It's 49.99 for your 10 inch charm pack. 42 fabrics, remember, which from my reckoning, most of them you're getting two of each print. There's that lovely geometric. Oh, you see, one of that one. Mm. So a couple of them, you'll only get one of them, but most you're getting two of each. Just, oh, you do get two of that one. Phew, that's all right then. <laughs> Great way to dive into the collection and get a bit of everything, quite a bit of everything. So if you want to cut into your um, 10 inch charm squares, of course, you can cut them into four five inch squares. You could also cut one really big circle or maybe nine smaller circles. They would look great applique. You can use the fabric for applique, of course. Flowers, leaves, teacups, plates, saucers. You could do a whole dresser covered in fancy china. What about that? Either piece them or applique them. We've had an email. I'm going to read this email out. It's from Marie in the Scottish Borders. Oh Stuart, you're a breath of fresh air. Oh, thank you. Bathing Olaf should be the title of a film. I think so too. Bathing Olaf. Love the fabrics and your guidance and encouragement to put fabrics together that I would usually, that would usually be outside my comfort zone. I get that. I totally get that. It's just what I needed. The 10 inch scares will be mine. Marie. Oh, I love that Marie in the Scottish borders. <laughs> yes, those 10 inch squares shall be yours. Absolutely. It's a great way of buying fabric because you get a good piece of every fabric in a collection. You don't have to choose how vibrant they are. It's a stunning collection and I particularly love, and you seem to be loving, that combination of traditional florals with modern geometrics. It's a great way of just moving your, your, your work on a little bit. If you feel stuck in it, I always use florals, I always use more vintage, and you just want to maybe add a little fresher tone, those geometrics in there are really going to do the job for you. Now, next up, just opening everything today, just doing what I want. It's another use for a seam ripper. I was talking the other day, my seam ripper is called the Grim Ripper. You get it, the Grim Ripper. Um, and then I had a lovely message from um, Jackie who said that um, my seam ripper is called Jack the Ripper. Love that, Jack the Ripper. She's Jackie, so it's Jack the Ripper. Um, this is fantastic. A two and a half inch strip roll. You're still going to get loads of detail in, for example, look. That, that big floral, do you see? 
you're still getting loads of detail in, oh sorry, just wandering off the screen. Yeah, you're still getting all that. Two and a half inch strip by the width of the fabric, so that's approximately, you know, between 42 and 44 inches. Um, but from selvage to selvage, two and a half inch strips. Again, you're getting two of each of most of the prints. You'll get one of some of them. Um, but those are fantastic. These are going to work brilliantly in any of your strip roll or jelly roll projects. So if you've bought like Pam and Nikki Lintoff books in the past, we love Pam and Nikki. They do great work. Um, their patterns will work really well with a strip roll um, like this. Um, but also um, lots of my books, uh, Make 100 Quilts, Simple Shape Stunning Quilts, use a lot of two and a half inch strips. I love a pre-cut. I just love a pre-cut. I love the fact that some of the cutting is already done for me. And of course, I love the fact that I'm getting, whoa, look at that, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything for 49 99 had a lovely message from Wendy in Gloucestershire. Ha ha, my old neck of the woods. Woohoo! My Elna 680 arrived today. I'm so excited, I can't wait to play. Wendy, that is what it is all about. Music to my ears. It's wonderful that you're getting your machine so quickly. Remember, the Elners actually get dispatched direct from the Elna warehouse. So if you've ordered the Elna 680 plus a bundle of fabric, they may come on the same day. They might come a day apart or, or something like that, but they get dispatched straight away. Janet's messaged, just had my 680 delivered. How efficient it's, uh, or is that? Ordered on Thursday. I have a busy day ahead. Regards, Janet, who's in Ellesmere. Oh, Janet Ellesmere in Shropshire. Beg your pardon. Fantastic. Well, that is really fast service, isn't it? We've had a message on Facebook too from someone saying they've uh, received theirs too, from Sarah. Sarah's received hers too. Absolutely wonderful. Well, I mean, it would just kill me if I'd ordered my brand new sewing machine and I was having to wait for it. Yes, we wouldn't want that. Um, Samantha's uh, emailed in to say, bathing goats, they hate water. If I tried it with mine, I know they'd make sure my body was never found. <laughs> now, yes, I mean, definitely, I, I, I would agree. My goats hate rain and things like that. They definitely, as soon as there's any rain, they run straight into the barn and get themselves cuddled down. But actually, Olaf and also Miss, Miss Braun, um, who's one of the, the adults. Olaf, Olaf is um, a kid and uh, Miss Braun um, is an adult. And both of them had to have baths and actually they were really good really good there was lots of cutting i mean olaf once he'd been in and he was out on my lap getting toweled down he actually fell asleep rested his head on my rather conveniently positioned tummy and um, fell asleep which was beautiful yeah let's do tea with b by the half meter now you've seen the pre-cuts, you've seen the mega bundle. Maybe there are a couple of fabrics in there that are just really winking at you and um, you need on their own. Maybe you've got something in mind, maybe a messenger bag using one of the florals, one of the geometrics together. Half meters. Now then, are we gonna go individual codes for each fabric? Let's do that. All right, okay. It's going to be a bit random and all over. Here we go. So this one, do you want me to read the code out? Okay. LHY V90. 749 for a half metre. It's all quilting weight cotton, of course. 100% cotton. Lovely weight of fabric, this. Nice and stable, nice and tightly woven and a beautiful print that's gonna wash well. If you're washing your fabrics, I always recommend 30 degree, but you know, um, use a color safe liquid um, when you're washing them as well. And then if you're gonna tumble dry them, just on low, just on low heat, um, but you can line dry them as well. I don't pre-wash things like pre-cuts. So strip rolls, charm packs, layer cakes, 10 inch stackers, don't pre-wash those, otherwise they'll, they'll be all out of shape. And 
a nice message from Jane. Morning, Stuart, from the sunny Netherlands. Ah, loving the fabrics. I'm making the trolley bag from your new book. It's fab. Jane, thank you so much. What a wonderful message to, to receive from you. Yeah, the trolley bags I made on air last week on Thursday. So if you want to go back and watch that show again, Jane, or anyone else, I'll show you all the different stages of putting the trolley bags together. Look forward to seeing them when they're done. Actually, the trolley bags would look amazing done in T with B. Small trolley bag, you need half meters of two different fabrics for the outside. The large trolley bag, you need a meter of each. So four, two, sorry, two units um, of each fabric for the large bag. Okay, so that's that one. Let's see what we've got. Do you want to just do the same fabrics? Okay, so we've got that one in coral now. That's FLYV48. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That sort of peachy pink is absolutely stunning. It's a really pretty one. Lots of people are pre-ordering. Lots of people are pre-ordering this collection, picking their favourite prints. And there's that same one now in the lightest peach background, LSY V40. That's T with B, blush hops. By the half metre, you can pick and choose. Just get the ones you love. I love that too, blush, blush hops. The hops actually in the, the hedgerows are just starting to sort of really properly flower now. Hops are lovely in a little pillow if you can't sleep, aren't they, apparently? You put hops, dried hops in a little pillow and tuck it inside a cushion or a pillow on your bed and the smell is meant to help you go to sleep. Don't know if that works for you. Not everyone likes the smell of lavender, do they? Now then, let's go little bees. Little bees. One of my favourite ones, this. There they are in mustard. And that's LXYV70. This has been very, very popular on pre-order. I don't doubt it. It's a lovely fabric. Really nice and smooth. Really nice and smooth, this fabric. Gorgeous weight. Quilt weight. You're getting half a metre there. But if you want a metre, just order two units and it will come as one continuous length. So you can pick and choose. So that's the mustard. And then we've also got it in two other colourways. Here we've got the lighter background. This is like a duck egg blue. And this is, let me just turn it around, SFYV96. There it is. It's the sand dollar B fabric. I do some quilting called sand dollar. It's a kind of quilting. A sand doll is a thing, isn't it? It's an organism, I believe. A sand doller. Hmm. Oh, every day is a school day. It's an urchin. Isn't that like they have in Oliver? Little street urchins. <laughs> I don't know. All right. And then the last option, colour-wise, is the green. That's TKY V58. Oh, my optician was right. I'm reading these all right. <laughs> That's the T with B green B fabric. And the B on this one is like that very, very soft coral pink or maybe blush. Can you see? And look at that detail, even really close up. Really, really fresh and crisp printing. Smashing, really designer looking. This would be lovely on a smaller scale bag or for a trim on a bag, wouldn't it? Have that little bit of interest. Smashing. Love that. Right. Now the next up, honeycombs. Again, really, really useful one for your stash, this. This is the teal blue. This is BFYV68. And is that one called honeycombs? Yes. Yes. Lake honeycomb fabric. So that colour is called lake. It's got that sort of colour, hasn't it? Maybe like that blue, kind of, I think robin's egg blue. Robin's egg. 
pretty. That's also available in the coral. Now you'll be telling me that's not called coral. <laughs> that's S-E-Y-V-63. 83, sorry. It is coral, thank you. Coral honeycomb. Useful for, um, I guess, look of tiles as well, like floor tiles or... It could stand on its own, couldn't it? I mean, it works beautifully with the collection, of course, with teacups and florals, but also would work on its own as well. And then we've also got it in the mustard. That's MFYV30. Loads of you are shopping for this on pre-order. I mentioned the other day, actually, my retirement plan is to keep bees. I want to keep bees. I want to become an apiarist. An apiarist, I believe it's called, isn't it? I always, whenever I go to like country shows and they have a display by the beekeeping society, I always go and sort of, I'm always intrigued by it. It looks very complicated though. So that's why I'm not doing it now and waiting for a time where I feel like I'll have more time to concentrate on um, the different processes. But it does look very, very interesting, I think. Now, let's look at something that's a bit more impactful. The teacups. Tea with B. Three different colourways here. Again, available by the half metre. So you can choose a half metre, a full, a metre and a half. You're going to get your fabric in a continuous cut. We'll start with the blue. So this is DY, DVY, V32. And I'm just going to open this out so you can see a little bit more of the overall impact. I mean, this would be absolutely gorgeous if you wanted to make something like placemats. You could just cut out a rectangular placemat or a circular. That would be really nice. Layer it up, quilt it and bind it with perhaps one of the geometrics. And you've got a ready-made placemat. Absolutely stunning. What about mug rugs? What about like a mug carry bag? Yeah. Rather than using a cardboard or plastic sleeve for your takeaway coffee, why not make one out of, out of this? You could use Thermalan inside and a backing, you know, really just a kind of a strip with a, a, an elastic on one end and a button on the other maybe to stretch around and button up or a little tie or something like that. You know, we've got those cold winter mornings coming ahead, waiting for the bus or the train. Nice cup of tea or coffee on the platform with your tea with B mug holder, something like that. Could work really well. Now, we don't have the white in the half metre. I'm guessing that has gone. So I'm going to take that out. But we do have the blush. We do have the blush, which is this lovely soft coral. I think we're going to have more of this as we go through the hour. We're going to have more and more sellouts. We don't have massive stocks of the individual fabrics. So do be quick. If there's something that's appealing to you, maybe you've been inspired by Delphine's Tea with B quilt and you want to make it bigger. And so you need some extra. You've bought the bundle, one colour bundle, but you need some extra fabrics just to expand it a little bit. Remember that Delphine's quilt had got 16 blocks in it, but you could extend that and have it four by five and have 20 blocks for a, maybe a single bed quilt if you wanted. And I would just buy maybe three more half metres of fabric and that would do it. That would do it. So you might have gone for the pink colourway when you bought your bundle with pattern, but you could add a few of the mustard or a few of the blue. Just go for three, and I would go maybe large, medium, and small scale prints. Make sure that there's good contrast between the three. So maybe something like the bees, the teacups, and maybe something like one of the geometrics or the big floral. Jobs are good. Un. So that's our blush colorway and the teacups. Now, large floral. This is my second favourite print. My favourite print, I think, is the Geometrics. But this is absolutely stunning. Let's start with the black. 
really gorgeous. FTY V04. I read that upside down. When I was a school teacher, I really developed the skill of reading upside down. So depending where I was, I could always read. Have a go. Beautiful black background, really makes the colours pop there. Got those lovely sort of blues, corals, pinks, a bit of gold in there, lots of green as well to keep it nice and fresh. This would be absolutely beautiful as the flap on a messenger bag. So imagine if this was the flap and then this was the main bag. Yeah, so something like that for a nice little messenger bag. That would be gorgeous. You can have that idea. You can take that. Nice little clasp on the front. A little bit of metalware. Very nice. Easy peasy. Something like my essential messenger bag in my book bags for life. Half a metre of each. Half a metre of each. Half a metre for the lining. You could go for a solid, but you could also go, what about putting the honeycombs inside the bag or the little bees inside the bag? That would be beautiful. Three half metres, essential messenger bag, done. Okay, let me pop that to one side. So that's our big floral using the black background, charcoal background. Now then, we've got the white background available. So if you were disappointed that the teacups with the white background wasn't available, this floral is stunning. That's FXYV53. Lovely and fresh. It's so one of the most popular on pre-order. And again, you could easily, easily mix that up, maybe with the blush. That would make a gorgeous messenger bag. Or shopping bag. Something for the market. Maybe you've already gone for the honeycomb. That would also work really well. That would work. Doesn't that make the yellow flowers pop? See, a good fabric collection like this has been put together really skillfully. Just makes the job of choosing a couple of fabrics to make something lovely easy peasy. I really do think this is a great collection. Absolutely smashing. That's your floral with a white background. And then we've also got it with the teal background. Again, absolutely lovely. And again, just to show you how you could mix that with one of the other fabrics. Again, let's just keep it nice and simple. Blues together, blue and blue. It just works really well, doesn't it? Very nice indeed, that. Okay, next lot of fabrics. We've got those geometrics. Let's do those geometrics because that's really, it's a good one. So this is called... Oh... Oh, we'll start with the black. Square spotted. Square spotted. Might just be our name, I don't know. But that is a lovely one. Black and white. Useful print anyway. So many different ways you could use a print like this. But it works beautifully with the florals. Would look great in a bag. Great in a home decor project. Good as well added with maybe one of the big florals to create simple placemats. You know, nice big square of this on one side, strip of this on the other, maybe a little pocket for cutlery, and you're away. You could also make napkins using these fabrics. You know, maybe cut out a 14 or 16 inch square, hem the edges. If you've gone for the Elna 680 Plus, one of your feet in there is a narrow rolled hem foot. So there, just slide the fabric in. You don't have to start folding it over or pressing it. Just slide it into the rolled um, hem foot and stitch and you get a really tiny, neat rolled hem all the way around. Great for napkins, really useful. That's on your Elna 680 Plus, which we have still got a handful left but not many at all, certainly not enough to keep us going till Christmas. So that's our square spotted in charcoal. We've also got it in blush. There it is in blush. Coral, thank you. Coral. 7.49 for a half metre. And then we've also got it in the teal. 
which I think that's my favourite colourway. That teal is really lovely, nice and fresh, gorgeous. And that's in Sky. OK, we've got a couple of fabrics left to go through and then I shall have the fun of folding everything back up again. Um, this one right here, like grass. So there are the three different colours. You've got that black and white. Black and white, I think, my favourite. We'll start with that one. That's BGY V35. And this one, again, grey stash fabric, actually. This is just fantastic for in your stash because it reads as a charcoal grey from a distance. Close up, you've got that lovely detail. I think this would mix really well if you've got Japanese style prints that you like using. This would fit in really well. If you like modern quilting fabrics, this would fit in really well. It would also work really well cut into, you know, like thin sashings, thin strips. It's still got that lovely impact. I think actually it would be lovely for garment making as well. I'm thinking about maybe the Horsham dress that we had at the weekend or the, um, the Bella tea dress from Liberty. This would look gorgeous for dressmaking. So again, remember there, about three and a half to four and a half metres of fabric, depending on what size you want to make for a dress, this would be great for a day dress. That's a lovely one. So that's the grass fabric in charcoal. We've also got it in a grass colour, a good green. That's TQ YV48 green grass, the best kind, green grass. Still be really lovely for dressmaking, that. Of course, 100% cotton. Lovely against your skin. Green Is green a neutral? It's kind of becoming a neutral, is it? Really nice. Great for uh, landscape quilting, too. And then the last one, we've got that grass fabric. This is in white. Sand dollar. This is that sand dollar, which, as we learned earlier on from producer, from director Joe, is an urchin. A sand dollar is an urchin. Isn't that marvellous. <laughs> Thank you for that, Joe. I feel educated today. Right then, last option. Last option in the T with B fabric. Ah, we've only got this in the two colourways, not the third. We don't have the pink. OK, I'm going to take that one out. So just two options here then. I love this. This is my favourite one. I love that. That's RJYV47. That's in Lake. That's in Lake. Autumn Garden. That's really pretty. Love that one. That's a gorgeous... Now that would be really stunning for a dress beautiful. Wear that for a tea party where you're going to have afternoon tea. Definitely the Bella tea dress would be gorgeous made in that from Liberty. Really lovely. And then the last one, is this Sand Dollar? Oh, I've got it at last. Sand Dollar Autumn Garden. Really stunning. By the half metre, you just need to choose which ones you're going to buy. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, if you're making bags, half a metre of each, two or three fabrics, that will do you for a bag. If you wanted to make some placemats, maybe three or four different fabrics, half a metre of each will give you lots and lots of options. And you might well have been inspired to make more of Delphine's wonderful teacup blocks. So you might have gone for a bundle, a few extra fabrics just to supplement that so you can make some extras. A table runner. Now then, don't forget you can buy this as a mega bundle with 24, all 24 fabrics, 
half a meter of each. Remember, there's a couple of fabrics there that we just haven't got any more in the half meter. So the only way you'd be able to get those would be in that mega bundle. It's 172.27, and you can have that on three split pays of 57 pounds and 42 pence. That's the mega bundle with 12 meters of fabric. Remember, you're getting half a meter of fabric in there for free. Now, the 10 inch charm has been incredibly popular. That's this one right here. If you do want this one, grab it quickly. $49.99. Remember, you get every print in there. Most of them you're getting two of each. But um, some, just a couple of them you're getting one of each. It's a great way of getting the whole collection and a bit of each. If you don't want loads of each one, it's a great way of doing it. All those lovely blacks and blues, the green there, that lovely sand dollar colorway, the mustard, of course, just stunning. Those little bees. So that's the 10 inch charm pack, proving really popular this one. Bit of everything. Now, we do have some other 10-inch charm packs from Riley Blake on the show. Let's have a little look. Flannel. Now, this one is called Woodland. This is Woodland. And I've got one that's already opened. Now, this is flannel, um, which is brushed cotton. Um, first thing you'll probably notice about this is, look at the difference in thickness. So, if I just turn this side on. So, this is flannel. And then this is a cotton. You're still getting the same number of squares in your flannel, but because the fabric is brushed, it's much thicker. Um, so, absolutely brilliant for cosy autumn and winter quilts. A gorgeous lap quilt made using these woodland fabrics. Now, it has got a lovely brushed cotton feel. It's very tactile fabric. These would be lovely pieced together to create the backing on a quilt. So you've got a really cosy backing to snuggle up. Oh, look, that is super cute. Really lovely, really nice for a child's quilt for the autumn and winter. This one, it's not just plain. It's got like a sort of wood grain effect. Um, plaids, love them. Absolutely love those plaids. <gasps> oh. Pumpkins, yes, really lovely. Oh, that is such a cute print with the deer and the fox. There's a little bear, and I do love a bear. Absolutely stunning. Um, top tip, when you're working with flannel, use your walking foot. One of the things that some people, have, flannel is talked about as being a tricky fabric to work with. Um, it isn't if you treat it right. And there are a couple of things to do. One is to pin it well, and if normally on a 10 inch square you'd put one pin at the top and one pin at the bottom and one in the middle maybe, use five instead of three, just an extra pin in between. Um, flannel can creep when you're sewing it, kind of push forward a little bit, um, so that what starts off even ends up being pushed along a little bit. It's like when you're joining strips or rows together. But if you use a walking foot, you'll eliminate that. Um, so, top tip. Uh, <clears throat> some lovely teal shades in there as well. Oh, this is really cute. Really like this. It would also be lovely to um, kind of maybe cut apart into smaller squares, piece back together, and then cut out a big teddy bear soft toy to create a patchwork flannel teddy bear. Or, you know, something that you're going to put maybe like a wheat pack inside that you can heat up so it's like warm cuddles would also be really lovely to make something like um maybe like um pillowcases pillowcases and cushions so if you don't want all um flannel on the bed you could make some accent cushions that's lovely you could Maybe, maybe you could add these two other fabrics. They certainly go on to um, plain cotton fabrics as well. You could use them for appliques. Some nice brown tones. Fabulous. Love that. 
I don't think we've ever had that before, have we, a flannel? Really nice. Oh, gorgeous. That's the woodland flannel, and that's from Riley Blake. Now, rainbow fruit next. I have to open this one. These are so yummy. Am I allowed to open this? I've got a five inch charm pack of this as well, if you prefer the five inch version. But this is really jolly, this is fun. This is very summery, but you know, summer's proved so popular, we're gonna have it again next year, so you could always get this ahead. We didn't really have summer this year, did we? Oh, I love that. Tossed fruit. Fruit salad. <laughs> Name that fruit. We've got coconut, melon, pineapple, banana, and mango. Very yummy. Sushi. Yes. It's called rainbow fruit, but there's also sushi. Hmm. Hmm. Do like a little bit of sashimi, though. Little salmon sashimi. Cucumbers are fruit. You get that. You get that in um, sushi. Yeah, cucumbers are fruit. Avocado is a fruit. You sometimes get that in sushi, don't you? And um, I'm just trying to think of, what else do you have? What's the green stuff? Wasabi, that's a root. That's a root. I grew horseradish this year, which was quite a revelation. And, um, and then you pull up the roots and it's amazing. You grate it and mix it with cream and things like that to have with your roast beef. Really delicious. Very hot. Very hot. I thought I was going to lose the lining of my nose to start with. It was very yummy. Oh, that's lovely on the pink background. Oh, fab lollies. Do you remember those? Fab lollies. Gorgeous. And little popsicles. You could get all of your summer makes now, couldn't you? Get them out of the way. Get them done, ready for spring and summer. Bunting, placemats, maybe some fresh cushions to put on the garden furniture. These will be fun for that. Would make a really fun children's quilt as well. It's a bit more sushi. These would be good to make things like bento boxes out of and pack lunch bags. You could patch them together. These would all be good, actually. So again, in my book, Bags for Life, you've got a lunch bag. You could piece those together. Really yummy. Have we got any of my Bags for Life book left? <gasps> We've still got some books on the website. $15.99. And there are reviews. Oh, love that stripe. Really smashing. Gorgeous collection, that. Oh, these are fun. Sprinkles. A little bit of, is that from the sushi? Those little black sesame seeds. Oh, that's lovely. I love the rainbow stripe. Delish. And then on a blue background, that's really nice. So, yeah, I'm definitely thinking bento boxes, lunch bags, maybe a wrap then that you could keep um, knife, fork, spoon, chopsticks, napkin for taking for packed lunches. That is lovely. So that is Rainbow Fruit by Damask Love from Riley Blake. Now we do also have that in a five inch charm as well. That's right here. So we've got that to 15.99, 42 pieces of your five inch squares. Again, using the same fabrics as you got in the layer cake or that 10 inch stacker. That's that one right there. So that one's 15.99. Now then, what else? Oh, yes. There's another one I rather like that I've just spotted, but we'll get to that. So this is Stardust. Yours won't come beautifully presented like this. Yours will be really posh. But someone's been manhandling this. This is very yummy. Um, particularly good, I think, if you like more traditional. Oh, I don't know. We've got some lovely geometrics there and some little ditzes. Oh no, oh no. Now, how interesting. I completely just sort of saw that first one and thought, oh, this is all going to be very traditional. And there we are, flamingos. Isn't that fun? 
Lovely, lovely fan shape there. A bit Art Deco, this, isn't it? And that is a metallic gold as well. You've got actual metallic. Can you see it's shimmering there? Fabulous. Little florals, ditzes. Oh, nice. Got the specs. I'm liking that. Loving that. Oh, those two together. Hello. This is bold, but gorgeous. Yeah, loving this. Loving this. And then a bit of floral in there. And again, spectacle cases. I know that's perhaps a bit obvious, but spectacle case. Actually, if you go on my YouTube channel, Stuart Hillard Makes, I've got a tutorial for making a spectacle case. It's really easy, quick and easy. I've normally got one of my spectacle cases with me, but I haven't today. Left it in the car because um, I've got perfect vision and I don't need them. Thanks. Um, thanks for that. Oh, that's lovely. Bit of Art Deco there. Creams. Yeah, this is lovely. This is really lovely. This is Stardust. 10 inch charm pack, 42 pieces for 49.99. That's lovely, really like that. Great selection of colors there. Amazing prints actually, really surprised me that one. I thought I knew what that was gonna be, but it just goes to show. Smashing. That also comes in a five inch charm pack if you fancy that. This one I'm gonna pull over because I just, I love the colors in this. It's called Pure Delight. We've got the strip roll. I, oh, that is absolutely yummy. 49.99, 40 pieces in there. That is super yummy. Absolutely gorgeous. That is just, that's got my name written all over it. Some nice neutrals. And then we've also got the 10 inch charm pack as well. That is beautiful. Let me just show you some of these prints. Lovely big floral there, some super, look at that. Little florals, Oh, cute. Oh, my lovely friend Carrie has emailed in. Hi Carrie, Mwah. thank you for joining us. Oh, that's lovely. Really nice, this one. That hot raspberry, that is just, be can you have hot raspberry? I think you can. Intense raspberry. Graph paper, love a graph paper print. Oh, yummy, yeah, that is stunning. Mmm, absolutely stunning. Love the greys as well. Now then, um, just a note for everyone, the manager's special, it should be coming up at 10 o'clock. We're going to just slightly delay it because we're just having, we're trying to get the best deal possible. Yeah, so we've just got some technical issues there that we're just ironing out. So that manager's special will come towards the end of the hour. Um, it will certainly be still be in the 10 o'clock hour, so stay tuned, don't worry. We've still got loads of great stuff in 10 o'clock um, because we've got Delphine's brand new um, Autumn Tree of Life uh, already selling on pre-order. Walked into the studio this morning and saw that and I'm just blown away. Really beautiful. And I don't know if you can see, but beautiful organza leaves mixed in there with the quilt cottons. It is sparkly, it is stunning. Now make sure you get that while it's available because I've got a funny feeling that won't be around for very long at all. It's brand new today and I rather feel like I've dressed for the occasion too. Hmm, I did my best. Well, it's time for a little break now, but I hope you'll join me straight afterwards because we've got Delphine and she's going to be showing us that fantastic new Tree of Life cushion in the autumn colourway. We've got three beautiful colourways as well to share with you and inspire you. So make sure you come straight back. See you. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page hi 
Hi everyone, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favourite things which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment but I'm originally from Staffordshire uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things so London's really diverse and um, lots of different cultural impacts and then Staffordshire is very rural so there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable so I created my own fashion. A um, bit dubious at times probably. I remember once I um, bought some really lovely, as I thought, heavy brocade material. I created a pencil skirt, thought that was fabulous. It turned out to be curtaining uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But uh, you know, in my defence, I was a new romantic and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges, but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge. So I look forward to seeing you soon. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hey friendly friends, welcome back to Sewing Street. On this very gloomy rainy day actually outside, but we don't care what's going on outside, we only care what's going on inside. We're having a wonderful morning, which I've already spent one hour with Delphine Brooks and I get to spend another hour now with her and you do too, so I hope you'll stick around. Um, if you've tuned in ready for the manager's special, don't be alarmed, it will be here. It'll be towards the end of the hour. I'll give you updates throughout. We're just having a few technical issues with that one and we want to make sure that you get the very best deal. So we're just delaying it slightly, but don't despair, we will have it this hour. And it's a great, we've actually got two manager specials within that, so it's definitely worth sticking around for. Now, as I mentioned, in this hour, we've got the wonderful Delphine Brooks back with us, launching her brand new Tree of Life Autumn Cushion. Uh, 
wall hanging, I beg your pardon. There it is. It is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful, beautiful wall hanging sized. A great array of fabrics there. Beautiful autumn leaves. Another Delphine masterpiece, I think it's fair to say. I love the way Delphine brings artistry into the hands of anybody. Anybody can achieve that and create something really beautiful. It's stunning. Love the way that Delphine's combined cotton fabrics with organza to add sparkle and beauty and glimmer to that quilt. It really is stunning and it's amazing close up too. The quilting's incredible. I'd be asking Delphine about that. <laughs> Quilting's stunning. Now, you can buy a bundle of fabrics to create exactly what Delphine made. I have it right here. These are Dan Morris fabrics. Let me show you what you get in this bundle. So, first of all, you've got some fat quarters. Now, these are batiks. Oh, these are stunning. They're really special. Really special. Look at those. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, I'm saying they're batiks and they're not batiks, are they? They're prints. How interesting. Are they digital prints? Ah, that's what it is. So they're digital prints. So they look like batiks, but they are amazing. Sorry, I just, I can't help it. It's the quilter in me. I've just got to open everything up and look at it properly. But that's okay, isn't it? Because I'm your eyes and ears. Oh, wow. <gasps> These are amazing. Our producer's just reminding me that I have to refold these now. <clears throat> dear, oh dear. Oh, wow. Love that one. Kind of charcoal -y. that's almost the same as my shirt, isn't it? Oh no, that's my head. You don't want to see that. I was trying to lean in so you could, oh, that was nasty. Oh gosh, these are stunning. Really love those. And I love the fact that you've got all those kind of rich reds, chestnuts, but also there's some kind of purple and almost like a sort of pinky tone in there as well. Absolutely lovely. So you're getting five fat quarters of each of those digital prints by Dan Morris. They are unbelievably beautiful, those. Absolutely stunning. See, I can fold fabric, but you're also getting more fabric, which I shall grab now. So you're getting half a metre of organza. And this is the organza, of course, that Delphine has used in her version. It is predominantly a sort of um, orange rust colour in one direction, but then it's, it's um, woven with these amazing sort of um, aurora borealis thread going the other way. AB, we love a bit of AB. So that you get, look at that. I mean, the, the effect is absolutely stunning as the light hits it. As leaves on the quilt, it's very, very subtle. You can see a single layer. And when you look at those leaves on the actual quilt itself, they just have the most amazing sparkle. Now, I'm hoping that Delphine's going to talk, I'll ask her, how we actually attach those to our quilt because I've never worked with something like organza on a quilt. I'm very, very intrigued by this. You're going to get organza in your pack, whichever colour option you go for. Um, and at the moment, you've got the, the colour option that I'm looking through on screen. So you get those lovely Dan Morris autumn colours there. So you're getting a half a metre of that organza. You're also getting a half a metre of this Dan Morris print, which I'm not going to open out fully because I've learned my lesson now. I really do have to fold these. <laughs> but there we go. That is absolutely lovely. And you're going to use this for some of the leaves, but also for the binding. That is a smasher. Gorgeous. And then last of all in your pack, you're getting one metre of the cream and you're going to use that for the background. 
for your appliques. Don't forget, very, very importantly, you're getting the instructions. The Autumn Tree of Life by Delphine Brooks. Skill level, confident beginner, which you know you all are. And if you're not feeling confident, wait till you see Delphine's amazing demos because she'll inspire your confidence, believe me. And the pattern too will. It's 43 inches by 35 inches. That's portrait, so it's taller than it is wide. And 43 inches by 35 inches customary wonderful clear instructions full size templates there absolutely brilliant shows you exactly where to join them as well super instructions but this is a nice easy project i think to put together the top and then you've got loads and loads of space in the background for adding hand quilting machine quilting long arm quilting too so lots of good options so that's our first option and that's the colorway that we've seen in the finished quilt now then this is the version that delphine's going to be demonstrating this is amazing i love the way you've put together uh, the colors here delphine so let me just start off by showing you the background so this tree of life is going to be on this incredible rich blue we call it cadet blue but i think it's a little brighter um it is absolutely stunning that is really going to pop especially when you look at the colors that are going against it so we've got these these are moda fabrics here are our fat quarters oh that's lush absolutely luscious That's stunning. Look at that one with some little birds on there as well. You're going to use these for the leaves. We'll ask Delphine as well about how we, which one we're going to use for the trunk. I think I can guess, but I'm going to ask her. So they're your fat quarters. Don't they pop against the orange background? That is absolutely beautiful. And then you're also getting that half meter of organza. And again, it's threaded with orange and the AB thread. So you've got that wonderful iridescent sheen. That's going to work beautifully against the blue background too. And then for your binding and for some of the leaves too, you've also got more of this mode of fabric. And this is from the Lulu range by Chez Moi. That is completely gorgeous. That is lovely. Um, you know, if the blue's not speaking to you and you wanted to use a white or a cream for the background, you could always order that, an extra metre. It's 349 for half a metre. It's going to be £7 for, um, to change the background colour. And I'm sure Delphine would encourage that kind of creativity to change and switch things up if it suits you. Don't forget, of course, you get the instructions with that bundle as well. And then our final option is dark and moody. Delphine, this is amazing. I love that background. Like a really deep green, almost like a really deep olive or moss green. So this is deep in the heart of the forest. And then you've got some stunning colors that are gonna pop for the leaves. These are from Flowers in the Wind collection. It's very suitable, isn't it, when there are leaves blowing in the wind as well. Lovely plum shades here. That is stunning. And then, of course, you've got your organza, which again is picking out those pinky and plummy shades. And then finally, this is lovely with dragonflies and a lovely mottle, um, half a metre of that, to use for your binding. I love it. You get your instructions, of course. Don't forget those. Most important, $42.99. That's a brilliant price for your 43 by 35 inch finish. Well, you're just going to need to add some backing fabric and some batting for inside it as well. And, of course, some threads for doing your appliques and also for quilting. Don't forget our early bird. We've got our wonderful early bird today, which is an Aurifil, very limited stock here. It's not 33.99, it's our early bird. 
So instead, that price is coming down, down, down to 26.99. That's much nicer, thank you. 200 meter uh, reels, you're getting 10 of them in a gorgeous autumnal selection. The Moody and the Dan Morris um, colourways would look great with these threads, wouldn't they? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Make sure you grab them while you can because we have got very limited stocks. That's been a very, very popular um, range. Now, instructions on their own. We know you like instructions on their own. So, we've got them. We've got them. Here they are. Here they are. $9.99 for Delphine Brooks' Autumn Tree of Life instructions. So you know Delphine creates great instructions and really inspiring projects. So you're getting your instruction booklet on its own, full-size patterns, full-size templates in there, and lots and lots of pictures, a placement guide as well. So Delphine has really made this straightforward and simple. How to layer up the different sections of the trunk. You know, I think it would be really easy to look at Delphine's quilts and think, oh, I wouldn't know where to start. But actually, when you see how Delphine breaks down every step in her patterns, it is achievable. Delphine says for confident beginner. But I think if you're a complete beginner, watch the show, watch Delphine's demos and also use her great instructions and you will be able to make this amazing project, the Autumn Tree of Life. And if you've already made Delphine's Tree of Life uh, quilt, um, the great one for swapping round. So if you've got that Tree of Life quilt up in your sitting room, um, coming into autumn, switch it around for the autumn version. Now, Organza by the Half Meter is available now then, that is very, very limited. Very limited. It's only 139 for a half metre. This is the red organza, and it'll be cut from the bolt for you. So if you want to multi-buy that, you'll get a continuous piece. 139. Fabulous. Now, Delphine, welcome Hello. back. Hello. Welcome back. Thank Great you. Thanks for another hour with you. Autumn Tree of Life. Tell us about it. Oh, um, so it's like you say, it's quite an achievable pattern for anyone to do, really. Um, the only reason I say uh, it, could, it could go from, like you say, be beginner, beginner, because it's, you know, it's just basically tracing, cutting things out and sticking it on. Um, but then you could take it all the way up to more advanced level with a free motion. So even though I have done free motion, you don't have to do it like that. There's a, other options of how to quilt it. So that's the different ends of yes. skill level really yes. with how you want to do it and you could so always you could always send it off to a long arm quilt exactly you? yeah if you just like doing the piecing the applique uh -huh. you know that's why there are long arm quilters you can send it off get it finished for oh you. yeah lovely um so yeah the, the in the pattern everything's in there that you need so the templates um the only thing that i need to really go through with the templates is i've just got paper ones but you yours is yours are over there nice and glossy so the trunk section is actually made up from these three sections here. So anyone who did the original Tree of Life, it's very similar, but the shapes are slightly different. Um, so you've got, um, the, we've actually colour coded it just so to make it a lot easier. So you'll need three of the red, three of the blue, three of the green. So even though they're all in one section, it's just a way of layering up and saving paper. That's the only reason we've done that. Uh, for the original one, I only actually used uh, this size leaf here. The reason why it has a dotted mark around it is because that's to show um, the placement guide of where you'd put them all. So, it, you know, but you could choose the orientation of the leaf if you want to. But I've also given you extra um, templates if you wanted to mix up the sizes. So even though I didn't uh, use those, this is just an option. I've got spaces to fill, so I've given you even more templates than what you actually need. It's fab, Delphine, and you've even gone to the extent of putting um, suggestions for embroidery yeah. or, or quilting on there yeah. on the leaves. I love that. Yeah, so it, again, it's just giving you a bit more of an idea of how you want to finish it. You might just want to keep it the, the outline as simple as that, or you might want to add a little bit more. So, yeah, so that's why we've, we've done that there. And the great opportunity for hand quilting as well, the veins yeah. in the leaves. You might machine quilt the majority mm. of the wall hanging, but just in the leaves, you could add some 
big stitch quilting using either the Aurifil 50 weight that we've got today on our early bird, or you could use something like cotton perlay in a bigger bigger needle and do, yeah. do some big stitch quilting Some there. really big, or some uh, the light effects embroidery thread and do some sparkle, add a yeah. bit of bling on there, that would look lovely as well. Which would really pick up the organza, wouldn't it? it? Would. The sparkle yeah. from the organza. Lovely. So, and the reason, this little swirl here, this is just to help you if you wanted to actually get a... Um, uh, an erasable pen and you just want to trace over that that's just to add on a few swirls that's just a free motion or a quilting um, guide uh, but you don't need to use it but I've given you the one of those anyway so all the branches uh, are on there I've given you a placement guide as well so the only thing I really need to go through with the, with the actual templates is obviously because this is across a four pieces of paper one of the branches is bigger than that so um, all I've done I say me Nick <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Cheers, Nick. Um, we've just put a join here line. So you haven't got to cut out the paper or anything like that, for example. So all you do is get your bond web on the glue side again, because if you go on the other side, I don't reverse my patterns. Uh, I find it much easier to do it. So it's um, I'm a visual learner, and yep. I think if it's reversed, it could confuse people. Yep. So um, I'd rather just say just draw on the glue side. It's much easier that way. Um, and what do you use when you're tracing your template? I'm just using a biro. I know others use a um, a crayon. Uh, I just find this, sometimes it goes on my hand, but so I've never... an ordinary biro? This is just an ordinary biro. Wow, okay, cool. So... A pencil would work, a soft, soft leaded pencil? A very pencil. soft leaded pencil, so yeah. you wouldn't want to go anything Not below hard. a B. Yeah. Um, only because if you do it on the glue side, it could um, uh, rip. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing that branch. So as you can see, I'm only doing it quite messy. So I'm just going down to that join, join line here, mm -hmm. Mark, there. I've just put a little mark across. You won't see this when it's on the fabric anyway. And then you'll just get the other bit where it says the join line here, join here. And then you put it on top. And then you can just continue drawing Got that you. last piece. So I know it's a bit of a boring part to 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 watch, but it's but there are lots of bits to you know the branches. No. There's only a few elements, aren't there? Yeah. I love the way you've layered up the trunk as well on the tree. I'm already thinking. Oh, could I mix two different Dan Morris fabrics? Yes. And have absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Would I have enough? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll have loads. There's loads. Um, you can cut all the way around it, but I'm just doing this because I will. You can save all these little bits of bond web. Bond web's like gold dust to me. Yes. So I, I look after my bond web. Although Delphine's using our five meter roll, five meters of bond web, which we've got available. Um, go on the website, pre order, just scroll down till you find it. It's back in stock, and we know it's one of your favourites for quick appliques and lots of Delphine's patterns use Bond Web. So if you're a fan of Delphine's, um, I think a five metre roll of Bond Web would be a very good purchase. Yeah, it's the only way to buy Bond Web in my it eyes. It is really, yes. Yeah. But we do have smaller packs if you want, 17 and a half centimetre wide strip by a metre. Um, you can buy those packs as well. So we've got them on the show if you just want enough to make this project. But I agree with you, um, Delphine. I buy fabric by the bolt. I definitely want bond to wear, put on a roll. Mm. Definitely. So with this, um, if you're going to put it on dark fabric, um, I also recommend, because I've done it on the glue side, if you put it directly on the glue onto the fabric, you're not going to be able to see it through dark. So then, you know when you just trace like you normally do when you're, you know, when you're a little kid and you're tracing over something and you have to go over the lines again? Just go over the lines again, and then that so way you'll see it. you're tracing it on the paper side. Yeah, and yeah. I'm just putting a piece of paper underneath it so I don't get it all over the, the ironing mat, although it won't really come through. It's I just love the fact that like organic shapes, you know, if you're, if you're drawing and you're cutting is a bit on the wobbly side, it actually just adds to the effect, doesn't it? Happy accidents. <laughs> love them. There we go. Nice and easy this, isn't it? So, there we go. Put that out of the way. You've worked really quickly, don't you? I'm, I'm, it, <laughs> still beautiful results, but I noticed on the earlier show, you're a fast worker. 
Oh, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm double yes. busy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I'll do, do this. I've got another hour to do and then it's home. Get the kids from school, make tea. Then I've got to go and teach a, um, uh, a fitness class in the middle of a middle of nowhere. Do you teach this fitness season. classes as well? I do. You wouldn't think it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do, but that's why I... What kind? Uh, so it's it's not my... I'm covering tonight. Yeah. It's not mine. So tonight I'm doing um, Warrior Strong Fitness tonight. <gasps> Warrior Strong Fitness. It's I love brilliant. that. brilliant. It's great. It ace. Yeah, you base... Yeah, that was my background as well. Is Exercise it? to music. Yeah, 22 years. I've done years. all my ETM, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Les Mills for over 12 oh, years. Which, yeah, I did. Um, yeah. It's like body pump. Body pump, body, body attack. attack. Which is why my knees are... Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, body com I, was taught, I still teach body combat, Always I taught that yesterday. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> Who knew? I think we need to I have a chat. Related. We need to do our family tree, We definitely we? do. I we think we must lots be. lots of connections. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, and then you're cutting out with a rotary cutter. Yeah, I, I, I'm quite confident with a rotary cutter, but if, if, you, if you're not, then by all means do it with scissors. Just yep. keep your fingers out of the way. Options various, but you yeah. are going to get lovely smooth lines and really sharp points using a rotary cutter, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, it's much, much of a, more of a smoother finish. Yeah, just turn your work as you get to it. Fab. So, so these are the branches of the tree. Yes, so these are the branches. This is, I just wanted to show you more about how you uh, trace the pattern, which is why i um, Fab done this bit but I'm going to be able to race ahead and you'll really see it come together so don't worry you're not going to spend the whole hour watching me cut out shapes it's I <laughs> think I would pay to just watch you cutting out shapes Delphine <laughs> it's brilliant you are lovely <laughs> well it's, it's an education though because I mean I, I've been courting for decades too but you still see something new in how other people work and I'm fascinated by your processes and the results are just amazing. Like I say, I've never used organza on a quilt, and you've totally inspired me. It was an me. experiment, <laughs> but it worked. There you go. It worked, but you've just got to be quite switched on when you get to that bit. Make sure you've got no distractions. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so at that <laughs> stage on your Delphine Brooks pattern, I would be using a highlighter. <laughs> yes. yes. Shut the doors. Turn off the phone. Put the children, give them an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Lock the goats out. Um, no animals allowed. You've got to concentrate for that bit. There are bits though, aren't there? I mean, I'm like that with cutting out. It's yeah, like, you've got to concentrate. Don't talk to me. Don't come in the room. <laughs> yeah, you do have to um, concentrate on that bit, definitely. So... Now, in terms of when we're actually placing uh -huh. the trunk and the branches mm -hmm. on the background, yeah. um, does it need to be very precise exactly where it goes? Um, if, you, if your cutting has been accurate enough, yeah. you, you, it will be fine. It will look exactly the same. Okay. Uh, again, because I've even, uh, we've even put the overlap parts on the, on the placement guide of where the pieces will overlap. Yes. So I'll go through the actual um, uh, trunk first, and also I do it bit by bit. So first mm. of all, do your trunk and your and the uh, branches. Um, I tend to make the quilt sandwich at this stage, where I know a lot of people when they do a plique, they melt the quilt top and then they quilt. Okay. I quilt as I go with it. Apple quilt. Yeah, apple quilt. <laughs> so you, you, you're straight appliquing through. straight through the batting and the backing as well. Yes. So you're quilting and appliquing in one, one step. Yep. Sounds genius to me. So only because it saves time and, you know, like I said, busy, we're busy. And it, it looks nicer because you get that 3D effect straight well, away. Well, I'm not being funny, Delphine, but I mean, like, when you look at the quilting, you see all the background quilting. But, of course, you need to quilt around every element mm. in appliqué, don't you, to make it pop, which is really boring yeah but if you're appliqueing and quilting that stage in one go yeah you've saved yourself that quite boring job that's it and uh Fab. yeah so uh, and if you don't like the back of it that much you can always put another backing on it can't you i've done that before oh, yeah, you but can always I mean, hide it but who's going to look at the know? back yeah so well, i don't know if you put it into a show delphine lots they, of they're like always sneaking the around the back yeah oh yes 
<laughs> the white glove. The white glove goes on, just lifting up and having a little <laughs> inspection. Because you're not supposed to overlap, are you? On the back. Overlap. On the on the free motion. Because I put a couple oh, of art quilts in. Me. Oh yeah. And I was reading about uh, you're not allowed to overlap on the stitches. So like where stitches cross over each other. Yeah. Well, I tell. Or you. How many points get deducted for that? I if it know. was something like, well, if it was vermicelli. I mean, that vermicelli, that all over meander, you're not meant to cross those lines. But no. I mean, there's lots of other free motion yeah. patterns that do cross over. So I try not to cross the lines. Right. So in so in this one, I try not to cross any lines. Yeah. Only because I get a bit, I don't know. So that's got like a vermicelli background, yeah. doesn't it? Another option, um, I'll just throw this into the mix, Delphine. I hope you don't mind. No, not you at all. You could layer up your, your background fabric with your batting and your backing, you could quilt that as a whole piece. So it might be swirling lines going yeah. across the quilt like the wind, or it might even just be cross hatching using a walking yeah. foot. And then when it's quilted, um, then a plique. And then a plique, yeah. To a quilted. Yeah, background. I think the only the only thing that I'll, I'll do, I'll, cause I'll come to when I did the quilting actually, is that when you need to put the organza plique on, anything like that will show through. Yes. So what I did do yes. is um, the the very last thing you do in this project. Um, I'll just quickly skip ahead. Is the putting the organza on. So I'd even I quilted it. I did the binding, everything, until the, and then I did Ooh. the. The reason being is because organza is very delicate, mm -hmm. and if you, you know, when you're putting it through the machine quite a lot, it mm -hmm. can fray and it will come off. Gotcha. So Bond Web does its job for a certain amount of time, but if you if you're handling it quite a lot, it will fray a little bit. But if you're using it as a wall hanging, mm -hmm. once you've done all that stage and you put those on at the very last minute, it's fine because it's never going to go anywhere. Just fold it up or put it in the cupboard, mm -hmm. you know. But if you're going to use it as anything to use, like on a cushion or a bed quilt, just be mindful of the mm. organs and may get it can fray. Yeah. If if used at quite a lot, that's. Just around the edges? Yeah. So do you stitch around the edges of the appliques? Yes. Or are they not, not of the organza. No. But the, because um, oh, I free motion those. Gotcha. I stitched over the top. Ah, so this is where the veining comes yeah. in. Yeah. Ah, so that's what's holding the leaves down. Yes. Ah, fantastic. I'll show you that bit in the bit. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I've just peeled off all the backing pieces. So first of all, you need the three larger ones and the little stalky bit. Did you guess that I was using the blue for? I that, <laughs> I was that, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. So it does look beautiful that that um, blue floral against the the solid background. So how these go together is let me just I'm just looking behind me from my angle rather than using the placement guide. So you see these little curves. They do slot in to a certain point, and then one goes under and the other one goes over. So they just fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, like that. Oh, how clever. And they just slot in. And these That's are all it. using your templates, aren't they? Which are full size, don't forget. Forty two ninety nine is an amazing price for all of this. You get a lot That's, of fabric. Oh, loads of fabric, but loads of pleasure as well. You know, different techniques, so you've got those lovely applique techniques using the organza as well, which is brand new for me and could well be brand new for you as well. And then also all that lovely fun doing the quilting as well, which in your trademark style is done in a very kind of relaxed, organic, free and easy style. Oh. It's very, very achievable. Yeah, well, that's, you know, it's what we said before, you know, I just want it to be... So I mean, it's supposed to be fun and achievable for everybody. And it, otherwise, if, if everything was really complicated, you'd just be walk away and you'd just be put off. Whereas if things are more simple, you, that's where you can learn and, yeah. you know, so, yeah. So I well, like you said earlier on, you, you know, you, you, you have a busy life. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of other responsibilities as well. You want time for creativity, but it's got to work for you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Some lovely messages for you. Oh, thank you. Um, Good morning. Really enjoying this morning. Keep up the good work. That's from Lillian. Oh, I think you're thank doing you. the good work today, aren't you? 
<laughs> You're doing all the good work. Judith, this no, is no. really a joy to see you in the morning, Stuart. Thank you. That's also nice. loving Delphine's calm and professional demos. Oh, thank you very much. Gorgeous, That's Delphine. Very kind. You're superstar, you. Oh. Loads of you watching and sharing with us. Thank you so much. Love getting your messages. Don't forget if you want to message in, we love you. Or if you've got any questions for Delphine, then now is the time to ask them. Just go on to our Facebook page, watch live and uh, message the studio at Sewing Street TV. You can email to studio at sewingstreet.com. We'll read as many as we can or go to the web. Click on what's live. And then you can just type in a message. It's the quickest and easiest way, I think. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're having a lovely morning. It's miserable outside. And in I couldn't care less. Because inside, it's an absolute joy to spend the time with you and also with our lovely producer and director. And also, of course, with the fabulous Delphine Brooks, Aww. who's brought a new, brand new pattern for us today in the shape of the Tree of Life, the autumn version. Now, lovely message from Sally. Hi, loving the new pattern. Was lucky enough to meet Delphine at Festival of Quilts as my twin sister and oh. I did one of her workshops. Oh, I remember. Oh, I think I think they've just got they they were both getting married at the same time. Oh, they were lovely. Oh. I remember. Hello. Sally, congratulations. Question from Sheila. Good morning, Delphine and Stuart. Good morning. Beautiful creative design as always. Thank you. Could you use Misty Fuse on the organza to hold it down rather than Bondi Web? Misty Fuse. I'm not mu I've not used Misty Fuse, oh. so you could probably better yeah. answer that question yeah. than me. So Misty Fuse is um, it's a different kind of fusible. Rather than having a paper backing on it, it has um, it, it's just the web. Like a almost like a misty layer of web okay. that you would apply to the back of the fabric and then cut out your shapes. All you would do there is um, create like a, maybe a cardboard template so that once you fuse the misty fuse to the back of your fabric, you would then um, draw around a template onto that and cut them out. Perhaps on the fabric side would be easier, but I wouldn't see any reason why not. Yeah, because I just use Bond Web. Yeah. I Bond Web everything. I yeah. used to use a, a lot of interfacing as well as a glue, but um, no, I just Bond Web everything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, if you wanted to ensure that the edges of your appliques um, were, you know, not going to fray, I guess you could add maybe some zigzag stitching around. Yeah, zigzag blanket stitch is always my go-to with yeah. appliqué. But yeah, you could use, you could do that. If it's going to be more sort of it, high wear. It's a, it would like I said it was only it would only really fray if you use it a lot. You have yeah. to really manhandle it a, a lot for it yeah. to fray. Don't Just manhandle your Delphine Autumn <laughs> Tree of Life. <laughs> Hang it somewhere really special. I think that's what I think that's what you would do, isn't it? Hang this wall hanging somewhere really special. It would look beautiful in a hallway, wouldn't it? Imagine that the first thing you see when you walk into the house. Um, that is just stunning. There we go. Now you've done the Tree of Life. This is Tree of Life Autumn. Yeah. Are, are you are you planning on? Is there a winter? Maybe. Is there a blossom? I'm trying to squeeze uh, it out of you. <laughs> I really, I'd love to do a blossom or a, a, a Japanese <gasps> tree. I've Plum done. blossom. Yeah. Cherry blossom. Cherry blossom. Yeah. That would be really gorgeous. I'd like to do one of those. Would you like Delphine to do Cherry Blossom? Let us know. Let Delphine know. <laughs> we'll pressure her into it. We'll make her before the end of the day. <laughs> We've got Delphine until one o'clock, so there's plenty of time for us to convince her. I don't think Delphine needs any convincing. Sounds like you've got it planned. I like, I like, yeah. Well, I hope uh, we have chats and things about about different ideas and yeah, you know. But if if they want me to come back, then yeah, I'll keep coming and doing oh, trees. Oh, I think your position's <laughs> fairly secure, Delphine. <laughs> From what so. I've seen and the reactions I've seen as well this morning <laughs> and the other day when we're working together, you are very much loved. Sue Smith Aww. has messaged in Aww, to say hi to Sue. you both. Absolutely loved making the Tree of Life. Learned so much. 
love all Delphine's makes and there are hearts. Oh, Sue, Sue does an incredible job of my work. Well done, Sue. Um, Diane has also, ah, oh, Diane, Diane and I met in hospital. My mum was in one bed and her mum was in the other. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my mum was she thrilled okay? to bits. My mum, oh yeah, yeah, fine. My, my mum was thrilled to bits because someone recognised me. Oh, really? And, yes, yeah. my mum loves it if I get ready. If she's around, you know, because she's very proud. Oh. Morning, mum. Um, Diane, so, um, yeah, Diane's emailed in to say, Hello, Stuart, Delphine and the team. Loving the shows. Love your shirt, Stuart. Thank you very much. Did you make it? I didn't. I didn't make it, um, Diane. It's it is a very cool shirt. It is nice, isn't it? I thought it had enough of the quilter in it. It did. It does. I, I said, as soon as I saw you, I was like, it's a very quilty looking shirt. It is. It is. You could make a block. There you go. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> and also, my father-in-law has done marketry before now, and I think it's got quite a marketry look. It's really, well. really smart. Kind of, you know, inlaid wood. Different yeah. colours of wood. It's a woody tone. And it's very aut yeah, very autumnal. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm channelling autumn now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about you, Delphine. Yeah, well, it's going that way now, isn't it? You know, yeah. I've, I've got my legs covered up. I, I'm usually, I usually live in shorts. Oh, okay. I, I had to come in the other day. I can't remember what day it was now. I think it was Saturday or Sunday. And uh, I walked in and Elliot was like, oh, you've got legs. I'm like, because I literally, apart from when I'm at work, I live in shorts and vest. Fair I'm enough. not glam at all. Yeah. You're glam today. Well, this because I'm on the telly, but at home, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. It's all about being able to scrub it when you need to, isn't it? Well, exactly. I spend most of my life at home in, in um, bib and braces and a T-shirt. Oh, do you? And boots, yeah, stomping about, <laughs> getting muddy. I was going to say, well, you live on a farm, don't you? Well, we don't live at the farm. Which oh, do you not? No, um, parents-in-law. Um, um, but, but Charlie's business has always been at the farm, so we've, we've, we're always there anyway. So, yeah, yeah. It's inconvenient if one of them should escape, though. Yes, I can imagine. do that mad dash. <laughs> we've, uh, we've had that with goats and sheep. Have you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Olaf, a few weeks ago. Excuse me one sec. Olaf. Isn't that out of uh, Frozen? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, although that's not where, where I picked the name from, but... Um, he was doing like a, you know, like like army assault course where they do like the belly crawl. Yeah. Yeah. So he was doing that under the electric fencing. It's worked oh. out that he can get into a whole new field by doing this belly crawl under <laughs> the wire. Very inventive. Goats are very intelligent. They're like dogs with horns. <laughs> <laughs> It's a really dangerous combination, that isn't it? A dog with horns. Now, talking, and what was antler like? Aren't they those branches? Yeah, I wanted to do because, you know, the th the, what the, be the beautiful thing about trees is not, not one tree is the same. No. And I think I read, I can't remember the fact, the exact number now, but there's something like 400 odd trees per every person on the planet. So that is a lot of trees. It is a lot of trees. And if you think every single one is different, and I quite like the different angles and, you know, I don't like the ones that are dead straight no. branches and things. I quite like the different angles and things are just being a bit more... Uh, Natural and organic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So and that's the wonderful thing about your, you know, the placement of the branches and the leaves. You can't get it wrong, really. No, you, and if you, if you want to add more, you can, you know. Oh, yeah. So there's a base. So that's the basic tree line. And this is where, m me personally, this is where I would quilt it. I yeah. would sew that down through all of my layers now. Got you. So you'd layer that up with batting and backing. Yep. Then quilt the branches and yep. the trunk. Yep. Okay. Would you quilt the background as well at this point or not? No. No. Not at this point, no. So, and so. then when we're quilting the, mm -hmm. the trunk. Yep. Just down the outside edge. I'd actually or? go first of all. It, no. I'd, I'd go across around all of them, and because you, you can't really fee, see it, the effect, but you're, the, 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 the trunk has got a really nice three D effect Fact. to it because I have quilted every single piece. So, and it just it feels nicer. 
And do you free motion that or do you walking foot? I did a walking foot with a blanket stitch that I'd shorten the stitch length so you can barely see it. But so oh, yeah. so it, it just about catches the um, just about catches the um, the side edge of the. In fact, I could show you a bit. So that's yeah. like a little blanket stitch that holds the edges down of the applique. Yeah, and the, the, the majority of machines have them. But yeah. if not, a zigzag stitch, yep. again, to shorten the stitch on that. Could you even yeah. go rogue and do like a straight stitch? You could do. Like an eighth of an inch yeah, into the edge? Yeah, you could do, absolutely. And it's because it's a wall edge. hanging mm -hmm. as well. It's um, you, you can get away with it more of a wall hanging, couldn't you? Yeah. So, but yeah, you could do that. Absolutely. So there's your... So imagine we've fast forward a little bit and we've done the um, we've done all the sewing. Yep. Now it's the fun bit. So you do all of your. Uh, this is where you can choose to copy my um, placement guide, or you can just come up with your own. So to start with, you do all of your fabric leaves. This will come together really quickly. Mm. So a little tip though, if you are going to be uh, using, doing all your cutting out and then uh, going to do your sewing later. So a couple of tips. First of all, um, make sure you, you want to keep these as flat as possible. So I tend to put them in a big heavy book overnight because the edges will curl up. Okay. Um, and, and also keep your bond web somewhere cool. You don't want it to melt or anything. Right. And the other thing I do is I lay it all out first. I'll take a photograph and then I'll do it bit by bit. So yeah. section by section only because then you could be, if you do it all straight away, one or two could fall off. And also you might want to change your mind where you put a few pieces or add a few more or. Yes, yeah, so kind of audition. So don't iron them down first of all, and lay all, yeah. them out, take a picture. Have a little rearrange. Yeah. Because as well, when you're using, you've got five fat quarters, and those fat quarters are all for the leaves, yeah? Yep, and they'll go a really long way. There is an extra half a metre, which you can use for the leaves as well, which have got some really beautiful flower prints on them. So use those as well, but you'll have loads left for binding, make cushions, or even make it even bigger if you wanted to. Now then, we've got a question from Julie on the Facebook page saying, forgive me saying, but I was told you can't let an iron anywhere near organza because it would shrivel up. It will. Both yeah. doing a wonderful job. It will do. It will. It will melt, it will shrivel up and it will stick to your ironing board and everything. Yep. But we're still going to do it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you've got a cool iron. I say cool iron. A medium iron, so we'll do that bit in a minute. I'll, yeah. I will actually show you live on air. Ooh, that's the worst that can happen. <gasps> oh, <laughs> well, but yes, it will. It, that's exactly stay that. It stay around, folks. I want to see this. If you go anywhere near it with an iron, it's going to melt onto your iron, melt on your ironing board, and you're going to have a really horrible day. Not on our lovely new iron, Delphine. <laughs> no, but I, I suspect not. you're going to do a beautiful job. Suja, or Suya. Hello, Stuart and Delphine. Have bought three different kits. Just want to know how long the, de the demos will be available online. So, you tell me. <laughs> forever. They're on forever. Oh, okay. Which is wonderful news. You just go on YouTube. So, um, here at Sewing Street, we don't make you, you have to watch it in seven days. All the shows go onto YouTube, so you can keep watching them back ad infinitum. For as long as there is YouTube, which hopefully will be forever. What a wonderful resource that is. So, Delphine, when you're cutting out your leaves, yep. what else are you doing while you're cutting them out? I suspect there's something going on in the background. I'm listening to podcasts, usually. Podcasts? Yeah. Are you a podcast listener? I do, yeah. I What's do your like favourite? I don't know if I can say on air. Oh, okay. I'll have to ask um, oh. Kat, she knows. What kind of subjects, though? Like, interesting? like True crime. True crime? Yeah. Do you like a bit of true crime? Me too. Do Me you? Too. Well, it's so different to my normal life. Um, but uh, books, I love a, I love a, you know, a grisly gangland yes. kind of, yeah. you know, book, well written book, something like that. I love Patricia Cornell, Cornwell, 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 yeah. and P. D. James. Oh, I love do. that true crime. Question from Lucy. Morning to you both. Have I missed the manager's special? No, you haven't. 
beautiful project they've been love lucy lucy oh, don't you. worry you haven't missed the manager's special we've just had to shift it right to the very end of this hour because we had a few technical issues that we needed to iron out it should be up in 10 minutes so still loads of time to watch delphine show us how she is going to bond organza <laughs> with an iron <laughs> It worked at home. So it well, you've done your quilt. You've done I've your done quilt. it. Yeah, I've shown it. It does. It does work. I mean, I mean, the few things I do when I'm doing a plique, I use a, a goddess sheet or a press sheet yeah. as well, yeah. which can really help if you're um, bonding uh, delicate fabrics. Because you might use something like fine silks as well yeah or yeah. lace or whatever that you want to treat in order you don't have to iron bond a web on a three spot cotton set iron um, same with interfacings if you're using an interfacing on cotton you'll use three spot if you're sewing the same interfacing to silk you need a one spot it's mm -hmm. going to take longer and you might need to use something like a pressing sheet, a piece of fabric over the top as well to iron through, just so that the heat is more gentle and just um, a bit more gradual. Um, but you can do it. Gosh, that comes together really quickly, it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? I love the combination of orange and blue. Because there's so many colours, isn't there, in autumn? There's so oh, many. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. I just, I love that colourway. That's incredible. And the contrast, I don't know if we can see the um, original quilt against the blue. Is it, is it any way? Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, Joe, you're an artist. <laughs> Joe's our director. No, that was beautiful. Look okay. at that. This will be beautiful when it's all done. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And I'm thinking, folks, do you remember the Quilters collection from Orophil that I showed you at the very start of the day? I'm just thinking midnight, midnight for the background, for quilting the background. That midnight would be absolutely beautiful. And then actually I would be inclined to use things like the um, light beige, the yellow and the golden toast for appliquing the leaves. I mean, you don't have to use matching threads. You can use contrast threads, can't you, Delphine? Yep. It's your quilt. You can do what you like. Whatever you like. Only okay. a few of those packs available now. So there's my fabric leaves. So what I'll do at this stage now, once I've put as many fabric leaves on there that I wanted to, I say fabric leaves, the ones that are not organza, mm -hmm. I mean. So once I've done all that and I've sewed those down, so like I said, I would put two or three on at a time, uh, pin it, sew it, and then I'll go to the next ones until they're all done. Then you would get either your paper template or a, 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 an actual, you know, a, a leaf. And then I would draw trace roughly around the leaf where I'm going to put them all. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then I would quilt it, free motion quilt it, because, oh. and avoiding those areas, it's all in the pattern, I've explained okay. it all. Because when you, because this is so thin, if you put it over the top of something that's already been quilted, those lines will come through. Yes. yes so that's would. the only reason. Yeah. Uh, you might like that effect. I didn't want that yep. effect on mine, which so I, um, that's how I uh, just did it to avoid it. A heat erasable pen. So you just use a friction pen mm -hmm. and uh, just, just trace around those so you leave the gaps. So I'll show you how to make the leaves. So that's it so far. So I'll just that's move that out of the way. so beautiful. It looks stunning. So the organza leaves, you've already ironed some bond web to the back of the sheet of organza. Yeah, I'm actually going to do it on air so you know I'm not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, that with the with the leaves you can actually glue you can actually draw on the non glue side because they're symmetrical yeah so do this nice and quick delphine's lightning fingers there there we go this is why you can do so many amazing projects isn't it <laughs> so i have to work so quick yeah <laughs> i'm always against the clock 
yeah. always something to do. But that's brilliant for us because, you know, most of us are time poor. We want to be creative and we're full of ideas or we see loads of amazing ideas we want to reproduce. And, you know, we don't have that much time. So a quick project is just scratches yeah. that itch, doesn't it? And, you know, it's... Well, I've just... I was, ju I was just on my break there. I've just come up with about another three or four shows, I think. Have you just an idea? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking of things. You share them with me? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you Excellent. later. But you, you can tell me your opinion. You might think it's rubbish, so... I love it. <laughs> I love it. So, say. warm iron, not too hot. I have put something underneath, uh, only because I don't want to ruin there. If you, I'll have to take a photo of my ironing board oh, that over there. It's covered <laughs> well, in best mine press. Both Delphine. I hear you. So you will see, you'll know if it's too hot. One, it will melt, but also you'll start to see the scale of the pattern come through onto the bond web. That's not, um, that's fine. That's not stuck at all. That's not burnt. It's all in the iron, be careful. That's where these smaller irons come in handy because if you went straight in there with the bigger iron. Uh, so take that from there. That's worked really well actually. So that was just a warm iron, maybe one spot, two spot? Two, two, two spot, spots. no, definitely no more than a two. No more than two. But you uh, could use a one spot and just take your time. You know your iron better than we do. And a little tip when you cut in, use, a lot of people are doing this with the scissors. You move the actual piece and let the, ins the, the, you know, the little inside of the scissors do the most of the work. Because if you're constantly cutting into it, you won't get a smooth finish. Gotcha. So move the paper, not the fabric. Move the fabric rather than not the scissors. Yeah. It's just, it, it takes a lot of practice. Um, a few nice messages. Uh, morning love, oh, from Amanda about um, books. Love Scarpetta, also Tom Thorne, Mark Billingham. Great read, but also to listen on audio while crafting. If you do that in audio book, yeah, I, I, there's a few, but I, mm. I'd like to do, definitely. What a treat, Stuart and Delphine. I've got three monochrome panels and the sewing room one on the go and oh, jump well from done. one to the other. Love Delphine's applique. Oh, thank you. We do too. We do too. And you're loving it as well. Don't forget you can buy um, three different options. Um, the ones uh, that Delphine's working on right now um, is that amazing, amazing blue background. This is absolutely terrific. Details are on the screen, 42.99. So I've peeled the back it and as you can see, that's really, really fine. Yep. Make sure you know which side has got the glue on it. You can't really tell by looking at it, but you can by the feel of it because it's got rough. that like plastic yeah. feel. Amazing, and that didn't shrivel, it didn't no. distort, no. just a cool iron. So maybe um, if you've had problems in the past, it's just maybe using the iron a bit too hot. Remember, you can also use an applique sheet yep. for doing applique, which helps to not have are. anything sticking. That worked amazingly, amazing. Uh, it's just so pretty and the, you know, just by changing the light, you'll see how it reflects. Look at that, that it's is just so effect. pretty. I'll put a few more on and I can quickly show you how I quilted them, but it didn't free motion the, the, the actual lines on top, which takes yep. seconds to do. Fab. I'll do a little recap while you okay. finish off that leaf, Delphine. Okay. So let's start with the motor bundle that Delphine's been working with today, um, which I have right here. So this is our motor bundle. It's those beautiful bright vibrant oranges there's that navy blue that delphine used for the trunk and the branches this really pretty floral uh, and again another lovely floral with an orange background pretty little birds these are all for your leaves and your branches getting fat quarters and actually you're going to have loads left over you're going to have leftovers um, you've got half a meter of the organza Remember, this is that red organza. You can only get it in the bundle now. It's sold out everywhere else. And then you've got a fab floral for creating your binding with. Half a metre of that. And then one metre of the background fabric. And this is that beautiful blue. I'm absolutely bowled over with how these fabrics look against the blue background. Um, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Talk about taking your quilting to a new level. That's going to get a wow when you take it to Quilt Guild and you hold it up. We'll be going back to Quilt Guild meetings, won't we? It'd be wonderful to have something wonderful to show. 
um, maybe a fantastic project like Delphine's new Autumn Tree of Life. So that's one option. Now we've also got the Dan Morris colourway. Over half the stock of this has gone. It's proved really popular. So that's against an ivory background. So you've got a lovely kind of warm cream background. A metre of that. You're still getting your half a metre of the organza. Crystal organza, which is very beautiful. And then you're getting your Dan Morris fabrics. Half a metre to use for your binding. If you cut your binding strips out, then you know what you've got left. And then if you want to use some of this for some of the leaves as well, you can. But always cut out your binding first. Cut the biggest bits out first, and then you know what you've got left to work with. And then five fat quarters. Remember, this is a digital print. It looks a lot like a batik, but it's actually a digital print. So it's very, very precise. It's a very, very clear print. Absolutely lovely. That's our most popular bundle at the moment, more than half the stock. You'll need to be pretty quick if you want to get that. You get your instructions with whatever bundle you're picking. So Dan Morris. And then our final bundle. We really need to see somebody do this. I want to see how this looks against the green. This deep, deep moss background. And then we're really pulling out those rich golds of autumn. And this is Flowers in the Wind. Beautiful blue there. And I guess here you could choose to either use the blue for the trunk or the uh, plum, or you could use one of the golds, actually, for the trunk. You can mix it up three, three oh, nice. colours. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because remember the trunk is made from those different elements that are layered, so you could actually actually mix and match. Loads to play with there. Um, you're also getting your organza and your half metre of binding fabric, all for just $42.99. You're getting your exclusive Delphine Brooks pattern. So that's going to guide you through every aspect of making your autumn tree of life, including, and I think this is super generous, some a placement a diagram to show you where Delphine placed her leaves, but also then suggestions for quilting and embroidery and even free motion quilting motifs for in the background. Full size templates, everything is there. All you need to add in would be some bonder web and you can get that on the show either in a small pack or a five meter roll. You know which one Delphine and I would go for. Um, but if you just want enough for this project, then um, the normal pack, 17 and a half centimetre by a metre, um, would give you plenty. Now you can buy your instructions on their own. If you've got a bunch of fabrics at home that you think I could make the uh, Delphine, Delphine's design using those, uh, it's 9 99 It's the Delphine Brooks Autumn Tree of Life instructions. You will get the instructions on their own. All those pictures, all those photographs, the placement diagram, all of your templates and your embroidery and embellishment guide as well. If you are using fabrics from your stash, what kind of fabrics would you use? Would you use batiks? Would you use really modern fabrics? Would you use solids? What about hand eyes? Maybe you're a hand eyer and you've got some hand eyed fabrics. Delphine, uh -huh. let's see how you've got on. Where are so you? So I've put all the. Um I've put all the, the so, well, I would have put a few more on, but like I said, it's not, a, it's not a really quick project. This is one of the type of things that will take a day or two to complete. Sure. So I've put on some more of the leaves. So that's when you would start to quilt. So you can't really see, but look at the effect that gives it. It's incredible. It's really pretty, it's isn't incredible. it? It's incredible. And then to quilt the leaves, because obviously that, that's the, la the last thing you'll do is put on the organza, um, organza leaves. So to quilt those... This is just a very quick way of doing it with free motion. I've just done a um, sample. I think I've set the machine up correctly. We'll soon find out. <laughs> so it's a great machine for free motion quilting, the Elna. <clears throat> so, have I tightened you up enough? Oh, no, I didn't. There we go. And so you do a straight line and then you just go into the corners. That was it. I haven't tied it on properly. Haven't tightened it up. Two seconds. I'll be back with you in a minute. <laughs> um, 
I wanted to read out now. Wait a minute. Where where have you gone? Where have you gone? Um, Christine says, morning, gorgeous Delphine Brooks, Stuart Hillard and all the Sewing Street crew. Cherry Blossom sounds great, but also a willow tree, please. A willow tree would be really beautiful. Always weeping. Or I'm thinking it wouldn't be a tree as such, but um, wisteria. Oh. Oh, wisteria with purples and pinks and whites, fla fabrics, but also organza. I'm thinking now about all the different ways you could add organza to quilts and wall hangings because, Delphine, that really is a gift, um, the idea of using the organza in your quilts, isn't it? It's absolutely marvellous. Um, loved having all your messages this morning, everybody. Um, and I think as well, we could see there, even from the first part of Del Delphine's free motion um, demo, that it really is as simple as stitching forwards and back to create that line. And if you go back on yourself a couple of times, you'll just get a thicker line. It doesn't matter if you wobble either. And then you're just going off to the side, off to the side, a bit further down, and again off to the side, off to the side. Do you want me to show you, take that one down to show you? I'd love that. Yeah, if you don't mind, that would be brilliant. And just make sure your foot's attached properly. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, the thing is, Delphine, you know, so every one of us have those little gremlins there we go. in our ah. sewing rooms, don't we? There it's we not go. us. There we go. So, yeah, that's a perfect one. You can see it right there. Look. So, yeah, you literally just go in forward and backwards. You can do this, actually, on with a normal foot. So if you don't want to free motion it, you can just do it with a normal straight stitch. Um, if you're going to use metallic thread, though, I don't recommend doing it with free motion foot on. I'd recommend just doing it with a straight stitch. Okay. Um, and if you're going to do it with that, you know the ones that has the glitter around it? Yeah. It's like the plastic. Use yeah. the other one. Like holographic. Yeah, use the other one. Um, I find that a little bit easier when I've done it with um, a, sort of a couple of silver threads. Rayon thread? So... Hmm. Could you use a rayon? Don't know. Not bit tried. shiny. Bit of a sheen to yeah, it, a bit more do. glossy. Uh, you just be careful because I think with that one is that the one that's uh, just like the the film. No. no. Um, do you know which one I mean? The yeah, thing? I do. I do. But you that could one hand works quite well. as well on these, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. If you've got, I've, yeah, if you've got loads of time, <laughs> yeah. it would look really beautiful actually hand stitching. Yeah. But no, so you're just going forward and back, and then just uh, to create the lines. I have given you a lot of detail on the templates. You don't have to do them like that. You can just do a straight stitch or leave them off, but just be careful that they might come off if you don't put any sewing over the top. Yeah, you need a little bit of sewing on it. Delphine, yeah. as always, you've been an absolute inspiration to everybody, um, me included. I've learned so much from, from the hour this morning. Lovely message from a uh, collector in Norfolk. I think a bonsai tree would look good. Agreed. Mini quilt or a panel with like eight or more different bonsai. Delphine, please. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Any trees. <laughs> I like all trees. <laughs> no, I can do that. Not a problem. All right, I asked. Delphine said yes. You're a superstar. <laughs> I'll see you in just under an hour, Delphine. Lovely. Yeah, definitely. Now then, you've been waiting patiently and thank you for that. We're finally ready to hand over to Neil, who is here with our manager special. So you're just going to, well, edit the warehouse in behind me, are you? Yeah, yeah. Just, Definitely. Just, just the warehouse and then... Um... You're, you're not mocking about like the voice thing? No, no, no. Can't, I won't do that. I won't do that again. Okay. You ready, yeah? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Hi, I'm Neil. I'm coming to you today from the warehouse, as you can see behind me. So we were very busy, had to rush out and get some products to bring to, for today's manager special. So I've picked what I think are two really exciting products for you today. and. I listened to your feedback yesterday. We've run out again, even though I thought we wouldn't. So today I've got two products for you. So hopefully that doubles the chances of everyone managing to get a manager special today. So I'm going to start off with the lovely squares we've got here. I don't even know what they're properly called. They're design squares. And in a minute, a presenter's going to tell you what they're really called. So I'm going to open these up so we can have a look at them. So these are actually brand new. We've not actually had these on air at all. So I've actually been and pinched these from the warehouse behind me here before they've actually even managed to make it to air. So let's, let's rip them, get them open and have a look. Oh, it's exciting. It's like Christmas morning, isn't it? Oh, no, I'm not going to have to use my teeth on live telly, am I? My mum's my probably watching. 
I get told off. I am. And we're in. So these, the new price for these is $39.99. That's the pre-manager special price. And obviously we're not gonna charge you $39.99 today. But before I tell you what price we are gonna go to, let's get them open. And these are beautiful fabrics from Stoff. They're quilting weight, and I can't do the knot. Oh, I'm up, I'm in, I'm in. Let's have a look at what we've got here. So there's a massive pile of fabrics here. I didn't even check to see how many, so it's a charm pack, and there's 42 colors in here, and they're 10-inch squares. So we've got some nice turquoises. I'm not sure how John pronounces that. This is turquoise or something, doesn't he? I'm saying something posh. So we've got nice turquoise colors. I hope the noise from the warehouse in the background isn't interfering at all. We've got some nice blues with the, with the dot, dotty spots. And I'll just have a quick look and then we'll let the presenter go because we will need to return to the studio in a moment. We've got some nice grey colours, but you've got a whole rainbow palette here. I just need to avoid the greens apparently, but a whole rainbow palette of, of colours in this square. It's a 10 inch charm pack. So these have never been on air before, so they're brand new today. So it's supposed to be $39.99, but today we're going to be taking these down to $29.99 for the manager special. So that's a really good price to get these for, $29.99 today. And I'll just move on to the other um, products we've got today, and then we'll go back to the studio, um, and you'll be able to see all the codes and everything come on screen. So with this one, so this is also brand new, never seen on air before. And again, $39.99 is the price we'd usually sell these at. And this is a nice design roll, and I'm going to... Un un unwrap these, it's not unboxing, it's, it's not in a box. So again, these are stuffed quilting weight fabric. 42 colours again, and I think they're the same 42 colours as the other one, give or take. And these are two and a half inch strips by 40, two and a half inch strips by 43 inches long. So I'll show you what one of those is. And for some reason, Elliot just said, show anyone but a green one, no idea why. Maybe green doesn't show up well in the warehouse or something. So we'll go for, let's go for a nice, just to show the size, this nice deep rusty coloured one. And it also messes them all up nicely, doesn't it, as well. So a 43 inch by two and a half inch strip looks like this. And I will show a green one just to see, you know, because people do like the greens, don't they? So you've got a green one here, which is also 43 inches. So 43 inches wide and two and a half inch strip. And this pack also comes with a set of instructions. And that instructions allows you to make the quilt in the corner here. And all you need is just a bit of backing fabric to go with that. So this design strip, usually $39.99, never been on air before, it's brand new today. And we're gonna be going to $29.99 on this as well. So I'm gonna hand you back to the studio now so the presenter can talk a bit more about these. And I will see you live in the studio tomorrow when I've come back from the warehouse. Well, they say it takes a village to raise a child. It just took one, one person to put that VT together and what a stunning job they did. Well done, Elliot. <laughs> Great manager special. Lovely to see Neil there in the warehouse, wasn't it? And also I think the Royal Albert Hall and the Caribbean Beach. Um, he really does get around. Wonderful. I do love that manager special. My goodness me, I love a rainbow palette and uh, it's fantastic. My favourite colour is rainbow. <laughs> and here we go, I'm opening this. I'm just making an executive decision to open this because I want to have a thumb through. This is beautiful. Fabrics from Stoff, great name. Usually $39.99. But today, $29.99, which is amazing value. You're getting 42 10 inch charms for under 30 pounds. This is a brilliant stash builder. If you've been inspired over the last week or so, we've had quite a lot of um, rainbow inspired projects. Um, and this is a terrific palette to have literally the whole rainbow and loads more besides in lovely, fresh, modern prints. Great way of freshening up your stash. Maybe you want to get rid of some of your scrap fabrics that you've got at home or some of your stash, which is starting to look a little tired and dull and old. Mixing in some lovely basic palette colours. That is delish. I love that one. These little sort of kisses or crosses. 
on a deep background. Maybe you've got a friend who's starting to sew or you've been inspired to quilt. Maybe you've always been a bag maker or a dressmaker or even a knitter or crocheter and you've never tried sewing. Oh, that's lovely. Really nice fabric, this. Beautiful 100% cotton. You've got some cream, some neutral, a bit of tan there as well, which is good to see. Nice antique gold there. And then some lovely aquas into turquoise. That's a delicious print, really liking that. Some greys, of course. They look really good. More, oh, that's nice too, grey. Good neutrals, these, to work with brights. Greys always look great. And then we've got some yellows into gold. Oranges, my happy colour. And into a nice rust, that's lovely. So what we've got is lovely sort of gradations of colours here. This is a lovely sort of orange pink. If you got actually thinking about this, if you bought Delphine's Tree of Life instructions, and you were thinking, I'll just get the pattern and I'll mix some other fabrics. The manager's special. These fabrics would look amazing. What about a rainbow tree of life? I mean, Delphine showed hers with the leaves falling from the tree, but you can keep the leaves on the tree. They don't need to fall. And they could be done in a whole rainbow. Maybe cluster the reds to one side into orange, yellows, green, and so on. Congratulations if you got Delphine's new pattern, by the way. Absolutely stunning, and lots of you did. And also, if you've managed already to get the manager's special, we're hoping there's enough to go around, but we haven't done very well at that over the last uh, 24, 48 hours. 29.99 for a 42-piece 10-inch charm pack. Incredible. Lovely pinks, now going into plums and purples, beautiful. This I think has got to be my favorite print. I really love that. And then into some beautiful fresh lime greens. That's a Stuart green, by the way. That's a me green, that's a me green. These are all, these are all me colors. I love a rainbow. That is a stunning collection. You're getting 42. 42 of those beautiful quilt weight cotton. It's all 100% cotton from the great name of Stoff. Danish design. Oh, and look at that project name. Now I'm just wondering, can we, can we get to the pattern for that? Q2331. It says project name Q2331. Oh, wow. But also, there are loads and loads of free patterns online, aren't there? For using 10 inch um, stackers, layer cake squares, 10 inch charm squares, whatever you call them. Um, so, loads of different ways of using them, and lots and lots of rainbow inspired projects about at the moment. So, thank you, Neil, for that manager's special. The boy done good. And then we have a second manager's special because we also know how much you love two and a half inch strips and I love two and a half inch strips. So we've got those same fabrics from Stoff. It's a wonderful modern bright palette. Now it's $29.99. It's not $39.99 today, but tomorrow it will be $39.99 if we've got any left. Now you do actually get a free quilt pattern included with this strip roll, so this is super extra value. Um, this is for the, it, they've called it the pre-cut quilt. Um, you just need to add a bit of something for the background and the border for this, but um, a really great modern quilt design, that's super. And that measures 55 and three quarters by 73 and a half. So actually, you know, if you, you could create two baby quilts, because I'm thinking that that, yeah, with the border and a binding would make a great baby quilt, wouldn't it, like that. Maybe you know someone who's having twins. There's your quilts, the same but different, different colors. Or you could split some of the colors, rainbow colors into this section, maybe the, greens and the blues and the yellows perhaps 
And then over this side, go more with the pinks, purples, reds, oranges. That would look rather yummy. Super. Message from Elizabeth. That was hilarious. What, that manager's special? Stop laughing long enough to buy the design strip, though. You get your free pattern, of course. Don't forget, Elizabeth. I'm having a lovely morning with you all today. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thanks for joining us. Sorry about the delay with the manager's special, but um, Neil was in the Bahamas. His flight hadn't landed. He was still stuck in the Albert Hall. People were clapping, you know. Jan says, got it. Would like to see green, please. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. Now, on the, on the video, it didn't really show, did it? What I'll do, um, I'm going to show you on the 10-inch on the stacker because it's easier to get to. And the greens are at the back. Um, so the, the different greens are right here. So you've got this fab, really bright lime green that has like little kisses in circles. That's smashing. And also, I love that background. It's almost a bit like um, grunge, mode of grunge. So if you love your mode of grunge, this would mix in really well with that. Um, then you're also getting little spots, little tiny little kisses, almost like little caterpillars going across. And then you've got this one, which has got kind of little triangles on a kind of, again, quite grungy background. Again, mi mix well with Tim Holtz fabrics, I'm thinking. And then you've got this one, which is sort of like a tree trunk, but because they're sort of rippled like that, I'm thinking more like they look like my stack of biscuit cutters. Is anyone else seeing biscuit cutters? Oh, now I want biscuits. Oh, now I want tea and biscuits. <gasps> mm. My favourite biscuits ever are Shrewsbury biscuits. You know the ones, or Easter biscuits. You know, kind of quite a plain biscuit with dried fruit in it and sugar on top. <sighs> Beautiful. So those are the greens that you're getting in there. Now I have actually got one of the strip rolls that's open. I suspect this is the one that Neil had. Is this the one that he opened with his teeth? <laughs> oh, that made me shudder. That's like biting thread with teeth. Can't, oh, oh no, that makes me go all funny. Makes me go all funny. Um, but this is the strip. It's absolutely beautiful, this. I'm just going to sort of layer them as we go. That's yum. That is yummy. This is a whole sort of basics range, isn't it? 42 pieces, all these different colours. And am I right in saying that every single one is unique? There aren't any repeats. I don't think there's a single repeat. Forgive me if, I, if I'm telling you a lie there, but I don't think there are any repeats in these. So this would make the most amazing quilt, wall hanging, I'm very, this time of year, I always think about making something for either Project Linus to help kids who are going through tough times, leaving care or in hospital poorly or just had some major upheaval in their lives. But also, I think it's really lovely to make something for your local school. And I always think primary school because I was a primary school teacher. Imagine this for reception. Mm, all those colours. Wouldn't that be a wonderful tool for helping kids learn the colours? And also the subtlety of the colour names. Of course, the younger children can just call it blue and yellow and orange. You might be making a quilt for a grandchild where they can learn all those different colour names with you. This is sky blue. Maybe we call this, this is lake blue or deep turquoise. It's the first time we've ever seen these pre-cuts, and they are stunning. Can't believe that the very first time we ever saw these, they were at an amazing special manager's price. Now, lots of you are buying multiples. Don't blame you. Don't blame you. 
These would be so useful. They'd make a great quilt on their own, but they're also going to be a fantastic addition to your stash so that if you need a bit of lime green or a bit of deep rust, you don't have to go out and start looking for a fat quarter or a fat eighth of that fabric. You can go in your stash and you'll have them there. These colours are absolutely stunning. Of course, you could mix these with a solid black or a solid white or a pale grey or a dark grey, an inky navy as a background. There's all sorts you could do there. There's no repeats here. These are all individual fabrics, every single one. Oh, this is going to freak me out, but look, there's a green on its own at the end. But anyway, just an absolute beautiful range there. Stunning. Now then, don't, it's not out of stock. Alison just got in touch to say on the website it says out of stock, but it's not out of stock. Does that mean you can still add it to, the, to your basket, though? Yeah, you can. Ignore that message. Just pop it in your basket. Any problems, phone the call centre. It's UK-based. Have a chat. I don't think I've done too bad a job, have I, putting that back into a roll. There we go. I've done all right, haven't I? I don't think I'd get a job at the factory, but... Congratulations so far if you've got this in your basket and you've checked out. Now you know it's on your way. Either of them, actually. Remember, there are two options today for your manager's special. There's the strip roll, which comes with a pattern for using that strip roll for this gorgeous, gorgeous quilt, or two baby quilts. And then there's also the 10-inch charm pack. So you're getting 42 10-inch squares. Again, all unique, no repeats. Brilliant for your 10-inch charm pack um, projects. Should be 39.99, but not today. It's our manager's special. There's two of them. Should have been on at 10 o'clock, but we had a few issues, so we had to just kind of uh, wait a little while, and you waited with me. Thank you. 29.99 10 pounds off that's fantastic really good 25 percent off the price be careful if you've got it in your basket check out because oh, it's not yours till you've checked out and we although we've got really good we started with really good numbers lots of you are multi-buying yesterday's completely sold out so these won't hang about. Now, Neil will be live with us in the studio tomorrow for the manager's special. I will see him right here. I'll be back tomorrow as well. So I'll be able to ask him about those travels in the field. <laughs> wonder what tomorrow's special will be. I don't know at the moment either. It's a surprise for me too. Well done if you got your manager's special. And if you're tempted, be quick, jump on the website order your two and a half inch strip roll or your 10 inch charm pack or both you can use the call center if you prefer now then we've got some absolute favorites here we've been talking about this lot with delphine brooks it's our bonderweb five meter roll absolute fan favorite this one we love bonderweb or blyseline to give it its modern name now flyzo fix it's a five metre roll. It's a five metre roll. It's 30 centimetres wide, top to bottom. Five metres, that's a lot of bond web. That's going to keep you going. They sell out every time. I'm seeing threads on me. Look, I'm not me unless I've got threads clinging to me. Ah, but loads of you are loving this. Great way of keeping your bonder web safe and secure as well, by the way, rolled up like that. Keep it somewhere cool. Lovely review from Alison in Stirlingshire. Essential for applique and especially for Delphine Brooks' fabulous designs. Couldn't agree more, Alison. It's a hero product, isn't it, bonder web? It's an absolute hero product. Quick appliques, absolutely superb. You can also use this if you want to do a machine sewn binding. I cut a skinny quarter of an inch strip. And because you've got five meters in length, you can cut it in longer strips as well. A skinny quarter of an inch, iron it to the wrong side of the quilt, around the outside edge where the binding is going to sit. 
after you've machined the binding to the front. So machine the binding to the front, then add your bonder web in a strip within your seam allowance all the way around, and then you can fold your binding over and iron it on, fuse it to the back of the quilt, and then go from the front, machine sew in the ditch around from the front to machine sew your binding. It's another use for your bonder web. It's absolutely essential, isn't it? It's a quilter's must-have, it's a sewer's must-have. If you like making things like bags, cushions, table runners, anything like that at all, really. If you want to embellish clothing and add some fun appliques, or you want to personalise something. Maybe you've made a pieced quilt, but you want to add maybe initials of the recipient to the quilt. Bonder web will do that for you. It's a fusible web with a paper backing. Trace onto your bonder web the paper side or the, the uh, glue side and then roughly cut it out, iron it to the wrong side of your fabric and then neatly cut out your shape. If you use metal dies to cut out your fabric, maybe you've got Aki quilt or something like that, you just iron a shape larger, a piece of bond web larger than the um, applique shape you're cutting to the back of your fabric and then run it through your die cutting machine and you'll cut out your appliques. So absolutely essential that one. Back in stock, $23.99. Remember if you've already bought something today, you've already paid your postage, we're not going to be charged anymore. If you just got the manager's special, if you've got Delphine's Tree of Life, you've already paid your postage and packing, there's nothing more to pay there, uh, why not pop that in your basket? Or open a fresh basket and pop the Bonder Web 5 metre roll, it's, excuse me, 30 centimetres wide by 5 metres, great price that and well worth having in your stash. Now then, we've got another favourite. This is another favourite, and I know this is a real favourite of Debbie Shaw as well. Um, it's the HT2 glue from Gutterman. So this is a fabric glue, a textile glue, that you can use for, now then, things like if you make bags with metal frames for fixing the frame and the bag together, um, I've known Debbie use this for repairing fabrics. You can use it for appliques. Suitable for all sorts of different fabrics, um, not just cotton weight fabric, quilt weight fabric. Comes in and goes out same day usually. So if you like this, you will need to be really quick. It's the HT glue, textile glue from Gutterman. Great price, $4.99. You can use it on leather, PVC. Obviously quilt weight fabric, I'm just brushing threads off me now, I'm, s I'm taking the opportunity um, off my beautiful tobacco brown trousers. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, so useful for all different fabrics. You could also use this of course for sticking down things like lace, organza, really fine fabrics as well. It's water resistant and you can launder it at 40 degrees without stitching, I'm assuming. So this is amazing, really good. Sewing with a tube, isn't it? Quickly and permanently bonding the fabrics together. That's your HT2 textile glue from Gutterman. Back in stock for a very short amount of time, I suspect, because we've now got less than 30 in stock and we had a ton of that because we know it's one of your favorite products. Nearly gone, be quick. Don't forget, you can still get your manager's special. They are still available. Now then, if you have been inspired by Delphine today, talking about designing quilts and how she starts creating quilts, um, and you want to do some of your own designing, what about this? This is so easy, 12 inch square graph paper for quilters and paper craft featuring full 12 inch, 8 inch and 4 inch squares for drawing, quilt blocks, designing projects and scrapbooking. Let me show you what you've got here. So down here in the corner, this is your 4 inch block and this is to scale. So if you wanted to use this to create your own paper foundation blocks, then you could and they're to scale. If you wanted, here's your 8 inch 
block here and then on the outside here this is your 12 inch block so of course if you want to go a nine inch block um, then that's just there of course but you've got bold lines to show you but also you could use the whole thing the 12 inch to create a block one block um, if you've been inspired to make something like a pixelated quilt yeah so you want to say like each of these large squares or even one what each of the small squares is a different patch of fabric each of these squares might be a two inch finished square if you wanted to create something really detailed i know a friend of mine um lily's quilts um if you want to look her instagram she did a pixelated quilt of rupaul from rupaul's drag race in shades of gray so it's like black and white um I think maybe the lipstick was in a colour, but I mean, just incredible. So this is a real, I mean, this is great for quilters who want to design their own designs, create their own patterns. But also, if you like to maybe be inspired, you may be seeing a quilt at a show and think, oh, I need to work out how to, to do that. Graph paper is a great one to help you draft your own patterns. Now you're getting 25 sheets. It's less than five pounds. And also, I'm thinking, what a great way of keeping children entertained as well. Get them to design a quilt. What about if you want to make a child's quilt, but you really want to get the child involved? How about getting them to design their block, their unique block using graph paper, and then you make the quilt? Or maybe they make it with you. I'm all for getting kids involved. Ellen in Lancashire has emailed in to say, oh my days, why have I never thought about that with binding and bonder web? Great tip, I hate that job. Thank you, Stuart, you're welcome. Anything to make the job quicker and easier and more, it's gotta be successful though, hasn't it? It's gotta work, but it does work. Sew your binding on first, then cut your thin strips, less than a quarter of an inch. You don't need much for it either. Let's go 80-20 batting. Now this is the one I use for all my quilts. I always use 80-20. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Now the reason why I like to use 80-20 is because I love the thinness of cotton and I love the drape of cotton and I love the feel of it too. It works really well for me and cotton fabrics want to stick to cotton batting. But I also like that bit of polyester in because it helps it to retain its shape and loft when it's been washed, but it also has just a little bit more bounce in it than just a pure cotton, so your quilting will show up better. Now, our producer has left the confines of her broom cupboard <laughs> to show us the width. <laughs> so this is the width of your um, batting. So this is a half a metre, so it's 244 centimetres wide, which I believe is 96 inches wide. It's either 94 or 96, we'll check. Um, most queen size quilts are about 90 inches wide, up to 90 inches wide. So this is going to be perfect for queen size quilts. You'll still have your bit of extra on the outside edge. And then you're just going to buy it in half meter increments. So this is what half meter looks like. If you wanted to make something like six or eight new placemats ready for Christmas or, um, you know, Thanksgiving. A lot of people in Britain now are celebrating Thanksgiving. And why not? I think we've got a lot of reasons to be grateful and thankful in our lives, haven't we? Why not have a special celebration to do just that? Um, half a meter of that would do six or eight placemats, probably more. Cut off the bolt, especially for you. So that means if you want more, if you want four meters, three meters, you'll get a continuous piece. Great mix that. Um, I wouldn't pre-wash, pre-washing batting. Ooh. It's a thing of the past, I, I hope. Um, we used to pre-wash battings 20 years ago, some of them, um, but not necessary. Layer it, quilt it. Now then, a meter stick. This is our producer cat's favorite product of the whole morning, I believe, um, the meter stick. And I asked her why, and I was expecting all kinds of answers. She said, I just want to pretend that I'm working on a market stall, kind of, how many metres? 
three meters of your lovely denim. There it is. <laughs> Have I got the job? But for things like measuring out your fabric, measuring out the sides of your quilt, measuring things when it's longer than your quilting ruler, but you want something rigid and stiff. Maybe you just want it in your sewing room because it's a lovely thing and it's rather beautiful. Maybe you've got a little window in your sewing room and you want to create a little drape for the window and you could use this fixed to the wall as almost like your curtain pole. Tab top, little sheer curtain or something like that. I don't know, I'm, I'm just freestyling. But you could actually use it for, for measuring things. Maybe you could use this one at the top, one at the bottom to hang a quilt. So it could be your hanging rod at the top, but you could also have tabs on the bottom of your quilt. And that would help also to kind of weight it and keep it hanging nice and straight and flat against the wall. Yeah, you could use it decoratively, but you can actually use it for measuring with because it is a proper metre stick um, and also has, oh, that's quite useful. It's got conversions along one side as well. Uh, 10 millimetres equals one centimetre, 25.4 millimetres equals one inch. Always useful to know these things, isn't it? And so that's all, oops, I'm going to turn it around again. You could also use it as a twirling baton. There you go, that's all along one side. So that's all your centimetres. And then on the other side, and twirl it around again, you've got your inches and your centimetres as well. So it is a working metre stick. Love that. Come with me. Come with me. Come on. Come with me. Look at that. Seamless. I was there, now I'm here. It's the Elna 680. Now, our machine has been out of stock for six months. And I know a lot of you were waiting very patiently and possibly as well, if it had been me waiting, I would have been waiting impatiently and gnashing my teeth. Uh, I know a lot of you were waiting for the Elna 680 Excellence to come back into stock. Well, at last it has. And just in time for Christmas, what do you mean? I'm sure you're saying it's September. We've got less than 20% of the stock left on this machine. And how many weeks till Christmas? Oh, it's 102 sleeps till Christmas. Cat's very young, so she talks in sleeps. <laughs> but it's not that long. But the reason why I mention Christmas is because with only less than 20% of our stock left, we might not have this by the weekend. We might not have the Elner Excellence 680 plus in stock by the weekend because it is flying out the door. Less than 20% of the stock left. So if you were thinking about treating yourself for Christmas or treating someone else very special, um, if you were thinking about asking for this for your Christmas present this year, then I would ask now. Um, otherwise you won't get it. Also, another reason why you want to buy it right now is because for the rest of September, it's only £1,099. Pounds. Now, on the 1st of October, that price will rise. Um, it should be that higher price now. We negotiated with Elna uh, to keep it at the original price that you know and love. Um, but at the end of the month, it will go back up. So be quick. Let's have a look at the technical details behind this machine. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Um, it's suitable for advanced or hobby sewists, okay? So even if you've just begun your sewing journey, this is a fantastic machine for you. It's gonna grow with you. But if you're a really experienced sewer, trust me on this one, this machine has got everything you need. It's absolutely brimming with features. 170 stitches. You've got 10 automatic one-step buttonholes on the machine as well. So if you're a dressmaker, it doesn't matter whether you're sewing plain cotton for a shirt, uh, thick wool for a coat or stretchy jersey, uh, you've got a buttonhole that's going to suit. 
the maximum stitch width of 9 mil. That's important because we've got two alphabets on this machine that will go up to 9 mil. That's a really good size. And also your decorative stitches up to 9 mil wide. Really fab that. A maximum stitch length of 5 mil. So it means you can use your machine for everything from foundation paper piecing right up to machine basting. So no more pins. Two alphabets, capital letters and numbers available in 9mm width. At maximum sewing speed of 1,000 stitches per minute. Now we know why Delphine Brooks uses this machine for all her demos. 1,000 stitches per minute. I think that's about the rate she sews at. Amazing woman. 91 variable needle positions. That's going to allow real precision. Real precision. Now, um, those 91 different needle positions, remember, this is to do with creating all those different decorative stitches. There is an absolute wealth of decorative stitches up here um, that you can achieve. And those 91 different needle positions allow you to do that. Um, but also, different needle positions means that we've got different places that we can start sewing from and return sewing. So for example, with a blanket stitch, we want to do a pliques. If we want to do a really wide blanket stitch, we want it to show it's very decorative, um, we could use a nice wide decorative stitch. Okay, So we've got our needle position here that it's starting from, but then we've got another needle position right over here that it's well, not right over there, but you know what I mean, that's going to stitch over. So very decorative. But also, let's say we want to do invisible machine applique using regular bobbin thread or bobbin film in the bottom, invisible or micro monofilament in the top. Then we want to use a, a really tiny blanket stitch that's so small that it is barely biting into your applique fabric. We can bring the stitch width right down so tiny because of all those different needle positions. So it's a really, really clever feature. Now we've also got loads of different feet available with this machine. They all come with the machine. Uh, We've got various different places on a machine where they're tucked away. Uh, up here, we've got a variety of feet here, including those utility feet. They're right there where you can grab them because you're going to be using them all the time. Things like a zipper foot, rolled hem foot, also things like your embroidery decorative stitching foot. It's clear plastic so you can see where you're going. Really useful that. And you've also got things like an over edge stitching foot. So if you want to be able to neaten the inside of seams on clothing um, and you haven't got an overlocker, use your over edge stitching function and your foot on the machine. What that foot does is, why is it special? If you've ever tried zigzagging around a seam allowance, um, which is kind of old school way of neatening a seam without an overlocker. Um, if you try and do that zigzag over the fabric, um, what tends to happen is that fabric just gets crumpled up, screwed up, wrinkled, flattened, pulled in. It ends up looking a bit of a mess, to be honest. Your over edge foot has a, a, an edge that sits right on the edge of the fabric and a little pin that you sew back and forth over, whether you're doing a zigzag or an overage, there's various different overage um, stitches on the machine. And that little pin holds the fabric flat as you're stitching. It's like having an extra finger holding the fabric flat while you stitch over the top. And then the stitches just kind of slip off the back of the pin. It's really clever. It does a fantastic job. And actually as well, it doesn't matter whether you're sewing cotton fabrics, you know, wool fabrics, fabrics that behave, fabrics that don't behave, fabrics that stretch. You've got various different over edge stitching, um, stitches rather, on your machine. They're all here, this section along here. All right. Now you've seen lots of guests on Sewing Street using the fantastic Elna 680 Excellence. Free motion quilting. Piecing, dressmaking, foundation paper piecing, uh, bag making, applique. You've got all those different options. You've got a free arm for dressmaking. You just slide off the accessory box. Yeah. You can drop the feed dogs, of course. You're getting an extension table included. And on top of all of that, you're getting things like a walking foot included, 
da darning feet. There's various options. There's four different options on darning foot. Closed toe, open toe, clear, big foot. Um, you're also getting a special straight stitch plate. So if you're doing mostly straight stitching, great for quilters this one. If you're doing lots and lots of piecing and you don't want um, your, your machine to gobble up your fabric, if you've ever had a hungry sewing machine, <laughs> you'll know what I'm talking about. Use the straight stitch plate. Um, in the past with sewing machines, you had to get your screwdriver out and start removing screws and screwing this in and it's a flick of a button and it changes. Um, and then once you've got this plate installed, old school, you had to remember that you'd got it on because if you left it on and then tried doing a zigzag, first stitch you take, bang, needle broken, possibly your timing on your machine ruined expensive job to fix, not on the Elna 680 Excellence. As soon as that plate goes into your machine, your machine knows that you've got that plate in and it will lock you out of anything other than a stitch which is compatible with, with that um, plate. And actually, if you just have a quick look over here, can you see these red stitches down here? Those stitches are all the ones that will work with the straight stitch plate. So when you've got that straight stitch plate, you can't do anything other than those stitches. There they are. Amazing, amazing array of stitches. There's so much here. I would really recommend, actually, here would be my recommendation. If you've got time today, download the manual. Go onto the Elna website, download the manual, have a flick through it on your tablet, on your computer and just see what you're getting in the machine. See all those feet, all those functions, all those stitches. What suits you now, what will suit you in the future? You get a manual of course with your machine. I've got mine right here. But if you're still wondering, you know, is this the right machine for me? Why not have a look through the manual? You get lots of bobbins, always important. I'd really recommend actually when you're buying a new machine, buy a box of bobbins as well. Don't do what I do. I'm down to my last bobbin. I have to keep on pulling the thread off. Make sure they're Elna bobbins. Make sure, um, you know, different sewing machines require their own make of bobbin. They're not interchangeable and I wouldn't ever use bobbins that are called universal because they're really not. Okay, you get a knee lift with this machine too. A knee lift is a fantastic thing, that's this right here. Um, it's like a metal bar that comes out of the front of the machine, it kind of plugs in here, all right, and then it sticks out of the machine and then the bar, so it goes out of the machine and then the bar goes under the table. And essentially you rest your, I rest my right knee against that bar and then you push your knee against the bar. And when you push your knee away, um, it lifts the presser foot on your machine, hands free. Um, it lifts it up, and then when you bring your knee back in towards the midline of your body, you lower the presser foot. And that does that with the knee lift. Absolutely amazing. Um, it sounds like such a small thing, and if you've never used one before, or if you're not, you know, that experienced a sewer, you might think, is that a thing? You know, why would I need that? Well, you imagine if you were doing something like appliqueing around the autumn leaves, Delphine was showing us earlier on. And Delphine talked about using a blanket stitch. So you're going to be using the feed dogs on your machine. You're going to have to turn your quilt to applique all around. Every time you need to turn your quilt and move it around, you need to lift and lower the presser foot in order to reposition your fabric. Well, your hands need to be here on your quilt top as you're moving that around. Um, imagine if you didn't have to take your hand away every time to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. You can just keep them here, lift it with your knee. I'm doing the knee as I talk. Great when you're sitting down. You can sort of use them when you're standing up, but not really. Much better when you're sitting down. I don't know anybody apart from, from TV sewers who have to sew standing up. But maybe you like sewing standing up at home. 
I imagine it, it would be good. I mean, it's it's probably good for posture and good for good for. Hmm. I don't know. Do you sew? So do you sew standing up or sitting down? Now we found this machine, the Elna 680 Plus Excellence, in one other place, and here it is. It's on pre-order, so you can't actually have it. Um, the delivery date is to be confirmed, so that means no one knows right now, and it's £1,249. Ours, on the other hand, is available right now. It's in the Elna warehouse, and if you were tuned in at the start of the day, um, you'll remember I read out a few emails from, from some customers who ordered on Friday and have already got their machines and are now sewing with them. £1,099, not £1,249, £1,099, £3.99 postage and packing, or nothing if you've already ordered something else today. It'll come direct from Elna, so if you've ordered a number of different things, if you ordered maybe the Autumn Tree of Life, that will come separately, and then you will also get, you'll get a little notification in there that your Elna machine is coming, but that comes straight from Elna. So don't be alarmed if it doesn't arrive at the same time. Congratulations to all of you who have bought the Elna 680 Excellence since it's been back in stock. We've less than 20% stock left, and we had bought a lot of this machine because we know it's your favorite. And we have a great relationship with Elna. They've let us keep that price down to £1,099, even though it should be a higher price. And I suspect, I don't know, but I suspect it is that £1,249. So about £150 more than the price we're selling it for. We know it's a considered purchase, and I know that you need to have a bit of a think whether it's right for you. So I think download the... Uh, manual, have a read, uh, watch the demos, and also go onto the fans page and have a chat with some of the other customers there who have bought the Elna 680. Have a look at the reviews for the machine too. Make sure it's the right one for you. But it is a fantastic machine. It has so much functionality, so much potential. And you know, I think the most important thing when you're buying a sewing machine is that you future-proof for the next five years, the next 10 years. So think about where your sewing is right now. Think about what you might want to do in the future. Now, very quickly, we've had a question. Question from a collector who's in Cheshire. Hi, Cathy. Hello, warm welcome to Sewing Street, thank you. I'm enjoying your show, the Cotton Mix Wadding 8020 Light Soft Blend. How many half meters would I need for, for, hi, sorry about before, measure of the quilt, six foot by seven foot. Okay. Well, yeah, all I'm thinking is you've got 90, four inches on the width, uh, which is how many feet? Okay, so you'd need to go the six foot width that way. So you need seven feet in length. So I'm suspecting that's gonna be about 100 meters, 100 inches rather, 100 meters, about 100 inches, maybe a bit more, 110. Yeah, so about 100. We'll work it out over the break. We'll, we'll get back to you on that. The maths is making our head hurt. I need tea and biscuits. I asked for them earlier on. <laughs> but I, I would say, yeah, I would think probably about three metres, but we'll work it out properly for you. Stay after the break because Delphine is back for one more hour. You might have noticed two rather gorgeous cushions right behind me, the dragonfly and the bee. They are incredible. One, the bee is made from a panel, the uh, dragonfly not, but 
Delphine's going to unlock the magic of making both of those cushions in the next hour. So come back after the break when I will tell you how many meters you need for a six foot by seven foot quilt. And we've got Delphine's fabulous demos for those two cushions. Don't go away. It's our last hour. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Good afternoon. It's flown by today. We're off to the yard arm. Is that the right? 12 o'clock? The yard arm? I think that might be later in the day when you're allowed a gin and tonic. Well, what a morning. What a morning. We've had a great time here today. Already had two hours with Delphine, but we get one more. Some great projects, um, which I know you're going to enjoy. Garden inspired bringing the outdoors indoors and maybe just maybe making summer last a little bit longer these are beautiful these are beautiful we've got the bumblebee and the dragonfly cushion kits let's start with the dragonfly now there are two different colorways this is the teal now the teal kit has the pattern of course this is a Delphine Brooks design, of course, absolutely beautiful. Big, big cushion this, 18 inches square, very impactful. 
And in your kit, you're getting everything that you're going to need. Let's see what you get. So first and foremost, you've got the background fabric. This is a gorgeous deep teal. Now quantity wise, you're getting half a meter, half a meter of that background fabric. And that's a gorgeous deep teal. And then you're also getting a fat quarter of the lighter. Now you're gonna use this for the wings and the body of the dragonfly. And then what I think really brings this project to life is the organza. You've got a quarter meter of your organza, which you're going to use for those incredible wings. The organza, the way that Delphine uses organza to bring her appliques to life is just mind blowing. I love it. I absolutely love it. So those are your fabrics. You're also then getting some fabulous threads to go with. I love the fact that this is kind of complete of everything you need here. Um, so you're getting a couple of different greens. You're getting a teal and a green, which you're going to use for the body of the dragonfly. And then you're also getting some black for the detailing, legs, antenna and so on. And then also some white for the highlights. All of that for 19.99 that is an amazing price isn't it i was expecting a much higher price for getting a complete kit really fab plus those instructions of course that you can make over and over again you can't get those instructions on their own by the way the only way you're going to get those instructions is in with your kit it's 19.99 for all of that all that fabric two fat quarters, including the organza, your half meter of background fabric, your four skeins of uh, embroidery thread, and your instructions. Now, I think we're gonna need some Bonderweb for this. So don't forget, we've got Bonderweb in the show. So you can pre-order, we've got it on the roll. We've also got it by the package. So whichever option's gonna suit you. Look at that, look at all the details. That is so clever really really beautiful what a great project we've also got a purple colorway purple and teal work beautifully together now you've already been pre-ordering this one and the teal is in the lead but the purple is also proving very popular so you've got a really gorgeous deep what i would call proper purple it's almost like that wrapper isn't it from everyone's favorite sweetie absolutely beautiful that is gorgeous so that's your background and then your butterfly itself the body and wings are going to be made out of this you've got a fat quarter of that mid-toned uh, sort of lilac -y purple amethyst and then you've got oh look at that different organza to the blue this one's a lilac organza oh, that is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful you're getting i mean that really is dragonfly wings isn't it that's exactly what they look like they have that shimmer and sheen to them they're quite a rare sight these days aren't they dragonflies you don't see them very often you really don't see them that often but you can reproduce the dragonfly cushion at home using delphine's brilliant pattern you're also getting your embroidery flosses as well there black silver pale silver and then that lovely deep red and a pink so this is to stitch down the back of the body really cool and again 19.99 all you're going to need to add is a backing for your cushion and a cushion pad um I suspect you could quilt this if you wanted to quilt the backing. So you could add some quilt batting. Don't forget we had 80-20 in the last hour. Now, Kathy asked um, how many meters would she need to buy of that wadding for a six foot by seven foot quilt? And we worked it out, you need two and a half meters. So five um, units. So that would be your six foot going across the width by seven feet. Hope that helps. We did, there was a lot of brain power needed for that. There was a lot of scratching of heads and pencils and tongues sticking out the side of the mouth. And you ever do that when you're thinking, Delphine, when you're concentrating? 
Yes. OK, so we've got those two options for the dragonfly. I'm just wondering, Delphine, if you used a different background, if you added in an extra half metre of background fabric, could you squeeze two? If you, yeah, you, could, you can definitely make two out of the half metre and the fat quarter. You'll just need a, a different fabric for your backing. Yeah, just a different yeah. backing fabric. Yeah. So, wow, there you go. It could almost be two for one. Add an extra half metre of the background fabric. We've also, now we've also got, this is an idea, if you wanted to maybe make this bigger, make it into a wall hanging and add a border, we've got a gorgeous dragonfly fabric on the website. It's a Henry glass, I believe. Have a look for it, like this. Yeah? How about that? You could use that for a border. You could use it for the back of your cushion. Mm -hmm. How much fabric would we need to back this cushion? Uh, well, if you're going to do it, it's an envelope back. Yep. So it's about an 18 inch square and I like to have an extra four inches. So if you buy half a half a metre. Meter, yeah. Yeah. So half a metre of that dragonfly fabric per <laughs> cushion would do your envelope back. Have a look on the website. 749 for a half metre. Got it in blue as well, which would go beautifully with either colourway, actually. Really nice, that. That's Henry Glass. Now, also, we have bees. The bumblebee cushion. And there are three different colourways. Now, this one comes from a panel, OK, exclusive to us here at Sewing Street. I'm going to move those out of the way for now and show you this first option. This is the silver grey colourway. Absolutely gorgeous. Elliot's just coming with my cup of tea. Thank you, Elliot. He's a little bit shy. Snuck in, snuck out. This is a completely exclusive panel to Sewing Street. So this is an exclusive project. Now what you're getting here is you're getting the background. This is a silvery grey honeycomb effect on the background. So, so this is going to create the back of your or the background for your cushion. OK, then you've also got the flowers that are going to go with. Um, these are kind of supersized, very photographic looking um, flowers that you're going to back with Bondaweb, cut out and then fuse to this background. And then once that's done, you've then got your applique elements down here to create your bumblebee. So you've got the body and the head also the wings, and then you've got the upper legs and the lower legs, legs as well. Now you've got these little extras here. These could be used perhaps on the backing. You could put a little bee on the back of your cushion, or you could add an extra embellishment on the cushion itself. You could mix it in. Yeah, you could mix that in actually with the Tea with Bee fabrics that we had this morning, the Riley Blake bundle. They would mix in really well with that too. Um, and then what Delphine's done in the sample is to use some, <coughs> excuse me, some organza for the wings. So using, I imagine, the same method mm -hmm. as for the dragonflies. So if you get the dragonfly panel as well, the dragonfly kit, you'll also have instructions there on how to use organza to create the wings. You don't get that organza included with this, but... Have a look on the website, see if you can find some organza that you think would go nicely. That's the silver option. Very lovely. And there's the finished sample. Look at that. Delphine, have you added some embroidery there too? I have, yeah. Some hand embroidery. Ooh. But I, you can do it with free motion as well, just going forward and backwards with the machine with a black thread. Really, really, really easy. Amazing. Yeah. It looks really cool. Morning, by the way, Delphin. Welcome back. <laughs> Afternoon, I Afternoon. Think, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Afternoon, indeed, it is. Now, our second colourway is a gold. This has been the most popular. It's the right colour, isn't it, for honey? For sure. Mm. That's lovely. So, you've got that lovely, deep, mustardy, honey coloured background. Those cells are definitely full of honey, ready for the winter. Do you like honey? No. No? <laughs> no, Delphine's not a lover of the honey. That's how the cushion will look if you make it up just as is, even without the flowers added in. So the flowers taken out, 
Remember, you're making this, so make it your way. These are those flowers that you can add, and they're optional. If you don't want to use them for this project, leave them off just to plique the bee straight onto that panel. And remember, this is going to finish at 18 inches square, so it's a really good size. But you've got your flowers, that same element, and then you'll be at the bottom. So remember, Bondaweb on the back first of all. If you need Bondaweb, we have it on the show. Cut those out, iron them to the front of the cushion, and then you're going to finish the edges using maybe something like a zigzag or a blanket stitch. Lots of nice opportunities for adding embellishments to the wings and the body, I think. Delphine had used some hand embroidery, just some kind of long and, and short stitches um, to blend between the black and the, the gold. So that is the mustard option, and it's the most popular so far. That's kind of honey mustard, isn't it? Remember that comes with instructions too. Each each panel comes with instructions. And then the last colourway, oh, I think this might be my favourite though. This is very rich. This is very rich. This is the teal background. Again, I love the fact that these same applique elements are working mm. really well. Different background. Of course, you could multi-buy. If you want a pair of cushions, three cushions, why not get one in each? One in each colour or a couple of the silver, a couple of the teal, if that would look good on your sofa, maybe in your lounge or in a chair. So same principle, you've got that teal background this time, you've got your floral appliques, you've got your bee appliques, lots of lovely sewing there. Now then, we've got some embroidery skeins which you can buy on their own. These are a bit special, the DMC. We've got four different colours available, and these are going to work absolutely beautifully with the projects today. They'd work either with the bees or with the dragonflies. I'll just lay them out in front. We've got gold. Now, gold is a great one. Christmas is coming up, of course. So gold metallic thread, super useful for Christmas projects, but also it's going to be fantastic, I think especially with the bee. I think especially with the bee, this is going to work really well. But those do also work very really well with the dragonfly kits. You're getting embroidery thread, of course, that embroidery floss, but gold works beautifully with purple or with teal. Great combination. So if you want to add a little bit of extra embellishment, maybe a bit of embroidery around the wings. Now then, we've also got silver. Silver works well too with either of those colourways. It's going to look great with purple, great with teal, look really good with the bee as well. Now this one you could use to add extra sparkle to the bee's wings. If you're not going for organza, but you want to add a bit of extra sparkle, what about outline quilting the, the are they still called veins in the wings? Yeah, I think they're still veins. Now these ones, absolutely gorgeous. We've got a teal. The teal one is HZZ W96. Let's look at that one first. This is a beautiful metallic teal. Oh yes, now that would work beautifully with the teal dragonfly, of course. Emerald, they called it emerald, but I think it would work really well with the teal. But it would also work beautifully with the purple. And if you're going for a pair of cushions, one of each, you could mix and match the threads, mm -hmm. couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Eight metres of thread there, by the way. And then our final skein, this is YHZW24, and this is the blue, aquamarine. Aquamarine. These are from the jewel tone colour range that DMC did. And are these six-strand embroidery floss? These are a six-strand embroidery. So you can separate them out, just use one really fine thread for very delicate embellishments, or use all six threads together if you want a bolder look. One ninety-nine for that, amazing. Can I just pass that to you? B, the B, the teal B. Yeah. It's just a gift from me to oh, you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, <I'll, laughs> We're going to start with I'll the dragonfly, and I'm going to hand over to Delphine. Oh, lovely. Well, hello again. Hello again. <laughs> welcome back. It's a back. busy day, isn't it? 
You've been a busy bee. Oh, I've been a busy bee. Busy <laughs> bee. Um, yeah, so the dragonfly. Is it possible? Can I borrow the pattern as well? Of course you the can. dragonfly pattern. Yes. Lovely. We've got a couple going over there. There you go, my Lovely. love. Lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, so really, really simple, but really, really pretty cushion to, to make, actually. So starting with the template at the back. So you'll need a piece of underwear big enough for, to, for the dragonfly. And you'll just trace around the outline of your dragonfly. Um, as you can see, it's over three pages. So you, the red dot dotted line uh, shows the center of the um, dragonfly. So you just orientate your piece of paper, uh, your bundle web, just like we did in the um, Tree of Life hour. So yes. if you, so very, it's, it's the same way of tracing it out. So you trace it out and then you will uh, put it onto your bond web and cut it out, which I've done earlier on. And this is what you'll do, use doing the fat quarter piece of your, um, of your uh, uh, out of the kit. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, once you've got that all lined up, if you use a heat erasable pen, you can draw on or trace over. You can do this actually onto the bond web beforehand uh, if you're not confident in doing a bit of drawing. But... Um, I'm just going to go for just it's just show you how because what you'll be doing is sewing over these lines you see and they will disappear a bit later on so I'm not being too precious about it oh no I mean there's a bit of artistic license available here isn't there it certainly is let me just um, I've had that one open that we love just. organic things don't we you know I, I think as designers we love anything organic because it can be wobbly natural not symmetrical um, it's much more relaxed isn't it everything's different so there we go just done a little bit of detail onto the wings I'll just do a couple here yep uh, so just so you get the idea you could I've given you um, the template but of course, by all means, you can come up with your own design. And you could use dressmaker's carbon paper for transferring those lines too, yeah. if you want to, to reproduce them exactly. So, oh, this needs one there. There we go. Perfect. And then you'll just need some your organza and a few pins. So, you do get quite a lot of this. But Are you definitely. pinning, Delphine? Did you say pin? I know, I don't usually pin. I haven't ever seen you with a pin in your hand. <laughs> it's not very often you will. You've changed your tune, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Hey? Hey? I know. It's, it's to keep it a little bit flat. So, obviously, you don't You're want keeping to... me on my toes, I know that much. <laughs> so, you don't go anywhere near it with an iron, um, unless Ooh. you're going to cover it up. So, uh, this I'll use these pins, because I know that's a nice tidy oh. pin cushion. So you just pin to ah. it. This is just to stop it moving around yes. during the sewing stage. So you'll press it down with your hands because it's, I mean it's not that wrinkly, but so smooth it out, pin it down, and you're not cutting individual wings. No, yeah, it takes too long. Yeah, <laughs> and it will move around a lot. Of course, it's really slippery. Anyone that does any dressmaking who works with organza will know that it can be a bit of a pain and it will move around. Whereas if you just whack a few pins in it like this underneath the cotton, with the cotton underneath it. Yeah. I mean, so folks, you know, if the queen of d you don't need pins is using pins, you really need pins. Yeah, <laughs> it's good advice. Stop it slipping, hold it in place. I love where this is going. And I also, Delphine, I've got to say, I love the fact that we've got a more than half of that organza left over oh, for loads. another project. Generous. So I'll just go into just, obviously at home, you'll take your time, but I'm just. So just roughly cutting. Roughly cutting round it. I like the sound effect. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to choose a dark thread on your machine. You're mm -hmm. going to sew around. Obviously, if you have some... Uh, did I quilt that? I think I did. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Mm. I did put some wadding underneath it, but you don't necessarily have to. So if okay. you don't want to, quilt it. Yeah. Um, so you're just going to sew with a short stitch all the way around the edges. And I can just about see through uh, 
my lines where I've drawn over. So I'm just going to go and do, I'll, I'll do a couple. Yes, see please. If got time. So what colour thread are you using? Uh, in here I've got the Midnight out of the... Oh, lovely. From our, this today's early bird. Yeah. The Midnight Blue. I was thinking, could you use that or the black? Um, you could oh, use none the black. left. Well done if you got them. But you could use a sew all thread. Yep. Just a regular cotton or a polyester. Yeah, you could this. use anything really. Are you free motion or are you using the... Uh, no, I'm actually using the... I use the foot for this Quite only good. because I want the, it to be quite accurate going over some of my lines. Mm. Oh, look at that, that's fab. Leslie's uh, emailed in, hello Delphine and Stuart, what hello. a lovely show today. I love oh. Delphine's instructions. And Stuart, you're a fountain of knowledge and a pleasure to watch. Oh, thanks Leslie. That's kind. Back again tomorrow. Are you? You're a Lots busy man. Lots of projects. That's really neat. And that, that organza's not moving around at all, is it? No, you just, once you've got those pins in there, I mean, so, it's another thing to do before you've even um, started on the veins, what you can do is just sew all the way around each wing first mm -hmm. and then you know it's definitely not going to move. Fair enough. You know, I was looking at your finished sample earlier on and I was thinking, how is Delphine stitched so close to the edge on those wings around the outside? And now you yeah, know. Yeah, now I, was... I know exactly how Delphine So I'll do the other one in it. a minute, but I've <laughs> it literally just sewn around that one wing and then just done a couple of veins. I'll do another one and then I can trim away. What a clever method. I, 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 I just make it up as I go along. <laughs> and hope for the best. Uh, well, you and me both. I mean, that's always been my ethos, you know. I, I, I haven't had that sort of formal training that you've had, but I've always thought, you know, what do I want to achieve? What do I need to do in order to get there? Yeah. But you're very innovative. You're very innovative. It's great stuff. So now, of course, my mind is whirring and I'm thinking bees, I'm thinking petals, butterflies. Yeah. Even the humble blue bottle could be made beautiful. A beetle would be cool. A beetle would be amazing. Something like a stag beetle. Or a... Um, what's the Egyptian? Scarab. Oh, yeah. What about a scarab? Can I have that as well, please, Delphine? Yep. So far, I've <laughs> ordered a tree with cherry blossoms. We want a willow tree. Um, and now a scarab beetle. I demanded anything else today? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, our producer cat wants a dolphin. A dolphin? Yes. A, a dolphin. dolphin, please. I can. I could probably do a dolphin. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you probably won't be able to sleep for the next three weeks, Delphine. <laughs> Too busy. Just to give us what we want. That's what it's all about, really. That's it. Just well. Okay. I aim to please. What well, are you doing it? So. Oh, I finally got my cup of tea, Delphine. Do well, I say finally, like, you know, I've got <laughs> servants running around after me. I don't really like that, but, oh, I, you know, that cup of tea when you've really longed for it. So you feel oh. better now? Do you know, I just, I can't function without tea. Can you not? No, no. I can... You probably don't believe it by looking at me, but I could go all day without eating if I'm sewing. I rarely do, obviously, but um, I can go all day without eating, but I can't go uh, an hour without drinking tea. So how many cups of tea do you drink a day? Well, now you're trying to work out how many hours a day I'm up, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> no, pro uh, not every hour. I probably drink about five or six. Really? About five or six cups of tea a day. Okay. But okay. it all counts in your water intake. I'm like that with coffee though. Yeah, yeah. So. so you've stitched around two of the wings. Yeah. I have to stop myself calling them petals or leaves. I'll just go just the circumference of this one, just so you can get the idea of the colour. Because you don't have to sew all the extra bits on if you don't want to. You can just sew around the edges. Mm. Oh, but adding the veining to the wings really brings them to life, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely does. And like I say, I really thought that that was going to require a huge amount of patience, time and skill. And you're making it look very achievable. It's all very easy. 
great. Oh, very simple. Last one now. I'll yeah. only do the circumference a bit, go around the edge. So Delphine's using a navy thread there. You could use black, you could use charcoal grey, you could use a blue. But you want something that will contrast, don't you? Yes, definitely. I think I used black on the one mm. on my sample. Mm. It's really lovely. There we go. And so effective. There we go. And now... We need some sharp scissors. Uh, some applique scissors, I do. Some applique scissors. I think I've got some. I think they're in now. There they are. Duck build scissors for applique. What's so the benefit of using these scissors? Because you can get really close to the work without cutting through it. So, I'll, for example, if I was using normal scissors, yeah, you can still get to it. Whereas if I use applique scissors. I can get right to the stitches. Oh, okay. Clever. They're on the website. 16.99 those for the duck build. Once you've got them, you'll <laughs> you'll use them all the time. They are fab, aren't they? And they look super sharp. Madeira really sharp. Clique scissors, six inch, 16.99. Five stars. Because you can do this with that with normal mm. scissors, it, it will just take a bit longer. Yeah. So. No, we like speedy. We like little, we like tools that are going to help us along. Yeah, we do. And make things a little bit quicker. You and know. of course, you do a lot of applique, don't you, Delphine? I do. Yeah. So a really good tool. If you love Delphine's work and you've made her appliques before, I think this dragonfly cushion is a fantastic addition to your set. I'm sure there are Delphine Brooks collectors out there. <laughs> yeah, lots of you who have to make every new project, and I can't blame you. Just lovely. Oh, you're very kind. So as well, you've gone down the side of the body, haven't you? So that you can see so you've got no sort of loose, loose end on the That's wing. That's right. And yeah. don't worry about that because that will be covered up with embroidery. Mm -hmm. But it secures the organza in place, and you know that that organza is not going to go anywhere now. Oh, there's a pin there. I'm putting organza on everything from now on. <laughs> it does make it does give it that extra. It's fab. Bit of umph, doesn't it? Really it really does. It really does. And you know, you've shown us two different ways to use it today. One on your autumn tree of life wall hanging with those gorgeous kind of iridescent pinky orange leaves. Mm -hmm. But then now on dragonfly wings. Yeah. And on and on uh, bee wings. Just amazing. Love that. I think it's just it's just nice to have a little bling here and there, whether it's with organza or a bit of embroidery or totally agree. metallic thread or the odd sequin or bead. Yeah, I like to embellish. Or a diamond ring, Delphine, for that oh, matter. Or one of those. That would be nice as well. Or the diamonds. <laughs> there we go. So just... Fab. And then you would take your time and just go down these other bits. Sure. But, you know, that's when you're at just home. Just neaten it up. That, yep. but, you know, it's... It's sewing on the telly, so we, we, we wish on. Now, <laughs> the wings look fabulous. They're good yep. to go. They're party ready. But uh -huh. that body is looking a little it bit bare. It looks a bit bare, isn't it? Yeah. So, have we, have we got any sewing needles? I don't think... Sewing needles. We have a big pack of sewing needles. So, I'll just get some embroidery skeins ready. So, hand sewing these. We, we do, yeah. So I'll show you I'll show you a couple of how we gather the... Oh, look at that. Look the magic that. of television. <laughs> <laughs> so this is nice because you've got a combination, haven't you, of machine sewing and yes. then some hand sewing as well. Yeah, it's, so it's one of those projects because if you... If I... Well, in my, my opinion, I think if you were going to go into a shop and buy something like that it will cost a lot of money because it's quite high end with Absolutely. all the embroidery Absolutely. so to, to and obviously anything that's worth the money is also you know you're going to invest a bit of time into yes. it yes it's a 60 75 pound cushion isn't it Plus. yes definitely yeah um so take even time. For, even for the body to have been machine stitched so it's one of those that you do want to take your time over. Mm. So what I'm going to do, so it is a stranded uh, skein of six strands. So separate the, the um, 
strands. I think I used three. Or was it two? Might have been two. Mm. You should refer to the instructions. Do you want to have a look? You might have to in a minute. So I'll what you look. want to do, so if you've got a hoop, great, an embroidery hoop, because it does make your life a little bit easier. Yeah, you've used three. I've used three. You've so. used three. So to start, I'll just start you off. So you want to always start just outside of this. Um, like the it? background fabric. Yeah, you want to yeah. start just outside of that uh, because then you're going to be, as you come on in, you're going to be covering up all the raw edges. And you've already got that shape of the um, dragonfly there already. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you didn't want to do all this embroidery, you don't have to because the, the colour of the fabric works really, really well with the teal. It does, it does. But the embroidery adds such a special extra dimension. And I mean, literally yeah. it adds dimension as well, doesn't it? It does. And it's. I'm not doing any fancy stitches. I'm not doing any French knots or anything like that. You know, I'm literally, it's just a straight stitch. Just a satin stitch. Just a satin stitch, side. yeah. You're yeah. just colouring in with thread. That's all you're doing. Like the sound of that. And don't forget as well, of course, Delphine being Delphine, there are loads and loads of step-by-step -step photographs showing you how to build up that embroidery each step of the way. It's really detailed, right from the head down to the bottom of the tail and how to add in those other colours. It's really superb, very, very detailed instructions. Lovely message from Karen now. Delphine, we're kindred spirits. I was Army RMP, then on to Essex Police, now an avid sewer. Oh, Keep up wow. the fantastic work you do. <laughs> See, were you military police? Uh, no, I was uh, West Midlands Police. Ah. Yeah. Um, after I left the RAF, I became a copper. So, uh, yeah, we definitely are kindred spirits. There's not wow. many people from military to police to sewing, I suppose. I want to know, do you also like to eat your toast dry? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Because that's something we also found out about Delphine today. <laughs> she hates Marmite but loves dry toast. <laughs> oh, but no, so, we had a lovely response to how many, you know, different toast toppings there were, which I thought was lovely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm certainly energised for tomorrow morning's breakfast. So the embroidery, you said you could use a hoop if you wanted to. A hoop is easier, um, only because, if, especially if you're not, um, if you haven't done an awful lot of. So <laughs> I've managed to pick up a piece of thread underneath there. Oh well. Um, and because as you can see, I'm not pulling very tight. Uh, if I pull too tight, it's gonna. Oh, let me just start that again. Sorry, Joe. I've. Um, there we go, I'll just stop. That so you're one. keeping quite a nice, sort of fairly loose texture, tension rather. Yeah, if I pull it, put it too tightly, um, it's going to it's going to pucker. Yeah. You know, it's going to pucker the fabric. So I tend to, um, I am trying to hold it quite tight with my fingers. So it is achievable without a hoop, but if you've got one, definitely, I yeah. definitely recommend you use one. Yeah. Embroidery hoops, do we have those on the website? We do, we do, we do. Have a look on the website for embroidery hoops. Well, I think if you're going to do the, if you're going to do that, maybe do the organza of the uh, leaves after you've done the embroidery. Yes. Because you'll damage it. Yes. So, yes, absolutely. So you'll just keep carrying on with that. The, there is the templates in the book say book instructions mm -hmm. um the the template is actually color coded to show you exactly where to put your thread so you've got um so you, you can change up the oh different yes. color greens and where to put the legs and everything etc so that's fab i'm so just looking at the instructions now and really if you wanted to you know if this helped you you could actually mark out just using something like a friction pen you could mark out all these lines to separate so you knew exactly where to change colour or you could just do it by eye. Different options there. Things like the placement of the legs. Again, you could use dressmaker's carbon paper to transfer those marks or you could eyeball it. Yeah, you, I'm of the eyeballing You variety. can eyeball it, it's quite simple. Yeah. So 
yeah. yeah. And you just, like I said, I've just, you just colour in, colour in, and it gives it a really, really nice texture. So obviously, again, it's not something that you'll do of an afternoon. It's more of a, uh, you know, of an evening project, a table project, yeah. and pick up and down. Well, the weather's getting nasty. We want something yeah. to keep us, you know, occupied and... But to give that as a gift to somebody, you'll be... Oh, it's stunning. I'll be chuffed to bits if somebody yeah. gave me something Me too. Like hint, so hint, Delphine. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> You're going to keep me busy, Stuart. I love it. Now, so. Delphine, that's a brilliant introduction to the dragonfly cushion. Yep. Don't forget there's two different colourways that you can go for. Do you love the purple? Are you more of a teal uh, fan? Teal's the most popular. Teal is gorgeous. It is such a gorgeous colour. It's very beautiful. But don't forget, with the purple, you're getting that lilac organza and different coloured embroidery threads. So a different look would look very good as a matching pair. Now, Delphine, do you think we could have a look at the bee cushion? Please? Yes, definitely. So if you've got uh, if you've got any um, interfacing or bond web. Yeah then uh, that's what you'll need that for this project as well only because it makes it a lot easier to cut the bees out and mm -hmm. um, and to applique on so first of all you'll cut out your would you like some bonder web if you've got some I'm yeah like, i can yeah. get you some bonder web no I, problem i usually have it coming out of my ears yeah bonder web. i've got bonder web right here i'll just show you before i start destroying this pack of bonder web we do sell if you don't want five meters and you just want a smaller piece we do 2 dollars for a 17 centimetre by 120 centimetre piece of Bonder Web. And that's plenty. $2 that's plenty for this project as well. For, for one of those. If you just yeah. wanted to just do the, the bumblebee and you don't do an awful lot of applique, that's an ideal one. Let me send this over to you. So that's what you're that's what you're getting, that size piece. So there we go. And that, I'm just going to check that will work. Yep, so you can get the B. Once you use it that way, you'll get the B on. Yeah, but the, the roll is probably the best way of getting it. But there we go, Delphine. That's Lovely. Thank all you, All yours. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so obviously we're going to do the main body of the B. So just turn that wrong side over. I've already cut the um, the colour, the the square from the panel. So obviously I like to, I, do, I do usually use bond web really quite. I'm usually quite stingy with it, but today you know we'll just. You've been a bit more free and easy. Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving that teal background. This is going to look lovely, especially against those wings. It will look really lovely. Mm. Let me just cut that off from the top there. That is. And like I said, at home, take your, you will take your time so you're not really wasting any, but and just cover up the wings as well. And the other wing. So we'll, we'll do it piece by piece so it's. And again, this comes together really quickly. Mm -hmm. It's the joy of using a, a panel, isn't it? You know, you've got those elements so quickly built up. Um, if you really love this teal colourway and you wanted to add in, say, um, some of the organza from the Dragonfly pack, we have the Fat Quarter pack available. Now, for that, you get two Fat Quarters. You get the organza Fat Quarter and you also get the Aqua. So you would get these two pieces. For two ninety nine, there it is. So that would work really nicely with the B, wouldn't it? Two ninety nine, that's fantastic. Love that. Great idea too of using the organza. Yeah, I'll put it over the over the wings and, and, oh, and see. Oh, ace. So I've just helped myself out a little bit by just cutting that bit out with the rotary cutter. You're going rogue again. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I often do. But oh, I'm back to my comfort zone. Back to scissors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. My top tip, actually, if you want to rotary cut things like, especially curves and tight curves, have a look online. We do a, I think it's an 18 millimeter rotary cutter. Really small. Yeah. Circle. Brilliant. Yeah. That would be ace for this job. 
So I'm putting up the main body of the wing now. Not the wing, the bee. <laughs> there we go, so that's the bee's body. So just make sure there's no white background. There we go, that's that one. It's 9.99 that 18 uh, millimeter. Yeah, 18 millimeter, there it is. The Clover Rotary Cutter, 18 millimeter, 9.99. I think that would make the job very easy, wouldn't it? Oh, definitely. Much Something easier. Like that. So when you cut out the wings, make sure you, you, you cut it out on the, not on the black line, just outside of it, because you want to make, keep as much of that detail as possible. Ah, got you. Yes. So that's not a cutting line. It's outside of that. Yeah, outside the line. So bigger piece of bond web on the back, not exactly cut to size. And that makes the job of cutting fabric look very easy. There we go, that's one wing done. There we go. And the next wing. So I, I always roughly cut it out because it's a lot easier to work with a smaller piece rather than yeah. moving all the material around. Yeah, for sure. Now, Delphine, you've got some flower elements on this panel. Are you using, are you going to do it without? Uh, we'll see how I'll do for time, but I could mm. add them in. But. Um, how long have I got? Oh, I've got about, yeah, might be able to do it. Well, you're a very quick worker. I think you've proven that today. <laughs> I'll try I can't believe we've only got about 15 minutes left on, on today's show. It's gone quite quick, actually. Our whole morning. It's flown by Delphine. Yeah, and then it's all back to the normal. So it's pouring with rain before I just came back mm. in. So it's going to be a wet score on getting the boys. Did you say you're cooking tea? Uh, I've got to go and do that Warrior Strong Fitness tonight. Oh, so yeah. I've got to go and do that in the rain. Oh. But, oh. Mm. So I'm going to go and do that this evening. I'll have to come along oh, sometime. Oh, oh, yeah, you will, definitely. I'll certainly sleep tonight. Can I get rid of a bit of aggression? <laughs> I don't actually have any aggression in, my, in me at all. I can't imagine you being... No. <laughs> 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 what do you think, am I a warrior? I'm, I'm literally, it's but it's basically, you just, I'm running around hills with a burger on my back. Oh, yeah. with a burger on your back? <laughs> Not a burger! Well, I like the sound of that, sign me up. <laughs> do you deliver the burgers? <laughs> Are you, is it like a takeaway company that you work for and you deliver? No, I'm not, I don't work for delivery. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks, Delphine's sidelining. Do you want a burger delivered? <laughs> Oh, funny. No. Sounds like it would keep you very fit. A large rucksack. Okay. That's heavy. Gotcha. Ooh, sounds horrible. And we run around with it and then we take... No, I like the sound of the burger. <laughs> burger on your back. I'm going to tell him that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, so do you do all kinds of different fitness classes? Do you do like aerobics oh, back, to like dance exercise? Back when I was doing a lot, I was doing about 25 classes, this is pre-kids, mm. I was doing about 25 plus classes a week, mainly all the body attack, combat, spinning. Lovely. And now my knees have gone. And my oh. <laughs> so um, I still teach, I mean I like to stay active, I like to stay fit um, as much as I possibly can, you know, it's, yeah. you know, because when you're sat at a sewing machine all day or, you know, it's nice to just get out you're and do right. something different. You're right, you're right, I know, but, well it's been a bit of my downfall really, all this sew lovely sewing I've done, it's stopped me keeping fit, but my favourite was step. So I taught I body loved step. teaching step. Yeah, I love teaching step. Were you freestyle or were yes, you the freestyle, step? Yes, freestyle, yeah. I mean, I started teaching step in 1992. Oh, So yeah, it literally nice. just launched and it was Reebok. Reebok was it, step, it, it, yeah. I mean, actually, before that, it was a spring. Oh, it was okay. a spring. It was Forza. Remember the original with the purple and pink risers yeah, and yeah. the turquoise yeah. top? And um, yeah, I used to teach on that, and I used to teach classes of 120 um, for step uh, at Birmingham University at Munro Sports Centre. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, which was great fun. I loved it. And then I started teaching sports. I wanted to bring something else that was going to be sort of you know as big. It wasn't as big, but it was great. And it was called Rebounder. 
Oh, and so I used to teach one. 40 people at a time, and each person had their own individual trampoline, mini trampoline. So, so it was <laughs> oh, an aerobics I'd love class that. Yeah, on yeah. a trampoline. Yeah. And just from start to finish, the whole class was just broad smiles, bouncing. Yeah, that sounds great. And mm. no, no problems with knees because it was less impact than Less walking. impact. That's what you need. Yeah. yeah, it's the impact really that's done it. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Sometimes. How are you getting on cutting out your B? I've done the done the legs, the um, antennae and the wings and the body, and mm -hmm. I'm just cutting out the legs, and then it will come together then. So. Fab. Another couple of minutes. So, so yeah, just use little off. This is an <coughs> ideal bit to use little off cut pieces because whenever I have, do use bond webs and just have little pieces left over, I always put them in a bag, yep. and that's where it's good for. Something like this. And you can patch it, can't you? Patch it, yeah. Yeah, you can patch it. Always patch it. Nothing goes to waste, especially when it comes to... All of the bees, all of the flower elements, they're the same. Whether you're going for the silver grey, the teal, or the mustard background, your applique elements are the same. It's just the background colour that changes. So this is a great one for mixing and matching. I think one of each colour would look stunning mm. um, in a sitting room. I'd like this within my bedroom. Oh yeah, nice. that would be lovely. So. Most popular colour is the mustard. I think I, I have to call it honey mustard because it's, you know, a bee. <laughs> there it is. There's that honey coloured mustard panel. There's the mustard at the top. Gorgeous panel and then your bee is going to sit on top of that love that these are sort of photographic almost these flowers has a great effect and they look absolutely stunning on the finished sample what i like that delphine's done is this flower right here she's turned so that these elements kind of spray outwards towards the bottom it looks really lovely it's a great great project what i didn't do on that one which I, if i you know do it, if i do it again mm. i'd actually um do some even more hand embroidery over the flowers like with some french knots and things Gorgeous. to bring out some of the buds on there yeah that would be beautiful you could add beading as well couldn't you to mm. this project you could add some beads to the flowers you could add beads to the dragonfly dragonfly as yes. well yeah the I'd, eyes maybe i do like adding beads and embellish and Mm. That's another. I better not lose that leg. I think I've lost a leg. Oh! I always lose something. Your bee is legless. <laughs> it is. It's nearly done. There it is. This is the kind of thing, though, that you could put a film on, listen to an audio book, sit and do your cutting out. You have time for that in your life? No. No. I don't. I don't really watch TV. <laughs> By the time I've sorted no. the boys out and put them to bed and. Yeah. Uh, Nick and I sit down of an evening, you know, it's like a, it's rock and roll on a Saturday night in our house. We're all asleep, falling oh, asleep yeah. on the sofa by nine o'clock. I know that feeling. Yeah. <coughs> where's that one? Where's my, where's my other <coughs> leg? Where have you, there you are. I there it is. It's hiding from me. Yes, I'm not one now for, for much kind of partying at the weekend. It's oh, funny, no. isn't it, how when you're, when you're young, staying up late is a treat and as you get older going to bed early is the treat yeah i think i saw a funny video actually of people saying when you're going out when you're in your 20s it's really excited and then in your 30s it's like yeah we're going out and then in your 40s it's like oh i hope they cancel yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely i want someone to ground me <laughs> i want someone to say you're grounded for a week and then it's a uh, you know glass of wine and a takeaway and watch yeah. the Grand Prix. That's Lovely. that's our ideal night. Uh, oh, night is Nick it? and I Grand Prix. Nice. And the um, and the uh, Formula glass One. Glass of wine and a takeaway. Yeah, and maybe a hot bath thrown in. Oh. Uh, now that is, I'm, I am being spoiled. Well, you just then. want it all, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So I've cut all my pieces out. So then, if you have trouble peeling the backing off, just give it a little scratch with some scissors or a pin. I am making a real mess. I'm really sorry. Do but it. Because I'm here at the Do last it. hour, I will clear up after myself. I promise. There we go. Brill. Mm. 
So you just score in the back of the paper with the scissors? The scissors yep. or a pin, pin and it just do. it just uh, helps you to rip it all off. Mm. Especially if you've recently um, put the put the bondweb on. If you've let it cool down completely and yes. left it for an hour or two, it, it comes off a bit easier. Yeah. That will do on that one. But it comes together really quickly, doesn't it? This is an afternoon project, really. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Mm. Easily. You but if you this. want to add extra hand embroidery, beading, embellishments, that kind of thing, you could really make this into a whole weekend or, you know, last year a week, every evening, doing a little bit more hand stitching. Because on the uh, sample, I don't know if you can see it, but I even did some embroidery over the honeycomb using some of the silver th oh, embroidery thread. Oh, I see it now. That is lovely. That is really lovely. So that, you know, just bringing out some mm. of the embroidery. You can just about see it on the bottom right corner there. Yeah. You know, not doing all the whole thing. Just no. a little, just a little hint of it here Actually, and there. Actually, it has more impact because you've done a little rather than all of it. Yeah. More less impactful. is more, mm. isn't it? Agreed. I've worked that a lot in my patterns. Less is more because it really is. Yeah. And I love the long and short stitch embroidery that you've put into the body of the, butterfly, uh, the uh, bumblebee as well. It's really effective. Just adds a bit of extra dimension. Yeah, and texture and there we are. Have I got all my legs? I've got all my legs. I've got all my wings. I've been good to go now, I think. Fantastic, that's really coming together. Don't so. forget, you can get this panel in three different colorways. Delphine's using the teal. $19.99 comes with instructions printed on the panel, but like you can see, it's a nice, easy, relaxed project. Although putting Delphine under pressure to create on air live in record time is less relaxed. Yeah, I've done this in, <laughs> what, 20 minutes? <laughs> Not even that. Yeah. <laughs> just throw you the panel and say, this could is, you make that? This is where I'm just looking over my shoulder now, just looking at my placement. Pieces. Well, this is where having those extra bees printed on the bottom of the panel will really help. Because once you've cut out all the elements, you might be forgiven for forgetting which bit goes where. But have a look at the picture at the bottom of the panel and, and the bees right there. You've also got instructions, of course. Really nicely written instructions, these. Did you write these instructions? I did, thing? yeah. Yeah, all yours, great. Yeah, it was a bit of a joint effort on the design. I did the bumblebee, and ah. um, and Amy did the all the graphics and the. And there you see in the different colourways. I mean, it really is beautiful. I think as well, these both both of these cushions, the dragonfly and the bee, would look gorgeous with piping around the outside. Perhaps in a contrast colour, that would look stunning. Um, fab. There we go. I'm inspired. I love the fact that the panel does, you know, three quarters of the work. Oh, yeah. They're, they're so it's, it's one of my favourite panels, yeah. actually. Yeah. It's really, really um, clever. And I like the fabric as well of the panels because it doesn't f really fray. No, nice and firm. So which makes it perfect for applique projects because it's the last thing you want. Mm. And go. in terms of where it gets placed, just near the centre just near the centre took a, the odd leg here and there underneath mm -hmm. and then just go straight in with the iron fab that is really really stunning and then if you um loads of impact doesn't need the organza on the wings if you don't want to add no, it no but if you did let me just that would be it would look like that oh that is lovely though isn't that it? is really nice that is really lovely Thank you so much, Delphine. No You've been a superstar all morning. We've oh, really put you. you through it today, but we're grateful. All those lovely skills passed on. Don't forget, if you've got things in your basket, check out, or you'll miss out if someone comes along and takes it from your basket. Let's have a look at tomorrow. We've got a great lineup for you. At 8 a.m., it's Fabulous Fabrics. Then at 9 a.m., we've got the Hydrangea Cushion with Alison Marion. I was looking at this last week. It is stunning. At 10 a.m., we've got the Christmas Hour. Hurrah! I love a bit of Christmas. At 11, it's the Halloween Apron with Alison Marion. Hurrah! I love a bit of Halloween too. And then at 12 o'clock, over on Yarn Lane, it's the Wool chic tea cozies with Helen Ingram. Looks like a great morning. I'm already excited. 
don't forget to check out on your manager's specials too. If you've been lucky enough to get one of your uh, one of our lovely rainbow rolls or uh, uh, ten inch charm packs, don't forget to check out. It's a fantastic deal. But at midnight, if there's any stock left or if it's still in your basket, the price is going to go up to thirty nine ninety nine, and that would be a shame. Grab it while you can at twenty nine ninety nine. Thank you so much for joining us today on Sewing Street. I've really enjoyed having your company. Thanks for all the messages too. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.